Yo, yo! How's it going, folks? Can you hear me okay? Why is the first thing I see in chat Fortnite Burger? <laughs> is that, what does it even mean? Is that a thing? <laughs> oh god, how's it going, folks? Uh, you're all very welcome to the stream. Can you hear me alright? I'm just doing the old Discord notification, too. I realize I just... There. Pop. Close up. There we go. How's it going, folks? Get a little pre-stream chat in. Uh, cause I'm good to go. We'll just give people a chance to hop in before we get started. How y'all doing? Nightcrawlers, thank you for the tier two, right off the bat. Haven't done anything. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention as well, um... On the stream yesterday, it was pointed out to me, like, a few people said that there was something up with the alerts. And... I checked it using, like, um, like, just for, like, replaying the alerts, and it all seemed fine. I actually realized what the issue was there, and I just wanted to quickly address that. Uh, I'm currently in the progress of migrating all of my alert software off of Streamlabs over to Stream Elements. Um, some news broke this week that Streamlabs, they're not the nicest folks, apparently. Uh, in particular, though, one of the first things I migrated was the donation system. Uh, but I haven't finished migrating the alerts yet. I'm having trouble actually getting them to play in Stream Elements. So when people were donating that way, it was registered on Stream Elements, but because the alerts are still on the previous system, they weren't playing. Uh, it specifically affected, like, cash donations and that in PayPal. Um, so what I've done for the time being is I've simply turned that means of donation off for the time being. Um, you can still do bits and gift subs and the like if you want to support me that way. But just until I actually have it show on stream, I figure that's just the best kind of thing to do. Uh, I'll get it set up before too long. Uh, but yeah, so apologies to the folks that that affected. it. Um, that, uh, that makes a lot of sense why there were people like asking like, like what, what's going on here. I believe... I have a quick oh, look filter. It was like there was Turbo. There was a Manfred oh, von Hariyama who gave yesterday. <laughs> like, uh, Fox Tato. Kaglish Karma. Uh, there was Kahoot. There was a Manfred von Charmander. Songbird. Like, thank you very much to everyone there. Apologies for missing those. Uh, but yeah, I've, uh, I've bopped off, though, that donation system just for the time being. Also, I found something else I wanted to share, and this has been playing in my head every single time that, like, uh, Bidoof shows up on screen. Let me get this. You're God! <laughs> You're God! That's what plays in my head every time Badoof has been on screen. Uh, so that's like a- that's a clip from Death Note. I was looking for that. God! You're God! <laughs> like... <laughs> that plays in my head every time Badoof's on the screen. Um, so I just wanted to find that and share it with folks. Oh, God. Oh shit, did we just get raided right there? Dodger! Oh my god! I'm just introing my stream! <laughs> I'm just setting up! Oh god! Uh, how's it going? Thank you so much! Hope you had a good day! Hello, folks! Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm... What an odd thing to join on! <laughs> like, this is the first thing you hear! You're God! <laughs> Me trying to explain this sound clip with no context. I'm so sorry to everyone who just joined the stream. Uh, but it's good to have you here. <laughs> oh, God. How's it going, folks? Oh, what was Dodger doing? You're all very welcome. You're God! We're playing Pokemon Diamond. Um, we're doing a run with a Bidoof that we've nicknamed God. Uh, and then we're just using your old favorite team that you used back in the day. In 2006 when this game first came out. I'm loving this Pokemon game so far. I'm I'm enjoying it. Um, I actually want to like even specify that because like 
I know that some folks might think that I'm not the biggest fan of this one, because I'm like comparing it to like Pokemon Platinum a lot. That's just because I have fond memories of that game. But Sinnoh itself, the region, the Pokemon available, the characters, it's actually just still good fun. It's all just like slightly disappointing because it's not as much as it could have been. But what's here is still good. I think that's the best way to kind of address it. Oh, sorry. I got one off on a tangent there. What was Dodger up to? I went off on a tangent. Sorry. <laughs> Saw a video I had statues work if you're interested. I think I figured out statues myself. I had a little cheeky look at Cerebi, uh, just to see what it said. Um, I believe it's like they increase like the amount of, of certain types that you'll find. They don't affect shiny odds. The shiny statues just increase it so that you'll find a particular type more. Uh, apparently there's legendary statues as well. You like sword and shield better or brilliant diamond and pearl more? Ooh. It's hard to compare them because sword and sh Okay, base game, diamond and pearl. Including the DLC for Sword and Shield, I think it ever so slightly wins. Because there's just going to be a lot more post-game there. And I can already anticipate that. Ever so slightly. That's because like the DLC really saves Sword and Shield. The base game is... But the DLC is like the be some of the best Pokemon content we've ever had. And I do love that. I've spent so much time in that DLC. Are you ready to apologize to us about the Diglets now? I felt like I was going insane yesterday with the Diglets. Uh, I had like no idea what was happening. <laughs> um, but I kind of understand them a bit more now. Felt like we were playing like Pokemon Playground Rumors. Should have named Badoof Doofenshmirtz? No, Do Doofenshmirtz isn't God. Badoof is God. Chat, Gaslight, and Dan. <laughs> no, I, I am in still in, I am still enjoying the game. It's just, I think it's kind of natural that we're going to compare it to Platinum as we go. Because I'm just a lifelong Pokemon fan. And so I've very much grown up with this series all my life. So I can kind of recognize some of the quality of life changes that came along the way. This is very uh, kind of classic and undoes a lot of the quality of life changes. Like, it's, it's nostalgic in that sense. Because, like, here's like a almost harder Pokemon game in some senses. But then it's weird because like they still do some of the changes like experience share on all the time. It's a really weird middle ground. I can never decide which way it's trying to go. Uh, but Sinai is a wonderful region. It's one of the best regions in any Pokemon game. Uh, Gen 4 in particular has a lot of really cool Pokemon that they add. Which are all back in the spotlight here which I love. Characters in this one are actually quite cool. Even if they're harder to take seriously as they're like Funko Pop forms. <laughs> For lack of a better, better descriptor. Um, oh, yeah, I got this, by the way. I got a man. I picked up the Manaphy egg. Uh, I want to share that with folks. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still enjoying it. It's just like it could have been more, but what's here is still good. I think that's like the best way to describe it. What level is God? Uh, God is currently level 25. Uh, we're not really using him in combat. He's more so here for the ride. Uh, we got a Manaphy egg to hatch. And at the moment, we have Jefferson, Burby, Reset, and Lettuce. I'm probably going to get a Lucario at some point, And I'm probably going to get a Garchomp. Because, uh, like, the core five of, like, I guess, like, Jefferson, Burby, and then, like, a Rose right here from Lettuce. And then a Garchomp and Lucario would have been my team, like, 15 years ago. Uh, and then God's just along for the ride. So it's like a team of five this time. And then God. Is this a Nuzlocke? No, it's not a Nuzlocke. This is just a... This, this is like a Nietzsche lock, I believe some people have been referring to it as. Just because we're using God in our team. And he does repeatedly die. <laughs> We're gonna get started. Some things I've noticed as well. They're at like I don't know what it is. Like it, it feels like there's like a sleeper quality of life thing. Again, this is another half measure. With the berries, I realized if you water the middle one, it does water the left and right ones. 
Which is really weird. I didn't even notice that until like we had a big plot of four. Uh, cause like it's so hard. It's got quite a subtle like change if it's even watered. But it's weird cause like it's such odd half measures. Cause like you still have to go around the region gallivanting to find all your berries. But they made it slightly easier to water them? Like, it con confuses me this one. It's like, classic but not. Uh, Von Carver 2, thank you for a thousand bits there. Thank you very much for the kind words. There's a Shinx Community Day on Pokemon Go tomorrow, that's kind of cool. Dizzle and Climate Change. <laughs> climate Change gives a hundred bits and says, Hey, do you have water? Not for long. Well, soon I'll even have, I'll have even more water. Could go either way. This will thanks for 200 bits as well. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, we're gonna get started. Long boy stream today. We're marathon and Pokemon Diamond all this weekend. Uh, and we're gonna get, we're gonna get going. Uh, first thing I think we have to do, we miss this tower. This is another spooky place. Every Pokemon game has like a graveyard tower. It's always a tower for some reason. Uh, so we're gonna go on through here. Would you recommend people get in this game if they're on the fence about getting it? Watch people play it and decide for yourself. I think that's the best way. Why is it so bright? Uh, is the video quality okay? Just make sure. Pretty sure it's good. Just a shiny room in game. Oh, okay, alright, that makes more sense. I was worried that, like, the something was up with the stream. <laughs> Let me just up the contrast, like, 50 points. Get those oranges really popping in the back of your iris. <laughs> Oh, other thing I wanted to mention for today. At 6 p.m. in th about three hours from now, uh, there's a special video going up on YouTube. And we'll, we will be stopping the stream to give it a quick watch. Okay. Special, special video. But we'll, we'll we'll circle back to that later, okay? It's you taking your second bat in life. I finally baited for a second time. I have an announcement. <laughs> it deserved its own special video. I really need another bat. Oh shit, bud! Lettuce is evolving! That's actually wonderful! I was worried this would take forever! This is gonna be such a power increase! We can actually use her in combat now! Rosalia's data is added. Raised and clean drinking water are known to grow vividly covered colored flowers. Bless. I love Rosalia. I like Rose Raid. It's so cool. I think it's actually Rose Raid more. I think Rose Raid's the cooler one. Uh, I need to keep Flash. I'm gonna need a poison type attack. So we'll add that. That's really good. Uh, I need to work out then where to get- it's a shiny stone, isn't it? I need to get strength for that. Like, I, she actually has stats now. Like, look at that, there's like actual special attack. I think that's like the highest attack and stat I've got on anything. Yeah, it is. I've got- I've got been really unfortunate with some of these natures. Like, Jefferson's is like abysmal. Burby's is unfortunate. I'm never going to use special attack in it. Resets is terrible. 
Oh, they're woeful. At least lettuce seems to be like default neutral. I'm tempted when we go to get to get like Lucario and uh, Riolu and that. And even Gibble to like try to like reset a little. Get better ones. What about God? Uh, I, I don't know. God's just kind of here. I need to double check what their nature is. Sugar Bear, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Glad you enjoy the content. Uh, Cleffa is fairy type now, isn't it? Happy days. We need to get a stronger poison type attack for that. I wish Dan would notice me, then I could die a happy man. Now you can die today. <laughs> oh no. How's it going? Don't do that. No dying, it's strictly against the rules. Does Roselia have anticipation? Uh... Oh no. Poison point. I think you can get like technician as a hidden ability on um... Rose, right? Is it, was it Technician? There's like, nat there was Natural Cure and Poison Point were the main two. I can't remember what exactly it was, or if it was that one. Are you gonna get the Platinum Clothes set? I have Mystery Gift now, I, I downloaded that. We, just, we haven't unlocked the, the ability to change our clothes yet. So we just gotta keep going. Oh, I tried using, like, the Poketch, uh, in handheld mode, too. It really sucks. <laughs> they kind of killed the Poketch functionality. Uh, I, I tried using it for, like, the Dowsing Machine. You can't- you actually have to still bring it up completely on the screen to tap it. I was hoping if it's in the corner, you could just quickly tap it. Uh, game is no, like... Uh, it, it no touchscreen fun functionality when it's, like, slightly minimized. So, it's a real shame, because it just sucks in this one. So, if at any point there's like a hidden item or something like that, just point it out, I would say, because I'm probably never going to use the app to try to get it. No touchscreen, that's the whole point of the Pokédex. Well, see, it has a touchscreen in handheld mode, right? But you, it covers the entire... when you use it, you have to cover the entire screen, so it's not practical in the slightest. Like, it made sense in the DS, because you had a second screen then. But, uh, here you just don't. <laughs> like, so, it's kind of void. Kill the rat. We're gonna get him. This poor child just watching on. Like his favorite Pokemon is gonna be slowly killed in battle. We'll check on the honey tree soon too. Yeah. I think I, I spread more honey about the world like last night. I was playing like a little longer. Did some underground grind. I think like the revamp of underground is like my favorite thing in this so far. It's actually so cool. Like, the fact that like, it's online, there's Pokemon to find there, and there's even, like, the Diglett boost. Just hugely, like, kind of enhances that experience. Compared to what it was. I miss the secret base, though. Like, being properly made. Like, like, it's a shame, because like, it's, like, it's improved, but then... They gut it that bit of it, and it's like, oh, why you do that? Going up. I have to use tile-based movement here, I think, because otherwise I'm gonna like bonk into every single grave. Uh, I need to get a better attack and move on lettuce. Poison point is, what is a poison sting? Is kind of rubbish. Do I have anything? 
grass knot, the heavier the target is, the greater the move's power. That's not really good, though. Is it? A pluck that I could give the Burby. I don't really have that great TMs, do I? Vault Switch is a handy one. I think I got that one on the ground. I'm gonna give that the reset. Um, if I want later. I'll hold on to it for now, because I'm only gonna have, like, one copy of this. Okay, we'll just go back to Burby for a little bit. I found the amulet coin, too. Uh, yesterday. So we can get some use out of that. Teach everything you can to God. Um, I mean, I can have a look later. I'll just see if I need any of the other TMs. <laughs> can we suggest other games that you can stream in future? I've got a suggestion box in the Discord for that. Um, it's the best place for them because I actually like take the time to go through them all. Because, like, uh, like uh, there's, like, hundreds of them. Otherwise, and it's just kind of overwhelming. Does God obtain ancient power? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm trying to think what the most, like, thematically appropriate moves would be for, a, for like, a moveset. I thought God was supposed to be a HM slave. We could just make him a HM slave again. Cause like, I get all the TMs like for the old HMs. Judgment? <laughs> I don't think he learns that one. <laughs> Badoof used roar of time. Yeah, someone likes to like hack a Badoof for me. <laughs> Give it like judgment, roar of time, spatial rend. And like Giga Impact or something. Oh shit, we get a Luxray already. I, d I don't really use Reset that often. <laughs> Which is a shame because they're actually very powerful now. Okay, Luxray has been added. Like, how, how, what are the stats now? Because, like, they're, like, our first, like, th third, third tier evolution. Yeah, I think it's just because the attack is down. But, like, I've just not been using it. <laughs> like, it's still not great considering it's now fully evolved. Deals more damage to Pokemon of the same gender, but deals less to Pokemon of the opposite gender. Okay. So uh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to use like the rest of the gang more, but reset is here in the wings if we need him. Because eventually I'm going to get like a Garchomp in that. And then I'm probably going to get Lucario and that's going to round off the team because we got to keep God with us. It either be God or Luxray for like a slot. It's this poor Luxray, it's gonna be replaced by God eventually. But we have to keep the, the, the place. <laughs> That's kinda sad. I'm so sorry, like you're viable, but we need to keep this meme on the team. It's too important. We said we'll carry through Crash or Awake. I mean, if we get actually Lethus up, if I can get the Shiny Stone before then, I think it'll be good. Actually, you don't get Strength in this game till quite late, do you? Strength is the sixth gym? We're gonna be going a while before we get that. I think it's like, third one is Fly. The fourth one is Surf. What's the fifth one again? Oh, wait, what, what am I against? Uh, Bonsley. I don't have a grass-type attack. Oh, Defog. Oh, okay. I 
forgot about Defog. First shiny stone is Iron Island before Byron. Uh, if I go underground, I think I might be able to dig it up sooner than that. Honestly, it's sturdy. I forgot that. <laughs> We'll eventually get Gibble. Um, it might just take a while. We could go searching in the underground too. Because uh, I reckon there's a chance for it to show up there. I caught a Hound Doom actually uh, last night. I found one when I was just in the underground. It's kind of wild. It is nice that other fire types are now available in this game. <laughs> God is trying to evolve again. Not today. <laughs> Gotta keep him as is. A young couple. Having a lovely day at the cemetery, I guess. Yeah, I need, I need to get some better attacks for Lettuce. Damn it, it's a shame. Like, she's finally evolved, but she's got nothing she can use. Like right now. Poison Sting really isn't going to do much. <laughs> Are you a conservative? What? What? Chan? What? stream do you think this is? What do you think you're watching? <laughs> we gotta ask all the hard-hitting political questions. Hey, I'm, I'm playing Pokemon Diamond. <laughs> He's a Tory. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Irish. We don't even have Tories here. <laughs> Believe in capital punishment for Pokemon. <laughs> like, I just look at chat and I just wonder. It's like, what's going on? Like, what, what do they think this is? Careful, Dan. The version of the remakes you choose is a political view now. <laughs> oh shit! I went for Diamond. What does that say? <laughs> You know, we should charge for every Pokemon Center. People have too easy with the free healthcare here. <laughs> like, I don't understand sometimes. Last hour is where the spirits of departed Pokemon put the rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whose times were short. All the departed Pokemon shall find solace here. Good of you to have visited. Hate these technical machines. Strength in the Hidden Moves app allows you to push large boulders out of your way. You must visit a Pokemon gym. Oh, we actually get that here, right? Let's pick up a cleanse tag, too. Okay, well, hopefully we get access to Strength soon, then. Because I want to go get Gibble. I think it is a while, though. I'm glad we went back to do the tower. I, I forgot that was here. Are you going to run for the presidential election of Sinaw this year? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. If it looks like I'm struggling to walk in, it's because if you use a thumbstick, it's still like grid-based movement, so you get stuck a lot. I know it looks a bit weird, but it's just nicer to play with the thumbstick. Yeah, I think Strand is the sixth gym. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to use that one for a while. 
Oh, yeah. We, we, we can check on this one for now. We're not going to go all the way back to Florama Town again, because it's quite far. The tree is rustling. There's something there. It'll burn me. I think those are Honey Tree exclusive. Uh, there's a fair few Pokemon in the game that you can only get via the Honey Trees. Munchlax is the rarest one. Uh, but there's also like Apoms, there's Burmies. I think you can get some of like the Burmy like family as well. I think they're all in here. Uh, I really don't want to kill this, so let's just use Endeavor. Doesn't affect Burmy. Oh, because I have more HP than it. That's right. Uh, can I just toss a netball? There we go. New viewer from YouTube here, just wants to have a good stream. Thank you very much. Good to have you here. Graham, thank you for 500 bits there as well. Me again, lol. I was trigger bear and forgot to change my name on here. You're all good, don't worry. <laughs> Climate change, thank you for another 200 bits. Which is an actual political question. Which is the right way to put the toilet paper? Well, like, with... Like, front-facing. Because I'm not a monster. Stop avoiding the question, Dan. <laughs> they have 200 bits there. Yeah, that, that's the correct way. If people, like, if people do it the other way, I'm like, let me just fix that. God love them. They must have been tired. Let me just change it. All oh, this tall grass here so you can't ride your bike. Like all the berries. Why does it matter? Because it's easier to, to access. It does matter. Can't ride your bike in tall grass. No, you can't. It's also just a divisive question, I think. Pokemon toughened up for working on the ranch. I'm right proud of him. That's lovely. We got some long routes ahead. Like, this, like, box of the region we're in... Uh, we're gonna be here, I think, for three badges. You can get two of them in this region, and then you kind of just go back to Heart Home and pick up another one. Badges five and six you get kind of quick. You, you just head back once you get the third and fourth ones. And it slows down a bit again. Okay, get him, Burby! Milk or cereal first? I, I don't eat cereal, but cereal first. Grand gives 200 bits. Correct answer. Here's your payment. Orange juice or apple juice? I like them both. I alternate. <laughs> this, uh, I'd like to, like, Remind folks that this all started because someone asked, like, are you conservative? Like, and I was like, we're in all the hard-hitting political opinions. <laughs> pope or no pope? No pope. No pope. No, I'm, I'm a smooth guy. Dorky, thank you for 400 bits. Doof is God. Thank you. Still water or fizzy water? I like fizzy... So, still water, right? But for fizzy pop, I actually prefer it when it goes flat. When you let, when you leave it a while. I think it tastes nicer. Don't always want the fizz. Are the joggers going to battle me? Uh, th these guys, I think they battle you, but only if you talk to them in, like, the very early morning. 
or before midday. He's gonna give us roost. Ooh, flat soda. It's nice. An Irish cure all, if you're sick, is a glass of flat 7 up. It like kind of relaxes your stomach. Like that and Suda Cream are like the two things Irish mammies here will do. If you're ill. Falling down the stairs or like you cut open your hand? Suda Cream. Bada bing, bada boom, you're, you're cured. Just how it goes. Magical. They make you drink pseudo cream. No, no, you, you put the pseudo cream on and you drink the 7 up. Don't start like laddering yourself at 7 up. That's not gonna work. Probably gonna burn you. <laughs> Cow Paul the cure all. Cow Paul is pretty good. You get some strawberry flavor. That's a good night right there. Await in RT's announcement of his Tisha campaign as a member of the Gamer Party. <laughs> the Gamer Party. What? <laughs> what a sad name for a political party. <laughs> We're gamers. Gamers united. Oh my god. Thank you for the 500 bits, Von Karma 2. It feels weird that, like, there's now gonna be, like, just several Von Karma usernames in our chat. Like, they're just gonna come up for every now and then. Like, we have to, like, think nothing of it. Hey, Von Karma 2. Thanks for supporting the stream. You know, like, it's. Wild. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back to Jefferson in second because it seems to be a lot of double battles here. Oh no! Don't, don't don't return to ball. Go. There's a fair few trainers here. They're a permanent fixture. You cannot escape his machinations. <laughs> Oh god. It's like weird how Von Karma is like such a thing on the channel now. Like he, he spread past, he's starting to spread past Phoenix right now. Kind of scary. Can't get away from him. That's okay. His voice is probably like one of my favorite ones to do. It's just very fun. Nickname the next party member Von Caramel. No, cause I <laughs> I think we're good there. I don't think we need that. Like Jefferson gets a pass because it's a penguin Pokemon, but I think that's it. I think everyone else we kinda give their own names. Like I already had to release chat into the wild. <laughs> Is there a Von Karma Pokemon? Like, what would be the Pokemon most like Von Karma? Oh yeah, I love this roadblock from back in the day. Psyduck is standing firm. They aren't inclined to move at all. Just a herd of them there. Von Garchomp? No. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a Pokemon that has like a fancy stuffy suit that would work. But 
Wait, no, why would you release chat into the wild? We're an invasive species. Uh, that is not my problem. Nor is it that like, I'm just not taking responsibility for that one. Disrupting the local ecosystem. Well, you know, maybe it needs a bit of spicing up, you know? Maybe there's too many Bidoofs in the wild. Maybe it's time they, they, they put on their toes a little bit. Shake things up. I wonder if they care about Pokemon ecosystems in the games. Because if you think about it, they're quite content with just kind of killing wild Pokemon. <laughs> Like, hunting must be rampant in the Pokemon world. Imagine you're an endangered species in this game, or like a rare Pokemon. Everyone's like, oh shit, I want to catch one of them. And like, actively hunt them out and drive them out in the wild. Care about Lapras as being endangered at least, do they? We know people breeding for shinies to make up for it. Maybe that's just how, like, the population, like, resurfaces. It's specifically because of, like, shiny hunters. Or people trying to get competitive Pokemon. <laughs> they just, like, release them back into the wild. No wonder Pe PETA hates these games. <laughs> Are you a Pokemon poacher? I mean, I'm kind of hunting them down and capturing them from their homes. Like, in the real world and that, like, you know, you see, like, a cool new type of bird. You can't really be like, I'm gonna take it home with me. <laughs> no? Oh shit, I found an elephant! I'm keeping you. <laughs> it's not a good image. We have a little cafe. What you have, of course, all we ever have here is Moo Moo Milk. Uh, I'll buy 10 for 5k. I think Moo Moo Milk uh, heals 100. I'll, you know, I'll get 10 more. Better healing item. Some of our customers are ratty types that want to battle, pay no mind, and stay a while. Oh, she's like the staff in the cafe. She also wants to battle. You don't? I got like 50 wolves at my house now. <laughs> Ducks at the duck pond are free, you can just take them. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Leave the ducks alone at the duck pond. You're not supposed to take them home with you. It's like, whoa! Free ducks! Kirby wants to learn takedown. Uh, this has like, yeah, this will give recoil. I, I don't think I want that. It's legal and okay to just grab a pigeon. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you should though. <laughs> like, the Psylex have headaches. Imagine you just come home to your family and it's like they're all gathered around the table. It's like, you're not gonna believe what I found at the park today. <laughs> you just spill ducks out of like a crate.
carry diseases, don't they? Yeah, you probably need, like, that's probably why you shouldn't do it. Pigeons definitely do. This is the reality that we have to live with in the Pokemon world, though. Like, some days, some days you probably just come home to, like, your mom in this game, and it's like, Look what I caught! And there's just, like, a dragon that you've unleashed on the kitchen. And it's like, what have you done? It's setting the curtains on fire! Oh, Brian is a good one. Taggart's HP is half or less, his move will hit with double the power. Very good move. It doesn't have much power, though, is the only thing. Um, I've never once used- I, I actually did use Charm once, didn't I? We get rid of Bubble Beam. I think we do. Charm actually is quite handy for some fights. Like, if it's looking very scary. Sad thing is these people will actually do steal ducks from ponds or even videos of it on YouTube. Oh no, the poor ducks. They go feed them peas and grapes. Don't, don't, don't nick them. They got duck families. Yeah, thanks for 100 bits. When I was in high school, a guy hid a pigeon in his coat and threw it at our English teacher. Why would you do that? What does that accomplish? I, I don't understand. Pocket pigeon. Yeah, like, that, that doesn't... That's not something you should do. Oh, is Mr. Mime fairy type in this? Oh, it doesn't matter because we're not leading with Jefferson. He is though. Okay, thank you. Bop him down. My dad once fed a seagull by carbonate of soda and it exploded over an outdoor swimming pool. Jesus fucking Christ! Why would you do that? <laughs> this is horrific! Don't explode a bird! Like, oh my god. I shouldn't have to say that. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. God, we've gone in a weird direction. <laughs> I like to imagine those people still here from the raid is like, are the streams normally like this on his channel? <laughs> those people here is just here for the first time. It's like, did I normally discuss this? Like, oh god. A rainy root. I still have some extra honey, so we'll just, like, slatter all the trees as we go. It's a normal topic. Okay. Maniac Calvin. Oh, we have the rain now, too, so Jefferson's gonna... Gotta send out Jefferson. Where we? We gotta switch it back a while. Probably get Jefferson to level 36 by the next gym. The next gym's actually gonna be kinda hard because it's fighting type, ain't it? I don't really have anything to deal with Lucario because Lucario's part steel. Like, why don't you think what I actually do? I might be in trouble. Maybe we just like brute force it and have high enough level. 
I think I weirdly don't evolve Jefferson before the gym. Because when he evolves, he gains Steel type. And that's gonna make it like hell on earth to get through the gym. Yeah, so I think we actually wait. Steel is weak to like everything. No, Steel has a lot of resistances though. It's really good for that. Especially for Jefferson, it means that like uh, grass type attacks aren't super effective against him anymore. Which is actually quite valuable. Just use Burby. Well, the problem is Burby doesn't have a way to deal with a steel type. Lucario's a menace. We got Giga Drain now. We can do, maybe do something with Lattice. Uh. 75. Uh, I'm probably never gonna use Pin Missile. Pretty good. Actual grass type attack. Just need to get like Sludge Bomb or something now. Or. We're missing out on all the jogger fights at the moment too, because like uh, it's just the wrong time of day. Okay, Burby's in the lead. Oh, I thought this was a fighting type trainer. PM 66s. Go. Your biggest threat with Jeff is the elite four member. Yeah, the fire type one doesn't have a lot of fire types. It's quite a menace. Go on, Burby. Is it a normal one or is it a Nuzlocke? I'm gonna just start saying I think it's a Nietzsche lock. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, no, it's a, nor it's a normal run. We're not if it was a Nuzlocke, I'd say. In, like, the stream title. We're just playing. We're having fun. But, like, we're actually trying to do everything and just, like, enjoy ourselves as we go. Like, we're properly, like, doing everything the game has. Are you gonna bring God into the Elite Four and Champion? God's part of the team. God is always with us. That does not change when we go to the Elite Four. Get the Intimidate off every time. Get him, Burby. Burby, like, uh, what level does Burby get close combat at? I really want to get that. That would actually be, like, amazing for the fighting type gym, if I had it. Burby's so strong. When it evolves at 34, I believe. Oh, that's gonna be after this battle, then. That's really convenient. <laughs> Level 34. Okay, so it should evolve in a mode. That's going to be class. Staraph is such a cool Pokemon. Does the game actually have fire types this time around? It has like a grand underground where, yeah, you can get more fire types. But they're few and far between still. So. Tim, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. Go well soon. There we go. We got a star after already. One of the best Pokemon of this gen. Just a really powerful bird. Majestic. Look at him and his li well, look at her and her little haircut. 
so emo. Yeah, I just wants to learn close combat immediately. Uh, I've never really been using Endeavor, so I think we can just get rid of that safely. Yeah, well, that should be the fighting type gym sorted then. Like, I can just use Burby on everything and then use close combat on Lucario and it'll die. <laughs> oh, God is evolving too! No, you're not, God. Fist plate. Hex engraved. Three beings were born to bind time and space. It's cool the plates just like, give you bits of lore about, about the region while you go. Okay, physical special attack split. One second, guys. I'll be right back. time. <laughs> oh, I got the old I got the old Christmas shopping coming in for folks. So I'm just keeping an eye out for when stuff arrives. We're all good. Pizza time. No, it's no pizza. Although depending on how long we stream today. No, no, it's, it's no pizza today. <laughs> oh god. I don't know if I can eat pizza today. Like, I got my braces tightened in like a sore way earlier this week. I can't eat a lot of stuff. A custard cream defeated me the other night. Just couldn't do it. Gonna be having more carrot soup later, I reckon. Food in the fridge. Yeah, I know I do. I'll get some food from the fridge later. <laughs> we're not. No, we're not doing round two of the pizza stream. No, we're not. We're not having this. Flippy, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's more carrot soup in the fridge, so I'm gonna. I'll, I'll get, grab some of that later. It'll be good. Plan for the day in the meanwhile is I'm just playing Pokemon till like midnight. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I'm gonna have a good time with it. Blend it pizza. No, oh god. I mean, like a tomato -y, cheesy liquid with like loads of bread just in it. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. The texture would not be nice. And just hidden items in the grass at all, just gonna politely ask that you guys just try point them out. If you know there's one that's like particularly good. I don't know if people will, but we're bearing in mind. I just have no patience to use the item finder. Pretty sure there's gonna be one here somewhere. Jefferson fell down. Oh. Actually, none there. Oh, we need to get this. Poor Jefferson. There's a rare candy back near the cafe. Thank you. Okay, well, we have to go back that way again, so we'll pick it up then. Monferno. 
I forget about some like the second stage Pokemon sometimes. Look at him go. He's gonna die. So much power. I I can just like close combat the cat and just instantly kill it. Seems a bit mean. The overkill. Let's do this. I think Burby is strong enough that like she can kill most things. Unless she punches. Could just be a lot of one shots. The music sounds distorted again? This music's fine, I think, on my end. I don't hear it. One guy in chat? One guy in chat. Problem with the Twitch player. Okay. That one guy. Guy probably has ghosts. We're trying to communicate with you through the stream. Ghosts can manipulate their sur their environment. That means they're gonna manipulate my Twitch stream. Communicate. You just start listening to the stream really closely, and you can hear like faint messages coming from somewhere. Buy pizza. Feed. <laughs> Probably all it'll be. Joe Biden. <laughs> We've just made it to the town. That room was a lot smaller than I remember. I remember that being like much bigger back in the day. Maybe it's just because I was a kid. This whole region of the game is still quite big anyway. It's like expansive. You can see it on the map, see? We've gone through the top half of it now. And we still have all this bottom route to go. Veilstone City. Be sure there's a hidden item there somewhere. Galactic Warehouse, no trespassing. They're not gonna let you in. Oh, I remember this one. I think that's like a TM too. They just stick it here like, you need rock climb. Kind of decent camera angle here. I don't know if it's real shite. That one actually kind of makes sense. Business at the style shop has been booming. So I believe. Oh, before we get over here. Hey, Manaphy's hatch. A one of a kind egg model in the series. There you go. Back in the day, the only way you could get this was by playing Pokemon Ranger. And you had to complete a special mission in that game. Uh, at the moment, it's just kind of available if you have the game. Uh, close to launch. Hail Glow, I believe it has- it gets that and like a di another unique move, I think. I think it's two. Pop it there. Oh yeah, this is something that I noticed last night too. Uh, they actually have the Pokemon Platinum Wallpapers, which is really weird. They brought this back and it's even tagged as Platinum. There's a Distortion World. See? Alright, well we'll pop them away. 
Uh, I guess on the evolution front, uh, come with us, Burmy. I can evolve you and get some. Oh, here's a metronome. Uh, another kind of semi-event spot in the game. If you have Deoxys and you talk to these meteorites, it will change forms. I remember that. Back in the day. The technical machine that teaches fly stored in the warehouse. I said I can use it if I showed them that I deserve it. Can I get fly while I'm here? Garf is blown away by the wind. I wonder where it went. Since having fun. The boyfriend lost his lens. Where did it go? I'm looking for it with a wide lens. If I use the item finder, I can probably track it down. But this guy just wants to give us TMs. Sure. Hailstone is the city of stone. Just explore, and I will go to the style shop in a mo. We're just gonna make sure we pick up everything we can in the town. And give a massage to your Pokemon. Uh, give God a massage. Uh, he looks quite stressed. God looks dreamily contented. Found this. Sky sticker. This is his boyfriend is the scarf guy in Pastoria City. They strolls together with the Pokemon, those two are really close. Bless. Oh, Don's just chilling here. Dad, are you going to take the gym challenge? He tried to, like, line up with me, but not quite. <laughs> that looks kind of silly. You keep getting tougher and tougher, don't you? Me, well, I went shopping at the department store. I mean, well, of course I've been working on my Pokedex, but, uh, well, catch you later. Just a reminder that Don is here. Bear Maylene, the barefoot fighting genius. We'll head back there in a moment. Oh, I forgot to talk, I think. Stunky doesn't have anything. I'm almost saying a little Pokemon had something here. One day a meteorite came screaming out of nowhere, and where it landed, a town popped up and flourished. What a rocking story. The Metronome Style Shop. Your dream style anytime. So, rip. The game corner that used to be here. I could have sworn that I saw the game corner in like one of the trailers, but I must have just imagined it. Choose a new outfit to achieve your perfect look. They did keep the game corner music, which is at least something. Okay, I'd like to shop. So we can get a new outfit here if we want. Eevee jacket style? Cute. Cyber style? Winter style? Kinda cute. Spring style? Casual style? There's a lot of paint on this for some reason. Leather jacket style. That's the most expensive by far. Of course, you can get a Pikachu hoodie for pretty cheap. The hat in that reminds me. That's the black and white 2 hat. <laughs> Interesting tidbit. Uh, I think I just want to... I think I know which one I want. And I already have it. I want a platinum style. Thank you very much, please come again. Look at that! 
you can get the Platinum Avatar back. Yeah, that looks- that looks really cool. Like, I mean, I'm just trying to think. Like, maybe the winner style, but it is also like 50k. That's a lot of money. I don't know if I like most of the other styles. The cyber style is kind of a cool. Gengar jacket. Probably oh, these just aren't for me. Get the overalls. It's like, Dad, what happened to your clothes? Like, it's, they seem pretty badly beat up. Farmer Dad. <laughs> What's most likely for your dad to wear? Probably that. <laughs> okay, we'll go with the platinum one so for now. Let's save our money. Dial shop storage metronome distribution center. Oh, because they used to have the game corner like the prize shop, so they have to change this to like a shipping war warehouse. Funny. I mean, I'm happy we got the Platinum Avatar. I quite like that. Galactic Veilstone building we dream of the universe. They're quite well signposted they're like an evil organization, aren't they? Here's their main office, come on in. We Team Galactic will take everything that can be taken, we will eliminate everything that is not needed. That's your policy. Like, how have you managed to establish such a company presence in this town? Evil administration. have the technical machine for fly, so we're probably gonna have to try and get that. Uh, there is a department store too. That'll hop in there. It says the Mount Coronet parted Sinna into halves. In the Pokemon Shellos makes me think that myth is real. A Shellos has like a different form based on which half of the mountain you catch him on, which is quite cool. Is Looker in this game or not? Sadly not. Looker is one of the more unfortunate cuts, I would say, for this. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he's not here. Because, like, Looker actually... Because, like, me and Julie were talking about this last night. Looker is one of the few reoccurring Pokemon characters. Like, probably alongside, like, Professor Oak in terms of reappearances. Uh, since Gen 4, he actually shows up in every generation up to 7. And then 8 was the first generation where he was missing since his appearance. In Platinum, he shows up as his first appearance. He's involved quite a lot in the Team Galactic plot. In Gen 5, he shows up, um, cracking down on Team Plasma. In Gen 6, he has a very special episode. In Gen 6 as well, Looker is also central to actually proving that there's multiple worlds theory of Pokemon. Because um, he's actually found unconscious in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Which is like a huge thing when that happens. And then in Gen 7, they dive on into the alternate worlds more. And he leads the charge on that. Uh, it's a real shame that he's not here, because this is when Looker would have been introduced. Uh, I just need to... I, did I use Pokemon Center there? I did. Yeah. Okay. Let us get going for the gym. What the actual fuck is Pokemon lore? <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, like, Gen 6 is probably, like, 
Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire goes into it like so much. Uh, but basically, there's a Pokemon multiverse. <laughs> and that game actually like entertains that idea in like a wild way. I definitely recommend checking that one out. Okay, we gotta fight all the fighting types here. Yeah, there's a Pokemon multiverse, and I believe it's hinged around the idea of Mega Evolution. And you go into that a lot in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. It's cool. Apparently we now live again in the timeline where they do not exist. Do anything here? I don't think so. Go in here. An alternate version of Ash where he actually fucking wins something. Well, he did win a tournament in the end. In Ash's defense, he did get there. Just, it took like, what, 20 years? It's a long time to be like 10 years old. Uh, this gym, I believe, is going to be a cakewalk. Also, Burby is too powerful. It might just be clean sail in here. God wants to learn takedown. You know what? Sure thing, God. more powerful than Headbutt. God will smite you. Seems like a good one. Discovered DMCA. <laughs> God used demonetization. It's super effective. <laughs> the world we live in. Your team is kinda basic. Alright, mister, what team did you use? I guarantee you, like, everyone, right, most people playing this game have the composition that is the starter, Staraptor, and then it tends to be a Lucario and Garchomp, and then one of Roserade, Floatzel, Luxray, or Driftblim. That's like 90% of Gen 4 Pokemon teams. Maybe a Honchkrow. Oh shit, he got my team. There we go. Why are you calling me out? You got me. You see? That's like so many teams. And if that's not spot on your team, at least four of those party members are correct. At least four. I'm in this video and I don't like it. <laughs> got like four or five of mine, you see? It's just like the Gen 4 team that everyone uses. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just a really good, fun team. Like, everything looks pretty cool. Everything's pretty powerful. You just have a good time. I know when I play Gen 4 as well, I like to use specifically Gen 4 Pokemon. Because it introduces a lot of really good ones. Room, but thank you for the tier two. Never played Pokemon personally, but I'm having a great time the last couple of years. Thank you. Oh. Glad you're enjoying the content. So, as an argument against being basic, you're saying you're basic. 
Well, no, cuz... <sighs> well, I walked right into that one, didn't I? It's the team everyone uses, though. It's fun. There's nothing wrong with it. Yes, I'm basic. What about it? Don't make fun of me! <laughs> oh no. Uh. I'll get through here. Hasn't changed the point. Look, my character's called Dad, alright? And I'm wearing, like, the default Pokemon Platinum outfit that, like, 90% of the people playing this game are also going to be wearing. Get off my case! I'm still hip. I'm here, you pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Cold, frosty dad. Oh my god. Look, at least I got a bit of a wild card in my team. I'm using God himself. Alright. Not every team does that. The Divine Almighty is on it. HM slave. <laughs> yeah, he is kind of here as a HM slave, isn't he? This is like, a, the, the, and even in this version, it's like I don't need to use him like that, but like I've still brought him along. Move these panels over. What? Okay, that's one of those. Uh, don't want to touch that one. I think I don't. Uh, that one opens there. That one opens there. That opens there. Uh, go through here real quick. Back around. And then final panel push. There we go. Now we just go back. What was the different version of this puzzle in Platinum? This one definitely had one. I can't remember what it was. It was the punching bags. Oh, yeah. Coming back to me now. You have to, like, swing them about the place. Oh, get a sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, that took a moment. Oh, I'm okay. Thanks for the blessings. Okay, third gym. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader. But we'll do the best I can. Take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. Here we go. This would be scary if we didn't have a level 36 star after on our team. We should be okay. Come on, Burby. We just wing attack everything down. Uh, Lucario will use close combat. 
one. That's two. Furby's so strong. That was a crit. Uh, reset wants to learn Volt Switch of its own accord. I guess I get I get to save the TM this way. That's actually kind of nice. There you go, Reset. God is level 30 now. <laughs> this isn't the end, my friend. Okay, Lucario. Close combat. Good fight. Burby too strong. <laughs> and we get double money thanks to amulet coin. Oh god, please. <laughs> Gotta stop it, god. Burmese evolve. We'll let him evolve. Evolve in the bottom. Yeah, so I still need to get Warmer Dam then. He literally didn't let the gym leader play. Oh, we're probably never gonna use this. So, get yeah, you win. It was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Three down. I polished the first two as well. Can't do it when it's docked. Okay, so I can use fly from the Poketch. Uh, if we get fly in the city, we can start traveling. And we get drain punch there as well. Dad, I can't explain what it means to be strong, or how much, go how much effort goes into it. Being with Pokemon lets us keep making the effort, doesn't it? Don't worry, I know you're not in my league yet, Miley, and you'll understand one day. Not as powerful as Dad just yet. Oh, Don's here again. Hi, Dad. Can please? Can you help me? Got my Pokedex by accident. Team Galactic took it. Now they won't give it back. Let's get going. Uh, we can safely evolve uh, Jefferson now as well. Gotta go help Don. I still have to go into the department store too. Team up and battle with Don. Don says, Dad, I'm being bullied. You leave my daughter alone, Team Galactic. You don't mess with Dad. Take him down. Burby's, Burby's getting real powerful. <laughs> oh god, we're just sweeping everything. I just need to get like a Garchomp, teach an Earthquake, and then just win. I think that's like the new goal. <laughs> and like we teach Surf as well to Jefferson. Just Surf every battle. So strong. I guess in this game does not have fairy types, it does have fairy types. They've kept that in. It'd be kinda weird to revert type changes back at this point. It'd be like getting like a Gen 1 map uh like 
a Gen 1 remaster and it's like Magnetite isn't steel anymore. It just doesn't feel right. There we go. Furby's level 37 now. Jesus. I mean, for the burb following that was amassed when we played Pokemon Heracold, you guys must be loving it now. Because, like, Burby is just stealing the spotlight. It's like this powerful, revengeful being. Team Glide is going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. Take it. Take your Pokedex. Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyway. But we'll say you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. Please keep Glide out in the streets like they own the place. Dad, thank you sincerely. Professor Rowan ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex. I don't want to think about it. So, Dad, what are you going to do now? Thinking of going to Pastoria. Oh, yeah, the Great Marsh. We have a Safari Zone in this game. Right. That was easy. <laughs> you guys just aren't gonna stop me picking this up, no? Okay. Thanks, Grunt. Whoa, whoa, what are we here? You are so not Team Galactic and your little kid to boot. Things we made with the energy we took from Valley Windworks are already in Pastoria City. Oh, that's not what this is about. Okay, thanks for explaining your plans. So I believe I can just fly now? Although, to fly, I'm gonna have to... Oh, I'm gonna have to load this up, aren't I? You can use fly from the town map. Poke Edge goes away forever once again. Thank you. Okay, let's talk to everyone here. Oh, we get item. We get access to new items now too, because we have three badges. We finally get full heals, which is actually kind of nice. Finally have revives. Uh, we don't actually need hyper potions right now because we have the Moomoo milk. Here to buy. We've Ultra Balls. Oh, it's just stock up on those. We don't even need to use Great Balls. That's fantastic. More of those, please. I can get some Max Repels, too. Uh, I have some stuff I can sell. I think I have a bunch of treasure from the underground. You don't need, like, the mushrooms or the nuggets for anything, do you, in this game? Art scales, I know that you need to relearn moves. I don't need the other ones, do I? I'm safe to sell these. If anyone in chat happens to know. You don't need any of them beyond the fossil. And the fossil, yeah, I already... The fossil as well, I already... Ah, it's not even worth that much. I might trade that with someone. Yep, let's sell it. Mushrooms you can sell to Maniacs. Nuggets you can just sell as is. Okay. We'll sell the Star List too. I got another one of these if I want to move my base too. Got a bunch of new TMs. Okay, let's go to every floor and just load up on items. Giving away a Poke Edge app for free is a promotion. The counter app. 
counter app can be used to count up to 10,000. I feel like this would be handy for Twitch chat to have, considering all the counters we've had going. Where is it? Yeah, that, that's a counter. Oh, the Pokatch goes away forever again. <laughs> Uh, you can buy all the proteins and that that you want here. X items for battle. Oh, he recommends stuff in the department store to you as well. That's cute. I'm not sure what to buy. Uh, they do have TMs. They actually quite nicely say what the name of them is. Uh, you always want to get at least one copy of Ice Beam. Something will be able to learn it. Uh, Flamethrower. Something might be able to learn that. We're not going to have any fire type attacks. Dazzling Gleam. Maybe something can learn that. Psychic is another good one. Those are some good ones that you actually have available. They seem to be cheaper than I remember. Even more here. Uh, Bulldoze. U-turn is not a bad one. Maybe we can pop that on Burby. Get a copy of Bulldoze. False Swipe, if you're looking to catch Pokemon, is really good. Sword Stance is one of my favorites, but it has very limited applications. Uh, like, if you're just playing against the, the game itself. Well, I'll, I'll keep that and maybe pop that on Lucario or Garchomp. One of them will be able to use that really well. This is some powerful TMs you actually have access to in the department store. I appreciate that. It's a shame that Earthquake isn't available. Because that's going to be one of the more valuable ones. Oh, you can buy the pedestals as well. You don't have to, like, get all these in the underground. That's way easier. Buy one of each of them. I don't know what the pedestals do. I don't think they have much of an effect. Hello, Dad. May I help you with anything? No, oh, thank you. Two buff guys stand side by side, that's all. Ah, young Pokemon trainer. Senior in life, let me make a gift of this sticky barb. Uh, sure thing. After you loyally for years, now they consider me a regular. There's no basement in this one? No, there's not. The speed of it feels like the elevator just drops. I think they cut- did they cut out a floor in the apartment store? Did the ground floor always sell items? I don't- I don't- I can't remember if it did. That might be a little quality of life change. I can't remember if the ground floor did. I'm so used to being like the-, the from the second floor that they sell items. There's no Poffin section. Was there a Poffin section before? It did sell stuff. Okay. okay well, we, we can fly now. Uh, so we can traverse the world real easy. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go south. And we're going to check off a lot of this... But you know, Crash Awake is gonna give us Surf, isn't it? I should I should go back to him first and then we go explore it. Because we'll be able to explore more. Yeah, we, we should be lined for him. 
We're gonna fly back to here. Oh, that's cool. Burby's gonna take us. Okay, we need to go beat Wake. We don't have Surf yet. I don't think we get it till later, but we have to beat him anyway. To unlock it. Uh, like, even the ability to use it. Wait. Among the trees that use mirror honey, there are lucky trees and not so lucky trees. Surely this is a lucky tree, Mr. Tutorial Man. Ladder lap now. Why, hello there. It's always nice when a trainer stops by and says hi to us police officers. He's a trainer only at night, I believe. Girls day and night, I'm feeling drowsy. There's, there's a lot of them here. The team is looking pretty solid. Uh, let's use the TMs, actually. We just bought a bunch of them. Sword stance. That's not really good on huh? lettuce. Ball swipe. No one can learn that. A U-turn. Uh, we'll give it to Burby. You know what? Sure. Aerial Ace is wing attack, but it always hits, so... Yeah. There we go. Psychic, nothing really. Lettuce can learn Dazzling Gleam. I didn't actually know that. That's not bad for coverage. Uh, I can get rid of Stun Spore. Do I want to have Stun Spore? I need something to keep Flash. This would be the only thing that will be able to inflict Paralysis on my team. Hmm. But it does mean that two of, like, uh, Lettuce's moves aren't attacking. Dunspore is good for catching, yeah. I mean, Poison Sting is doing nothing for now, so let's just get rid of Poison Sting. And we can make that decision later. I think once we get Sludge Bomb, we have to decide what we want. Maybe I can teach Flash to something else. Nothing can learn Flamethrower. Jefferson can learn Ice Beam. Also, God can learn Ice Beam, but I mean, that's more that might be more valuable on Jefferson. <laughs> um, I probably want a Steel type attack just because it's gonna get Stab. So I think we just forget Peck here. That means it'll be Water, Steel, and Ice. That seems pretty good. We have Flying type True Burby. Never use charm. I use charm occasionally. I have used it actually once before. God can learn sword stance. <laughs> I don't know if that's how we want to use that TM. Oh, we gotta sort all our new items too. Card spec. 40 Ultra Balls now. Catch Pokemon quite securely. Moo Moo Milk is basically our healing item in the next well. We're doing so... Uh, we have three badges and we've got almost level 40 Pokemon as well. That's actually kind of absurd, ain't it? Take Martem. Uh, what are we evolving next? What makes sense to evolve? Kranidos is evolved form. It's only at level 40 and we're probably not going to find in the wild. So we should probably just keep that as the filler one. If we're not sure what else to bring. Baneri actually might be a good one. Baneri evolves with friendship, doesn't it? That will take a very long while. Baneri is friendship, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
We're gonna keep an area then. We'll get that evolution. Please see what you care for a Pokemon battle with me. Uh, we have an amulet coin for this fight. These guys should be loaded with cash. That's the best part of fighting like the old gentleman in this game. <laughs> Give us your money. Okay, uh, Aerial Ace. Oh, Jefferson gets to use Ice Beam on Chat Hop now. New moves, putting in work. Give us your pension. You think that's why they're loaded? We're just stealing their retirement funds? <laughs> oh no. Okay, how much money is it gonna be? This is a double battle, two of them amulet coin. 16 grand, Jesus. That's so much. God, stop evolving. Okay, citrus berries. That's the one berry that I probably want to, like, replant straight away and get more of. I think citrus and leper are the main two. Citrus is just one of the best berries. Yeah, see, it waters both of them. It waters the ones next to it, which I didn't even notice before. They have it, though, even in Heart Golden, that, that you can step left or right while watering and just get them all. Which was probably the easiest way. But you know, that wasn't Heart Gold. Which one was that? that X and Y? I remember. It was handiest when you just had, like, berry pots and you took them with you. That was Auras, yeah. Here. I love if you just run into them. Can I help you? <laughs> they just slide. And this is Pokemon Mansion. Pokemon Viewings. And you and me all this patrol can get pretty demanding. I think this is a double battle. Yeah, these are rich kids. You know, my Pokemon sleeps on fancy, imported bed. Yeah, that's great, kiddo. Rich boy Jason. It's Mr. Wellington. Get him. Destroy them. Oh god, they're influencers. <laughs> oh no! TikTokers! They're back! Greatest enemy of all. Um. I think if I just do that, I'll be able to, like, kill them fine. Might not kill the Lixio, but that's okay. Get him, Jeff. Oh, we're, we're just grossly overleveled at this point. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have an Empoleon now as well. That's level 36 hit. Unseemly sense of desperation about you. Ugh. It's 13 grand. Jefferson has reached his final form. We can let him evolve safely now. Got him, Polion. He's really cool. 
And he now has Steel Typing. And he wants to learn Aqua Jet. I don't know if we have the room for Aqua Jet. Yeah, we really don't. Look at that, how he follows us. Jeff's all growing up. That's, that's cool. Oh, he's gonna narrow to a run everywhere now, though, I just realized. <laughs> oh, no. Best been watching anime. Or playing Fortnite, you know, that's a thing now. The way out to the trophy garden. The garden is open for all visitors to enjoy. But please be please beware, wild Pokemon may appear in the garden. I'm pretty sure there's something that's exclusive to the garden. Taking a break. Oh, you can catch Pokemon in the trophy garden. Put this on a cop Pokemon, it warms up to you faster. Oh, that's convenient. We were trying to level up uh, Benary anyway. There's a burn heal in the bin for some reason, too. What happened here? Sued Bell. Get another great bot. We probably don't even need that anymore. I'm sorry, everything beyond this point is secret and off limits. I don't think there's any way to get through that door. I remember trying to figure that out as a kid. The back lot is the master of his house, this is his office. I'm strictly off limits there. You just rob this real quick. I'll talk to you in a mo. You may look, but please refrain from touching this Pokemon statue. <laughs> just... Let me get my hands all over it. Okay, how you doing? Hello, hello, welcome to my opulent mansion. Ahem. Love for me to pr be proud of inside and outside of this home. Makes me the most proud of my trophy garden in the back. If I bother traveling a farm and Pokemon are attracted by my garden, they come to me. You're welcome to join my marvel at my garden. And hop on out here. Trophy garden. It's just a little patch. It does look kind of barren, doesn't it? I feel like they could have added a bit more detail. Oh, there's a Pichu here. I always wonder where you get these. Like Pikachu and that in this game. Yo, I, ca I can't weaken it with Burb. I, I need to send in something weaker. Burb's too powerful. Maybe we can just catch it. Sweet. Let's just keep that up. That makes it go way quicker. Hey, what other Pokemon are here? I think Pikachu then is the exclusive one for this zone. Pikachu's as well. I already have one of them. Here, I'll let I'll let Jefferson lead the ga the squad a while. Uh, let's change it. And held item. Swap. There we go. Is there anything I should be keeping an eye out for here? Does anyone know? Could just check Cerebi. <laughs> we see if there's anything of note. Have a look see.
I don't really mind checking for like Pokemon like encounter rates and stuff like that in this game. Like I, I played this back in the day. I would have looked all this up back in the day too. It should be mostly the same. Uh, I need like the poker. Trying to find it. Okay, I got it. So this is the Pokemon Mansion, yeah? Page for this one is missing. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Mew 3 spawns here sometimes. Oh, there's a standard Pikachu. Let's just pick this one up. There's one for the trophy garden. Oh, okay. Thank you. There is one for the trophy garden. Uh, Pikachu is probably the rarest one. Yep. And then it's after you beat the Elite Four, it like wildly expands. Oh god, it expands a lot after you do that. Like Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Meow, Chansey, Eevee, Porygon, Cleffa, Igglybuff, Maril, Azura, Plusle, Mine, and Castform, Bonsly, Mime Jr., and Happini. Jesus. That's a hell of an expansion, like, later in the game. Pikachu. Got Pikachu. Have you been to the underground? I have. National Dex, yeah, that's that's National Dex. Okay, so we'll, be, we'll, we'll go back there later then, because we'll have to pick up some stuff. It seems like. Uh, but for now, we're good. Are you sure you've got Pikachu? I'm pretty sure I caught him just there. Let's uh, go into... Swamp now. I think this area, this kind of type of region is like... I think they've only done this like twice. I think they did it in Gen 6. But it's like fairly unique because it's like all swampy terrain. Especially when you get to the Great Marsh. This is Dark Souls now. They did it in Gen 5 as well, did they? This is the first time they definitely did it. Oh, Gen 3 had one, did it? I remember the swamp of Gen 3. Gen 3 Route 120. Well, I don't I don't know Route 120 off the top of my head, but alrighty. This is Blight Town of this. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Oh, we didn't bring the poison moss clumps. Looks like God is not gonna make it. Um, oh, this is unfortunate. Uh, just... Just hit it. Yeah, 120 is just very tall grass and rainy. It's not a swamp. Yeah, it's more of like a jungle kind of area. I was thinking. This is the rainy area. Here's like an actual swamp. Like you can actually get into the, like the muck in that here. This was so powerful. <laughs> I have to get tougher than this. Oh, it got very dark all of a sudden. The moment it hits five o'clock, there's like the sky is orange. Like, night mode has just been enabled in the game. Germany often goes full dark at 5pm, yeah. <laughs> like, it, it's actually pitch blackout at the moment, though. 
the copper knight is settled in. Welcome to winter. So if anything, I appreciate that it's still kind of bright out while we're playing. Give me that. Uh, another police officer. We can fight them a little later in the day. It's not quite yet. Out of my Pokemon here, I'll show you why. What did you mean when you said safely evolve Jefferson? Well, it's like, it was like a fighting type gym before. I didn't want to make him steal before that. It's dangerous to evolve him. Like, no, just, just like before then. He was gonna get hurt. person who lives in a place that is perpetually summer, I envy your season changes. Oh god, what's that like? Is it just like hot all year round for you? Like always bright out. What what region are you in if you don't mind my asking? Texas. <laughs> it's just Texas, ain't it? Southeast Asia. Okay, right. I guess it's just quite tropical Florida. <laughs> just wet, hot, and dry, hot. Oh no, that sounds intense. Now, Ireland, the most we have to contend with is it just rains a lot. It's basically the experience. I want to go loop around here first. Lettuce, we're gonna- we can use you in battle now. You actually have an attacking move. And held item. It's that. It's gonna be another Magikarp guy. No, it might be a Barboach guy. Different kind of guy. At least the leveling is balanced now. I mean, I think the, I think the leveling's still kind of out of whack. Like, this is a level 17 Barboach that I'm killing with my level 32 Roselia that I've only recently started to use in battle. I've just been kind of coasting on XP this entire game. The balance feels really out of whack. Like, this is too much. These poor trainers don't stand a chance. Everything is constantly getting more powerful. We still have a huge section of the map to explore too, so we're gonna be even more powerful. Like, we, we could very well be like level 50 by the end of today. Level 60. Probably be like 60 or 70 by the time we get to the Elite Four. I remember like the, the craziest one I had for like balance. Outside of I guess Sword and Shield, because then I just had like a level 100 Wooloo. Uh, but outside of that, it would have been X or Y. And I remember when I did X and Y, I straight up just had like a level 100 Greninja. By the time I got to the Elite Four. Which is just like... Stupid. <laughs> it's like too much power. The like odd one out in terms of difficulty is gold and silver, which is actually very hard. Uh, because they don't give you a lot of battles, and they don't give you even like good wild Pokemon levels. If you lead four and that one's actually really tough, because they're all level 50, and you'd be at best level 40. So it's like ungodly hard.
Yeah, this is a bit crazy. Like, I'm, I'm kind of just mashing A and getting to the end. I'm not thinking about the battle too much. That's why I'm just, like, even able to just talk to you as well. I go... I think... Load up a good move, you sort it. Uh, that just leads back there. Over here. Tiny mushroom. My poor Jefferson is struggling. He keeps teleporting. I've been counting to Scyther and all I have is the normal Pokeballs. Yeah, because like, even with the Underground, you get access to a lot of stuff very early. The wild Pokemon in the Underground are stronger than the trainer battles right now, which is kind of crazy. Like, if I head down there, I'll be fighting like level 30s. Whereas here's like a Gyarados. 21. And that's his only Pokemon too, so this is, this is what the game considers a strong fight right now. It's, like, it's 12 levels lower than me. God grows in power. Who can learn double kick? Oh, Benary. Uh, what we get after you? There we go. I now understand how I was able to beat it as a kid. <laughs> as a kid, it would have been harder. But, like, it actually is easier now, because of the XP share. I think you can still get a Lucky Egg as well, which would double your experience. Uh, if you want even more power. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Burby. With Burby annihilates them and we're almost out of power. Pokemon that become more powerful when it rains. Let's kill her. God really needs an Everstone. <laughs> it is kind of funny that he keeps trying to evolve. <laughs> like, if I find an Everstone, maybe I'll slap it on him, but it, it is quite funny. He just is constantly aiming for it. I'm gonna do it this time! God, no, stop! Just killing everything. Experience share makes just makes grinding less of a pain? It does. Like, that's- I, If they- if they had the, a toggle for the experience share, I think I'll be okay with it. Or if you just got it in the post game. Like, for leveling up stuff from that, like, yeah, it's actually really handy. But, like, when you're going through the first time, like, it just breaks it. Like, it, it, it's not even challenging anymore, you know? I'm still having a nostalgic fun time, but... It's very easy. <laughs> okay. Trainer tips. If you get stuck in the box, you can count on being there a while. Don't need to panic, just struggle and keep trying to move around for a time. If you get stuck, struggle. You'll escape it eventually. Very easy. Okay, first gym. Die, guy. No, stop it. <laughs> I'm not letting this be my legacy. That first gym is one of the hardest ones. Alright? 
Kranidas, level 14 at that point in the game is terrifying. Let's get a whoop. There we go. You can just put the Pokemon on the PC if you don't want them to gain XP. But half a Pokemon is you're trying to work out type advantages and it's like a puzzle. And if you just have one Pokemon on your team, then you're not going to have much fun doing the puzzle bit. That's the problem. Like that, that it's like... I weren't, oh, I, I was squirming and struggling. It's not really a solution to it. Just the toggle is fine. They had it as a toggle before. It was fine. No, they used to cut that they used to call him the first gym die guy back in college. You can already solve the puzzle with only one Pokemon. Yeah, like that is the thing actually, I suppose. Star Raptors well, Star Raptor's already so ungodly powerful because it's just been on. Kill Luxio. At least there's some fights where we still need to actually switch in that and work things out. I just encourage you to change up your team every time they start getting OP. I mean... Maybe a little, but like that's not how people play Pokemon. Most people kind of like, they, they make a team of their favorites, and then they use those, you know? And like, you swap them out till you get to that point. Oh, you can go up here, I forgot about this. Five. Wait, you have fun playing Pokemon? Shock hour. Get all the pin up berries. I think we're already at the next town. Let's get another badge in a moment. Thank you, friendly Badoof. I would have loved if you used like fly just another Badoof comes down. <laughs> Let me help you. Everything is Badoof. doing out here? This guy's just standing in the rain. <laughs> Riding a bike across that is really dangerous. But look, so is sending like a 10 year old out in like an adventure. Like climbing mountains and the like. Use that and kill Abra. <laughs> and we can send in. Uh, just Jeff, you take it from here. But literal elemental monsters roam in the wild. Yeah, like it's a dangerous world. In Pokemon. It's absolutely treacherous. Like you, you could just get, like, it'd be set on fire. Everyone just lets the kids go off into the wilderness. Uh, oh, give me one second. Uh, I am gonna take a quick be right back. I just have to go quickly let Julie back in. I'm gonna be two minutes. It's probably a good point for a water break anyway. Uh, and out for the day. Just gotta go get the door.
Yeah, I'll be back in. I'll be back in two or three minutes. Official water break time. See you in a few.
Oh, hello, hello! Why is everyone saying Joe Biden? Why can't you guys just be normal? <laughs> like, is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Every time. Uh, how's it going, though? Everyone doing okay? I got a drink there. I got a surprise gift. Uh, from both uh, Julie, aka Akia, and Josie, aka Cake Jumper. Um, they're just hanging out in the other room. They brought back some mini Colin the Caterpillar uh, cakes, it's like some mini rolls. So I'm just having one of them. We're just chilling. They know I'm gonna be playing Pokemon for the day. <laughs> like I'm so sorry, I cannot see you today. I'm t I work has been rough. No, I just want to play Pokemon. Pokemon release weekend, and you know, I promised you guys that. But I have a little mini the Colin the Caterpillar cake, and I just bit off his face, and it was delicious. How are you all doing? I thought I'd never see you again. Sad thing is, right, because Colin the Caterpillar has these kind of like smarties that are dotted on his body. But I have to actually take them off because they're a bit too hard for the old teat right now. So I'm like dismembering this poor caterpillar cake. As I go just chopping parts of them off. <laughs> oh. To show them off, I've already eaten his face. I don't, I don't know if you want that. It might not be good. It's delicious, though. Very tasty. Eh. Show us, please. Like, it's just like a mini roll now. Like, his face is gone. <laughs> There's nothing to show anymore. <laughs> There's nothing there. I'm like, I'm, I've almost eaten all of them now. Oh. Demand content. What kind of content is that? You want to watch me eat? Like what? <gasps> we need to see the cake be consumed. Show us the crumbs. Bring enough for the whole chat. No, but I'm sorry, I don't have enough. What's going on, everyone? I just arrived. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you just got here, don't. It's not too late to leave. Come back in like 10 minutes, when chat's more normal. I'll share my eggs. <laughs> there you go, you get a scrambled egg buffet. Oh, there's gotta be something in here. Oh no! There it is. Show us the corpse, Daniel. I ate it! Like, th there's... <laughs> I, I I ate the little cake. There's nothing to show. You ate the corpse. Well, it's caterpillar cake. It's what you do. Or candy. Regurgitate him? What is wrong? I was gone five minutes. What happened here? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna brave using the item finder. Cause there's definitely something here. Hang on. Let me 
hang out. Okay, never again. Amber, thank you for the no gift sub. Okay, Pastoria Town. Oh, bless. This one looks very cute. Okay, let's talk to everyone. Let's see what we can get. Daniel eats cake stream. I don't... I don't want to stream myself just eating food. I guess... Where's the content there? Daniel has a rather nice supper. The live stream. Holy shit, he's eating! Yeah, that, that, that's a mukbang, isn't it? Oh god, yeah, I forgot that's a thing. <laughs> that's what that is. Why, why do you want to see me make that? That would be awful. Oh, best. One of the best Pokemarts in the game. Look at that. Look at that. Combo on about 40 of these. Go up to 40 Dusk Balls as well. So many. Quick Balls are wonderful. I only d recommend d not using a quick ball if it's a Pokemon you want to use in your team. The ball design is a little ugly. But otherwise, they're so good. Just chuck them at everything. Oh, he wants to see all the, the forms of Burmy. I can't remember what he gives you for Burmy. Focus on normal Pokemon, please, chat. <laughs> and then the next message I see after that is just Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I feel like there could be like a college essay or like a case study just written purely on our Twitch chat. Like the development of discourse as observed in a twitch.tv live stream chat room. Someone could study it. Alright, we got we got a heart scale from the underground. I wanna see if Lettuce can learn any better moves. A magical leaf. Toxic spikes is good and competitive, but not really good for the main game. Uh can Burby get in? Sometimes when they evolve, they have like a new move just unlocked that wasn't there before. So it's worth checking. Jefferson is Zaqua Jet. I get Sword Stance. Yeah, because he didn't learn that when he was leveling up. That's just there all of a sudden. Reset. Electric Terrain. That one wasn't there originally. Okay, nothing really that we want there. We actually have someone in chat literally doing that, Dad. No joke. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You know, Amber actually has been writing about our chat and that in the community. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you guys are all gonna be study thin and uh, like, yeah, in paper. So you want to be careful what you say. I was like the like the data gathering going for that Amber. Like I I like to imagine like you just trying to analyze this chat. It's like 3 a.m. You haven't slept in like four days. And it's like papers everywhere. Hair's just all ruffled. It's like, oh god, what have I taken on? <laughs> <laughs> Why have I done this to myself? <laughs> That's so accurate. Oh, no. You, you guys are making the college study really difficult here. <laughs> like, stop saying Joe Biden. You know how difficult it is to process like 27,000 messages to say Joe Biden into an academic report. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> Uh, oh, now I'm done. 
So this is what we like to call the chat phenomenon. When they seem to get into like an agitated frenzy. And all chant the United- the President of the United States name in unison. Joe Biden moment, if you will. We're still trying to understand just what leads this hive mentality. Oh, God. A human's ants, the 10,000 word essay. How did you get to like the end of the paper? And it's just, so in conclusion, everyone's fucking stupid. <laughs> like, like, that's it. All the fines just like amount to that moment. <laughs> uh. Oh, we got some more stickers. <laughs> in conclusion, everyone's real fucking weird. I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is the scarf guy. He gives you a scarf if you uh, feed a Pokemon the max amount of Puffins. And I think the scarf increases their ability in contests. Not that you really want to do the contest in this one, sadly. So annoying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three gym badges. Little Turps like you should know to stay out of Team Galactic's way. If you have four gym badges, though, and you talk to him, he's scared of you. So, let's go do that. In conclusion, Joe Biden. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh my god, it was like rearing the go there. Okay, let's get going. Go further down. Uh, I think I just want to use, we'll save lettuce. I can use lettuce for the gym fight. I can probably just use Burby up until then. Burby's already so strong. Uh, G Piro, that's 1500 bits. As a human, I can conform, I, I have the mindset of an ant. I can confirm. Like, what does that even mean in, like, the study? So people would donate the streamer cash to belittle themselves. And they got some kind of joy out of this. How do you, how do you process that? Academically. <laughs> Oh yeah, what about reset? Yeah, yeah, sorry, we have an electric type. Yeah, I should probably use them for this gym. We'll use them too, don't worry. Don't kink shame. <laughs> oh no. Also, this gym employs literal children as like the trainers you face. It's like that kid can't be any older than like six or something. Here. Can't go there. Yep. Child labor laws, not today. He's probably eight. Oh, sorry. Six year old child working. No, so, so someone's got to inform the government. Eight year old child. I oh, know, that's okay. He's coming of age now. Big difference. The little taller. Gone from watching Rugrats to watching Rugrats all grown up. Uh, who has the amulet coin right now? It's still Burby. Let's keep using Burby. Raise the water. I mean, the first gym employed children, too. True, yeah. But 
does seem to be some labor law questions here. So now it's gonna get closed down. Is there even a government in Pokemon? God, I never actually thought about that. Is, there, is it just the Pokemon League, like, rules with an iron fist? Does democracy exist in these games? I don't know. There was a chairman in Sword and Shield. He owned, like, the gym organization. I guess it's organized through the gyms. It's the only semblance of power there seems to be. Not every gym leader is like a sheriff for their town. Elected through combat. The strongest warrior looks after each town. Go this way. There are no jails in Pokemon. Every bad guy gets snapped by God. Like, yeah, there's, there's police in Pokemon. They do actually have jails. In Gen 5, like, Looker actually, and even Gen 4, Looker arrests a lot of people. There's an FBI in Pokemon. Does that mean that there's torture? <laughs> oh no. What other systems have we got? There's secret agents. <laughs> We've got to extract. Like, information out of this man. Hook him up to the Pikachu. Oh no. The Pokemon War, remember? Oh yeah, there's like Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, he's like actually in the military. God, yeah, it's too menacing if we think about this too much. Maybe we shouldn't. I forget there was a war in the context of Pokemon. Who are they in a war against? That's a good question. <laughs> Maybe Lieutenant Surge is just a, just a delusional cosplayer. <laughs> there was a war, I tell you. I fought so many people! Like, no, he, like, Lieutenant Surge, you just went rogue in, like, a small town. Like, you just started zapping people with electricity. You can't do that. There never was a war. He's a larper. RT and X and Y, there was a genocide. Oh, I know about that one, yeah. But, <laughs> that actually is the lore for Gen 6, yeah. There was, there was a big, uh, big old killing. With a lot of Pokemon, but... Yeah, Pokemon lore is weird. Pokemon lore is really weird. <laughs> of these buttons being here. It just gets stuck. Okay, well we made it to the end. How do you want to be executed in the Pokemon universe? Well, I imagine Aegis Slash they use for like, a, a, in place of the guillotine in Kalos Society. In the Kalos Revolution. I don't want to go down this rabbit hole anymore. <laughs> That's fair. The Pokemon did Napoleon use. You're challenged by Pokemon trainer Napoleon! <laughs> what would he send out? 
feel like it's a water type. I don't know why. I feel he Empoleon. There you go. Job done. And there's Napoleon. Uh, what does God want alert? God wants to learn Super Fang. This cuts the target's HP in half, so God's now gonna be able to snap people. Oh God. Right, no more defense, girl. See Napoleon also have an artillery. Yeah, Napoleon will be like a water type trainer. It just makes sense. God, please. And why did he lose at Waterloo? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Maybe it's called Waterloo because he brought all the water types. That's why he lost. He didn't know what team balance was. It was his undoing. Okay, um, I could use lettuce for this gym. I'm just going to see if Burby can tank it. Let's just give it a go. Giant of a man here. His head is bigger than our body. Welcome, I don't get challenged very often. Glory, you're now beholden as Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. Welcome, I'm toughen up by the stormy white waters. I'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. <laughs> he looks so stiff with his arms like that. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Burby. It's only got three. Uh, we can use U-turn eventually. Reset our attack a bit. Let's just get Gyarados down and then we'll pop over. Burby should be fine. Should be okay. Okay, you turn. Oh, you. All right. Let's see how it is. You can just use a reset from here. You like one of the like one of three battles reset has appeared in. We'll love Liz's team as well. I I know I'm still over leveled, but <laughs> just by how much. He's got a qua oh he's got a Quagsire! We're actually gonna have to switch Pokemon! The lettuce here. Thankfully, we have a grass type. We should just be able to annihilate this. Quagsire is just such a derpy Pokemon. I love him. Looks like he, he looks like he's waiting in the queue. And like he, he's not quite sure what he's doing here. And he got tired. <laughs> Air, that was a good move. It floats so Scariest boy on the team. Level 30. Just Giga Drain. Got Ice Fang. Think we can recover most of it. Yeah, it's dead. Cool. Well. Good job, Lettuce.
never losing in a gym again. You've earned this. Ten badge from Wake. And that lets you use Defog. You also get his stickers. PM55s. Each of them has brine. Okay, see you later, Wake. So now if we go talk to the Galactic Grunt, he'll be like, Oh, you're a twerp with four gym badges! And he'll be scared of us. Dreams crushed 156. Is that actually up to date with the amount of battles we've had? What's the dad counter on? That was the other counter. Let's talk to him now. Package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse. That was my job to deliver this to the lake. Important mission, no failure allowed. No making boo-boos. Boo-boos? Like wandering off into the Great Marsh. You were eavesdropping, I was just talking loudly to myself. I wasn't in a hurry, I pulverized you with my Pokemon. I have to go on my way to the lake ASAP, so you're lucky, I'm out. Oh, and listen, don't you dare follow me. Alright. Persisted pest. If our plan works, our boss's dream comes closer to fruition. Boss's ideal world is gonna be created. I'm not gonna waste my time in a nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you come chasing after me. Oh no, lad. I'm not always gonna plow into you every time we meet. How's it going, Dad? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Lad, no! There's a criminal, lad! <laughs> He's getting away! <laughs> okay, get him, Burby. Oh god, love him, he still has a Starly. That's not- why is that not even a Staravia? He hasn't even evolved it, it's level 26, what are you doing, lad? No, it's dead. That's- that's their god. <laughs> it's like Madoof. That's a Buizel and not even a Floatzel. Get him, Burby. Veneri wants to learn Charm. Uh, their attacks are actually pretty good. Ponyta, he found a fire type. It's dead. Probably missed the first day of trainer school. <laughs> Tell you raise your Pokemon to be tough. Level 31, God, God love you lad, you did your best. Everything is dead. <laughs> He tried. Uh, we can learn Synthesis. It's actually not that good. It's just a recover move. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yes, lad, you did. Maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. It even shocked me a bit, so yeah, I got a beat. Because I was careless. Hey, what was that Team Galactic guy f all freaking out about? I know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. Well, I was gonna! See you later. Footprints are left in the sand when you walk on the beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy leaving footprints as much as people. Get all the berries. Amber, thank you for a thousand bits. 
I'm gonna start applying to graduate school soon for programs after sociology or media studies. Uh, the paper I'm currently writing, based upon my survey and interview data, are the different roles used to see themselves and the streamer, as well as chat's interaction with both the streamer and each other. Basically, Twitch chat is helping determine my future. See, there we go! There's the paper! You gotta stop screaming Joe Biden all of a sudden. <laughs> if you don't want the data to look a real weird. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amber. That's great to hear, too. That's the luck with graduate school. Now, oh, there's another rock climb point. Joe Biden is just chat's way of displaying nervousness. <laughs> just panic and get into a frenzy. Well, we're gonna have level 40 soon. Our first one. I think, um... The seventh gym is level 40, isn't it? <laughs> I think we're a bit ahead. This over here. Aerial ice. The sixth gym is forty. Okay. So we're doing we're doing pretty good then. Uh, let's pop some honey down here. I gotta go back and get to some of the honey trees because I believe they show up on the map now. Like location info. Yeah, so this tells you the, the points where you pop them. These ones are ready. Uh, these ones you put honey. And these are empty trees. So we'll, we'll head back and pick up those trees soon. Let's see what we got. Oh, Dr. Footsteps House. I forgot about this character. Pokemon are quite easy for me to read. You only see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. You star after walk in front of me right here. It's footprints, I will determine how it feels about you. Dad is a remarkable human and trainer. You can always perform the best any star after possibly can. I attribute that entirely to my partner, Dad. Travel, I can see wild Pokemon eyeing us enviously. That is what your star after thinks of you. I must say, your star after and you share a very close bond. This is for you. Here's a footprint ribbon. Ribbon awards to Pokemon deemed to have a top quality footprint. Wonderful. <laughs> Jefferson, please. Keep standing in front of us. Why is chat getting weird about feet? Guys, why? Foot ribbon! Foot! Feet! Hey, right. calm down. Please. <laughs> you don't need to do this. It... What? That... I f there's, there's a meme I think it's like where it literally is just I think it's two people in a car and one of them scream at the other Why can't you just be normal? And then the other person's just incoherent screaming And I feel like that's our relationship sometimes here <laughs> Oh Biden, stop it Who, who are you doing this for? Who are you trying to impress? If anyone asks you about your day, right? I want you. If anyone asks what you got up to today, you tell them 
Well, I was watching um, a Twitch streamer stream the new Pokemon game while yelling Toe Biden at him for six hours straight. And just see that person's reaction to that. Because that's not something people do, and I think you guys don't know. God, stop above. <laughs> Love of God. Gotta stop. Here's the grunt. I didn't get too far. My parents are gonna love that conversation. Talk to your parents. Have no shame. Matter of fact. Toe Biden. That's how I spent my Saturday evening. Just see what your parents say. All being quirky, Dad. He had the energy from Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. And for our boss who made us as a scientific genius. You gotta stop monologuing. He's running. And now we gotta fight these small children on the beach. Sorry, I can't take your lecture seriously when in the same breath you screamed, God, stop evolving. <laughs> Context is important here. God evolving has been a persistent problem. Can't be at that. All this trainer has is a level 23 by barrel. That's a strong fight, as far as the game's logic is concerned. So powerful. Lost, and now I feel hungry. Isn't this nice? I love my inner too. The like camera whip around is wild. God is denied evolution. You're the one who raised this swarm fast. <laughs> well, you know, maybe I have to consider my parenting techniques. Oh, maybe... Maybe all this screaming at you didn't work the way I wanted it to. Maybe I went wrong somewhere. They didn't scream enough. Start smacking us more often. <laughs> if this is your first time watching the stream, uh, sometimes in my Twitch channel, uh, chat likes to roleplay that I'm their abusive father for some reason. I'm not sure how this came about either, but it sounds real bad out of context. <laughs> this must be so confusing if it's your first stream. This is gonna get even more confusing because I now have a special video I would like to share with everyone. Uh, because it's six o'clock. You just get it. Your God! No, nope, that's the wrong clip. Hang on. <laughs> Gear on up. Gear on up. Okay, you're in for a treat. We have a special video for you tonight. I've lined up the monitors wrong. <laughs> Just quickly, uh... There we go. Okay. Alright. 
According to the Gyakuten Cyber Fan Book, director Shu Takumi suggested that every time the Von Karmans and Miles Edgeworth won a trial, they would go to a karaoke bar and sing My Way by Frank Sinatra. And now, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I've traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do and sighed through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway. And more, much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, there were times, I'm sure you knew, when I bit off more than I could chew. But through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. I faced it all and I stood tall and did it my way. I've loved, I've laughed and cried. I've had my fill, my share of losing, and now, as tears subside, I find it all so amusing to think that I, yes, I did all that, and may I say, not in a shy way. Oh no. Oh no, not me. I did it my way. For what is a man? <laughs> what has he got? If not himself, then he has not. To say the things he truly feels And not the words of one who kneels The record shows I took the blows And did it my way Now upload it on you. Yes, I did it my way. <laughs> if not himself, then he has not to say the things he truly feels, and not the words of one who kneels. The record shows I took the blows. Yes, for you see, it was my way. Apparently that's canon. Yes, for you see, Phoenix.
I did it my way. <laughs> Acro's just looking at us. <laughs> it's like, what did I just witness? <laughs> Manfred von Frank Sinatra gives 15 quid. That was a performance for the record book. <laughs> the record shows I took the blows. Yes, for you see, it was my way. And now Manfred von Keimer will sing karaoke. It is standalone upload on the YouTube channel. For your view and pleasure, you too can now watch that moment to your heart's content. <laughs> I did it to my way. This <laughs> <sighs> is a magical moment from a train wreck of a Phoenix Wright case. Um, I'm just gonna, I ta I'm just gonna quickly share this out if that's okay. And then we will get back to Pokemon momentarily. Only comment that's needed, uh, I'm just putting on it. Yes, for you see, Phoenix, I did it my way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pop that its own little tweet and its own little notice just to let people know. Yeah, I, of course that was gonna be uploaded. It was kind of conspicuously missing from the main edit uh, of the highlights from the other day. Uh, the reason actually for that is just due to copyright concern. Uh, in part because if it's in the main VOD and something happens because of the use of the like, backing music, I don't want to have to get rid of the entire video, <laughs> you know? Uh, so it's in part because of that, uh, but it's also because I figure a lot of people looking back at it might just want to listen to that moment or might want to see that moment in particular because my god it was funny and stupid. So it is a standalone upload. Chloe did an amazing job on the actual, like, Von Karma kind of animation that you have in that video. So thank you so much for that, Chloe. Uh, she really outdid herself with that one. Uh, so it is there. For your view and pleasure. Von Karma did it his way. Just popping out a tweet. And I'm popping out a cheeky Discord tag for it. There we go. There's a ping for it. Did I do it in the right channel? I did it in the announcements channel. Okay, I did it in the right way. I'm, like, on edge about which channel I'm popping it in. There we go. There's a little Judge React for it as well. Tweets turn out. Again. <laughs> no, I'm not. You guys can listen to it to your heart's content now. I can't believe that moment happened. That was, like, magical when that just came up in stream. Thank you again to, like, for that information just being shared. <laughs> I got in the previous stream. I love that that's canon for those games. I find that so fucking funny. Cranman and Diecaster, thank you for the five gift subs there each. Thank you to everyone who just gave bits there too. But yeah, if you want to watch that to your heart's content, that's now up on the YouTube channel. It's the upload for tonight. Felt like that deserved its own video. Encore, please. <laughs> Guys, our team's Pokemon I don't know. Encore, calm down. Like, what, what will be another, like... Hang on. <laughs> An encore. Let me see, let me see, hang on. Let 
Okay, I have to quickly investigate this, right? Give me one sec. Okay, this seems to be okay. Okay, we're getting real sidetracked from Pokemon. Alright, for you guys only, this one will not be uploaded to YouTube. Okay, let's see if we can get this gear on up. Oh, I hope this works. Oh god. <laughs> you know, there's just a logo playing. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. <laughs> In other words, Darling, kiss me. <laughs> Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. <laughs> you are all I long for, all I worship and adore. <laughs> In other words, please be true. <laughs> In other words, I love you. <laughs> I can't do that. He's supposed to hum. I, I can't do Von Karma hum. I can't do Von Karma hum. Yes, for you see. I cannot hum, Phoenix. I had my vocal cords burnt off in the chemical factory. <laughs> oh. Oh god, it's just humming. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. <laughs> In other words, <laughs> please be true. <laughs> In other words, I love you. Yes, I love you. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> As your encore. Okay. How many people are still watching the stream? Not many. Okay, we lost a lot of them. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Pokemon. Uh, There's your encore. Von Karma Christmas album. You know, we might be able to make it happen, but we need a. Uh, Backing and support for a full compilation featuring all the classics. <laughs> oh, I'm just. That could be so cursed. Santa baby, hurry down the chimney tonight! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh no. Okay. We'll pack that there, but yeah, there's some Von Karma karaoke for you. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Amber, thank you for the five gift subs. Diecast, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Von Karma's wife is a lucky lady indeed. Legend, thank you for 1,500. Oh my please, full Christmas album, I will pay for that. 
Oh, God. We got some charity streams in December, right? Maybe, as some incentives for that, we could do Von Karma Karaoke Night or something. Maybe. I will be doing charity streams next month. We're taking part in Yogg's Cast Jingle Jam, and we're doing Thankmas as well. I will be willing to do stuff like that for charity. So, if you would like to see that, and we actually try to make a Christmas album. Uh, next month, charity. You'll have a chance. Could do it then. Could do it then. I think that would be a damn good one. And stoically in front of the deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. These sight suits me better than the sea. Alright, there. Like, I have so much money. Okay, he'll let us rest here. That's nice of him. Uh, let us keep on going. Can I in here? Oddly enough, here's like the villa resort uh, for the region. I think there's like another little villa resort on the like battle island that you unlock later. Magical encounter is in the winds. I cannot tell whether it'll be with a Pokemon or a trainer. Need some TM92s. Charity Von Karma album. <laughs> That'd be wild. Uh. You know about Matt Moon in the Kanto region? The very dancing under the moon, it's something I must see in my lifetime. Have you heard of the Whirl Islands in the Johto region? Silver colored Pokemon, I must see that in my lifetime. You know about the Space Center in the Hoenn region? It would be cool if he, like, referenced other regions. Uh, since it's been longer now. Sadly, he does not seem to... ...seem to repeat there. Seven Stars Restaurant, more flavor than you can wish for. At a restaurant, you can enjoy more than just exquisite dining. You can also partake in battles. Bon appetit. Uh, there's potentially a lot of trainers here. My boyfriend could tell that deep down I'm actually a frightened and lonely child. I don't think I could ever lose him. I want to test that theory. Oh, lose with him. Okay. Let's go. Private investigator. Pokemon detective. I guess we have Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, we can take them all. Burby's so powerful, but it just takes a while to actually fight because of the Intimidate going off every time. There we go. Kill them all. Is Finneon not bug type? I thought it was. Level 40 already as well, Jesus. Looker settled down. It's not quite Looker. And thank you for the 200 bits. What shampoo do you use? I can't remember. Can't remember what it's called. Fish equals bug. I thought Finneon, though, was. It's just pure water, okay. I think you're singing Killed God, you may need to change the stream title. He's, get he's dead again. <laughs> Wind it back. Amazing that you predicted you would lose. I had a bad feeling about this traitor. Let's just clear them all out. We get so much experience and money for this. They give you so many battles in this part of the game. I mean to hear Manfred von Karma singing Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> oh, God. That would be an ordeal on my throat. That would probably kill me. 
Uh, it's too much of one sock. It's like that has so much of like a movement and a range as well. JF, thank you for a thousand bits. Hope you're well too. I'm glad you've been enjoying the diamond streams. The only Pokemon game I've played, so I'm really enjoying seeing it again. Also, Von Karma Karaoke is amazing. Hope you have a great day. Thanks, man. <laughs> the one line in Bohemian Rhapsody that would work. Put a gun against his head. Pulled the trigger. Now he's dead. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody, but Von Karma has killed a man. <laughs> From his perspective. It's wonderful. Bohemian Rhapsody would take multiple takes as well for all the chords too. Yeah, it, that would be really hard. Von Karma sings Rap God, that's when you're pushing it. Let's be real here. <laughs> Cause like it's hard it's hard to do like anything fast in the Von Karma voice. Do you imagine like Von Karma freestyle rapping? It's, it's not gonna work. I feel like there's some limitations for the album. <laughs> God. It would be slow freestyle. <laughs> Don't know if that would work. Uh, there's too many song requests now for Von Karma. We gotta save it for later. <laughs> no, we're, we're shelving that there. Too much. So many. We've gotta beat Pokemon. Carry on. How much money are we getting from this cafe? I feel like we've got at least 50 grand or something now. Like, it's like all the rich and posh people just chilling here. We're just cleaning them out. Okay, punch Suda Wudu. Uh, Giga Drain the Bonds. Like. Would it be a physical CD because I would love to buy it and play it in my car on the way to work? <laughs> I don't think you want that. <laughs> Not sure you know what you're asking. Oh, Sudowoodo's still alive. Uh oh. Oh, thank God they forgot that I have a flying type here. Mostly. Furbies awaiting decisions. Bop them down. Imagine sitting in an Uber and they ask if you want to listen to music and they play that masterpiece. You would leave the tack, like, you just get out. Oh god, he's gonna kill me. You'd be like. Fearful for your life. Just running. Turn that shit up. <laughs> Kill Pichu. Come on, thank you for 150 bits. Thank you very much. 
Von Karma plus Toad duet win. <laughs> it's like, let's do Fairy Tale New York with just Von Karma and then Toad screaming. For the lyrics. Perfect. We're getting so much money out of this place. He's quite like this gentleman here too. We have the amulet coin for all this. That was like it'd be a true beauty. I'd never be able to like speak again. My vo my vocal cords would be permanently like gone. Like, that's it. There's no coming back. Yeah, we, we, we can revisit song requests and the like next month. Might do something then. We'll see. We'll see. We got a long way to go till then. So I, I, we're almost finished like the big box region uh, of Gen 4. We, we have like, actually, actually no, we're not. We have another route to still go to, uh, to the north. I don't know if we're going to get through the entire game this weekend. I reckon we're going to have to do a day or two next week. I think it'd be very ambitious to like do it all by tomorrow and the post game. Like with the Battle Island. The like, Sinar region is just massive. Like there's actually a lot to explore. Even if you beeline it will take a while. Better be in a pool in the sea. The salty tang in the sea tastes like t my tears after a hard day at work. Oh no. Come on back here after you defeat the champion. Don't forget about me here, okay? Take a picture. Oh, I can't remember what he's for. Hi there, it's me, the Gengar loving director. Battle editor trainers sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. Oh, the game director's here. Yeah, I'm a game director. You're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're going to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you fill it with tons of entries. Was there always a Gengar one? Remember the Gengar one? Cool of them here, they're just chilling. No, it's new. They're bobbleheads, they do look it. <laughs> Different developers. Oh, you think because it's a new studio, they added themselves as the game director? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. That is two, he had his two game directors. This is the original in the new studio. He just gave himself a Gengar because like, that's the Pokemon I like. That's cute. Okay, Team Galactic Grunt. How you doing? Not gonna battle us. Oh, here's the biggest lie in the game. Are you ready for it? Stop. Yes, you. Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, had a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Biggest lie in this game. He won't move for like three more gym badges. I'm gonna drop my sweet key somewhere again. Hotel people won't be happy with me. Sure, I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. Oh, um... You can actually find this item, I think. Oh, we're gonna have to use this.
Eaten. Does it see something? I don't know what it sees. If it's repeating, it normally... Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out here. Something for your trouble. You get a lava cookie. Careless with the sweet key when I get caught up in the scenery on my walks. Lava cookie is actually quite a rare item in this game. You can't get them normally. Like specialty only to Hoenn. Flying, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. This poor guy, he's still running. Get him! Finish him off. He actually runs quite far. For you in pursuit. Not far enough, though. You have to fight a universal entity before he lets you pass. Yeah, like that black sh that guy won't let you go to Sunny Shore until you've captured like the God of Time. Quite a big ask to enter Sunny Shore City. Not that easily accessible. God, please. <laughs> There he goes. I could have stopped him at this point. He's already lost in the battle. But... Apparently he makes it. Cynthia's here too. Well, long, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. I heard the folklore about it. They say there's an island inside the lake, and a mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber of, of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 2010? Well, 210. Uh, thank you for the medicine. Appreciate it. When a big adventure with Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. Hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. Into the grass she goes. Get rid of that again. They're protecting the lake. Nice to know there are still people worth admiring like that. I believe his name was Cyrus. Uh oh. Okay, and we still have another route. Look how much there is just from Heart Home City. We still have to go up here now that we have the medicine too. Get back to around to Celestic Town. And we haven't done the marsh yet. Let's go. Dear. Drugs were the answer all along? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, for the Psyduck medicine. It sounds worse if you phrase it that way. I'm dying at your new upload. Thank you very much. I do hope people enjoyed it. We just got some chill, honestly. We're just gonna clear up this route the next while. Uh, and then... Go clear the other route. I'll loop back to the marsh in a while. And we'll catch some stuff. But, like, this is probably a good time just to, like, kill him with chat again. I guess we've been kind of doing that while we go. There's a fair bit of downtime just kind of passively exploring the region here. Fair bit to see. 
I reckon, judging by the time, we might be able to get up like six badges or something today. Ah, yeah, we definitely will. We'll have time. Might get seven. How's the remake so far? It's been fun. Hope you're doing well today. Doing pretty good, thanks. I, I mostly just got up and started playing this. Like, that's been most of my day. Haven't done much else. But, you know, I signed up for the weekend for this, and I'm having a good time. Mike at 7 says dead in the first gym, guy. We- No, we could do it! It was a freak accident, alright? You gotta let it go. That was like yesterday. The whole day ago. Uh, I think this has sturdy, so I need to just hit it first. Is this the guy that died in the first gym? <laughs> I, I want to see, like, just someone was like, first time message in chat. Hey, I heard this was the guy who died in the first gym, is that true? Like, someone who's never been here before. heard about this guy. He's the one who sucks. I'll have you know I got a good review from Pokemon Challenges and my Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. He called me one of the best players that he's ever reviewed. Oh, God damn it! there's people. <laughs> you guys have been here a while. You didn't use didn't just get here. You just used didn't get here. Don't believe yous. Heal him up. I'm pretty new though. <laughs> Call him the Drift Pokemon Master in college. I I, I won a Pokemon tournament in college. <laughs> I don't talk about it as much as winning the title of Drift King back in college, but it, I actually did win a Pokemon tournament back in the day in college. There was no title. Uh, but I got my copy of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire for free. Because I won. Pokemon Showdown Tournament. That's true, too! That happened! I still have that copy. I have no receipt for that game. I didn't have to purchase it, because I won. There's a contest seed who could lose the first gym the fastest. Somebody ban that guy. Somebody ban that guy. You know, he... <laughs> Don't actually. <laughs> They called him the Showdown King back in college. This would have been the time that I was making like a series on my, like, actually on YouTube called Showdown Sundays. Where we compete the Pokemon Battle on a Sunday. <laughs> I think one of the teams in that is the one that I won the college tournament with. Can't remember which one. Uh, agility. We don't really have space for it. Found a copy on the floor after he left when he lost. <sighs> I did great in that tournament. I was able to clean up and position first overall. Y'all making fun of me.
burst from two people. I no, stop that. Stop that right there. It's just two people. He won because he was alone. <laughs> Congratulations. The only person who bothered to show up. Here's your prize. <laughs> One by default. Oh my god. I'm trying to think if there's any other college tournaments I won that have not been brought to light. <laughs> there might have been another Mario Kart tournament. Can't remember. Um. <laughs> I think that was all the tournaments. I can't think of any others. I tried to enter a Smash Bros. tournament. I did not win. I did not win at all. Oh, like, I remember being annihilated. My villager amiibo did very well in the tournament, though, and got banned. Because he was actually defeating too many people. That was quite funny. Felt proud of him. Like watching my child just compete. Yeah, he got banned because like the amiibo started knocking people out of the actual tournament. So it was like, we were just like, no, we can't have this. So we had to take him out, so he was disqualified. He was too powerful. Uh, switch to Jefferson. He can take point a while. Swap hold items. You could be a gym leader. What type of Pokemon would you loot? Would you use? Uh, I quite like a lot of Steel types, honestly. I can get a lot of variety with Steel. That or Dragon. What cave is this? I don't even remember this one. The Rune Maniac Cave. Oh, this guy! You go catch the unknown, I'll keep digging away. We'll have a race to see if you can get it done faster. So this guy, if you go catch all of the unknown, he digs a tunnel into their cave. And it leads you to catch the final two unknown. Which is like question mark and exclamation mark. I completely forgot about him. Dragon bestest. Dragon types are really cool. I like Steel just because there's a lot of diversity, like Empoleon, Lucario, Ferrothorn, Ishran. Even the ones like Skarmory and that, like Galga's of Steel. Steel pops up in a lot of places. A lot of Pokemon have it as like a subtype. And... Scizor is another one, yeah. I like Ghost a lot too. I really like Jellicent and I like uh, Decidueye as well. I got some cool ones. What would be your ace? What do you mean? No mention of Magneton. I'm kind. Of, I'm sad. I don't actually like Magneton. <laughs> I think he's kind of lame. Not for me. Klefki is another one, yeah. Oh yeah, that raises his attack, I forgot about that. I think I did back in the day, I think everyone did this. Where, um, there's like, there were sites back in the day where you could make like your trainer card ID for Pokemon. And you could like, put in your own avatar and put in like a portrait of all your Pokemon. I 
think I did one of them back in the day, too. I gotta make myself an ace trainer. I was gonna be a Pokemon master. I think that's what most people did, though. <laughs> like, they tend to have they tended to have like the coolest looking sprites. Ace is the poster boy of a team. Oh, okay, the first one that you use. I mean, my favorite Pokemon are Lucario and Whimsicott. Whimsicott's my all-time favorite. I would say. I think he's just really cute. Although I do like my Lucario a lot. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't even decide if Whimsicott's the all-time favorite. I can never pick between them. I love them both. Poleon, please. There's so many detectives out in the hills here. Another PI. <laughs> you know, there's a life size to carry a plush, accurate to its size in real life that they sell. And I saw like a news post about that. Um, I like it just seems like a lot of space to <laughs> dedicate to one. You know, I have a little Lucario plush out love. The one that I would get, if I could ever have the- if I ever saw it, would be like a life-size Marie. I think that just looks fucking hilarious. Or like a life-size Wooloo. Those look hilarious. They did one for Marie, but like it went out of stock like almost immediately. They also did like a bed for Gengar where it's like you roll out its tongue and that's what you sleep on. <laughs> it's like really weird looking. Cario is a beast. Hey Kelly. I want the Gengar bed, oh my god. It looks real weird, because there's like a picture of like a businessman in a suit. Just laying in it. And it's like, there's something quite unsettling. Let's see if I can find it. Pokemon Gengar bed. It's this one here. Okay, let me let me show you this. This is important. I just I don't understand who this is for. <laughs> Look, you just come home from a long day in the office. <laughs> Let me just go for a quick nap here. <laughs> the other one he's wrapped in the tongue. Like, that can't be comfortable. That can't be comfortable at all. <laughs> Why is it so small, too? It is quite small, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Gengar bed. I think it's like $500 or something. Like, it's actually very expensive. Kid size, then why is like the guy in the suit in all the pictures? I want it so bad. <laughs> oh god. It's so it's such a cursed piece of merch to release. So cursed. Edgar knows how to make you sleep. Dan, you wore a suit in a bathtub. This is gonna be another point that's used to invalidate whatever I have to say. Okay, first gym guy. Okay, Drift King. Okay, wore a suit in the bat. Okay, English major, yep. 
all of my life has led me to this point where nothing I say is valid anymore. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, paint drying is another one. English major, by the way. He said a word wrong. English major. It's called getting old, Archie. <laughs> no, stop this. I'm still young. I know what the kids are into. They all like those ticky talkies now, right? They're all playing the Fortnites, doing the epic dabs. And they all watch that, uh, that Naruto. <laughs> A lot of traders here. Have you had another stroke, Grandpa? <laughs> it's Baruto now, old man? Who the fuck is Baruto? <laughs> now to his son. Isn't he like 12? Doesn't he have a kid? New series. He's old. <laughs> oh no! Grow up, you fool. I've never, I've never seen it. I know absolutely nothing about him other than like the meme run people love to do. He's old just like you. God, please! Not the time. I think here there's... It's not open now. There's a path that will open there later. I think that's where it is. You just can't go there yet. Yeah, let's get a big root. Give God an Everstone. I don't have one! Go on, Jefferson, I know you can do it. Oh, yeah, because all the friendship stuff is, like, activating. Uh, okay. We've now cleared the little circuit here. Uh, let's go to the marsh. And catch some more Pokemon there. What kind of shows do you watch? Friends. Um. I'm trying to think what else I've actually watched lately. Friends is the worst sitcom. You take that back. How dare you. Looks like, looks like we got a Ross in the chat, guys. Oh god, he's old. Oh, we gotta talk to them all here. Tell me I'm not imagining this. The great match of Pokemon seem to be different from the ones yesterday. Oh, they change every day, don't they? Is this the one with the step counter? Put a hundred in. There's an Azuril. My god, it's big. Psyduck. There's a Marl. The Carnivine. Garopi. It shows you quite a few. The Great Marsh is your first safari game. 
Oh god, it's back to safari balls and everything as well. You get 500 steps. Do I, do I, can I even use Pokemon in this zone? Is this like back to mud? I found these during the safari game. We get the fog, cool. Oh, so we did need to go this way. Um, I'm trying to think, Sh should I? I? There's gonna be quite a bit in here. I'm wondering if I should just check Serapy. <laughs> no, we can explore it. We'll get what we need. We'll catch some Pokemon. This is trainer only. Oh God. It's been a while since the safari zone like this. You encountered a wild Starly. Yeah, ball bait and mud. Oh god, I remember this. So we gotta check each zone. We'll do a few trips. So we get all the items. So much mud. Only wild star starly so far. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. I don't want you. Thank you. It's watching carefully. He's just staring at me. Take the tram. I I, I will take the tram in a mo. Got to explore the area first time. We will go, well, we'll go back and take it. We're gonna, like, go hop in a few times here. Throwing food makes them easier to catch, but while eating it, they are likely to bolt. Throwing mode makes it harder to catch, but also get angry and become less likely. I always thought that was the other way around. Food makes them easy to catch. I always thought that was the other way. No wonder I couldn't catch anything from this zone. Throw a bunch of mud and hope for the best. Food makes them easier to catch. Oh, I gotta stop throwing this. I don't want you. Get out of here. God, too. <laughs> Is that going to take up steps when I'm in the deeper mud? God, I hope not. The whooper. Is there anything like exclusive to here that I'm after right now? I think Carnivine is the main one. Doku, so, thank you very much for the 100 bits. The first year I started watching on a regular basis, thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you very much. Whoopie boy. We, are, we already have Whoopie boy. Get out of here. Well, we're getting the encounters we paid for. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to quickly check. Hang on. Great marsh. I don't have a Zuril or Maril, actually. Those are exclusive to the Marsh. I think Carnivine is the main other one. They're so all sorted by area. There's a daily binocular Pokemon as well. Okay. Can't go that way. Uh, where was the binoculars for Carnivine? If you go here at 3 a.m. you could find Mew. No, you can't. <laughs> no. It all links back again. Top left. Okay, let's get a tramp. It's area one. I 
take the model railway. There we go. Go upstairs to the observatory before you start your safari game. Get the match with the binoculars to see the Pokemon you want happen to be. That's how you win. Okay, so it's over here somewhere. He's in the worst safari zone? I mean, this safari zone's kind of cool for its aesthetic, I think. It's different. The mud makes it, like, stand out a bit. I think the best safari zone is Heart Gold's one, because you get to, like, customize it. That's good fun. This one's not bad, though. A lot of whooper. Platinum Safari Zone was a big improvement. What was different in the Platinum one? I thought this was the Platinum one. Have a Psyduck. Item up here. Um, it was definitely this zone where Carnivine is, yeah? We want to try get him. Oh, there's a Quagsire. Big whoopy boy. We don't have this one. Okay, give him some food. Watching carefully. Give him some more food. Okay, he's gone. Get him next time. Oh, Meryl, Meryl we do need. This will give us one of the of this family. Okay, just give the one food this time. Busy eating. Ball. RT isn't here to catch Pokemon just to feed them. <laughs> I just want to feed the ducks. Keep chucking them. I, g I gave it one bit of food. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so it's just Carnivine, really, that we're after now. Like, I'll, t I'll take Big Whoopie Boy. Um, not strictly necessary, though, because I already have a Whooper. I can probably get this guy quite easily. Let's keep chucking balls again. It's gone. <laughs> Come on, Carnivine. Not quite. Oh, I gotta stop accidentally pressing A. Don't catch him. Don't do it. Please, no. Oh, we didn't need that. Put him in the PC. Never see the light of day. Fairy game is over. God damn it. You're certain it was that zone for Carnivine? Let me check the binoculars. Do I check the binoculars again just so we confirm it? Okay, 
Psyduck. Meryl. Meryl. Darley. Not even gonna show us. Whooper. Zuril. Has it changed? Will it not come back? It was there. Were we too slow? Connor, how's it going? Where is this lad? It, there's a Zuril there. Another duck. There he is. Okay, where is that? The, the the reference is the lady with the umbrella and the lake and a ledge Okay, that that's our target. That's who we're looking for uh, Does anyone know where that area is zone two? I'm trusting you I'm good at these games are neat I'm glad to hear it. I'm having fun playing it Okay, so that's a uh, zone two Just get hop on the tram immediately. It's right here. It's you're here. You can't escape me now. Not quite. <laughs> I like him, it just sucks knowing what they could have been. Yeah, I'm kind of of the same mindset. We've been talking about it a lot on, on chat where it's like, there's so much just stuff in Platinum and that that's just not here, and there's like weird, like, not non-existent quality of life things. But they just like didn't re- they just revert it back. But other ones they changed. Like, my Pokemon are like, vastly over-leveled. We have four badges out of level 40 Pokemon. I guess Karen of we don't want a Wooper. Don't want this guy. So many of them. Yeah, there's no Pokemon from Gen 5 onwards as well. But yeah, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire did that. They they opened up the region. That was a really cool part of it, too. But sadly, that's not the case here. Yeah, if it got like the same treatment as Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that would have been amazing. Like, it's still fun for what it is, but it could have been more. Could have been more. Fun to be back in Sinnoh. Where's the Carnivine? What do you have to say? Oh, okay, great help. He doesn't want to come out. Card counter eight. <laughs> Another whoopee boy. Can you find shiny Pokemon in the Great Marsh? God, that must be stressful. Yeah, you can. That must be such a horrible feeling. It's like, there's really not much you can do. <laughs> Come on, Carnivine. So many whoopers. There's a whole week dedicated to shiny out in the safari zone? What are you talking about? Whoopers and starlies. That's all we're getting. I 
community event. Okay. I think this is the only spot to actually catch Carnivine, so I, I'm, I'm actually trying to get him if I can. He should be here. He doesn't want to show up. This is rare, yeah. Let's see, what's Sarah be saying? 10% odds. Apparently this guy's uh, oh, like 10% as well. Oh, he's 20. Okay. Alright. The problem is, even if I encounter it at this point, what if I don't catch it? You can get it in the underground too. I'm honestly tempted to just go back there. It might be easier. I'll use up my steps here just looking for it, but then uh, we'll 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 just check otherwise. At the old underground. I'm not a whooper. I'm just shiny hunting for whooper. That's why I'm here. Imagine. Catch out a Pokemon that show Carnivine that you have options. I don't need to leave with you, Carnivine. You can take any one of these Pokemon. You're not that special. And Carnivine would be like, oh gee, I, oh, I feel kind of bad now. I. I don't like this. Pick that up while we're here. Oh my god. <laughs> Playground rumor at this point. Not again. There it is! Alright, hopefully we actually catch it now. So start with some mud. And we give it some food. And we're gonna give it a little more food. Don't do it. Okay, now we're going to instantly capture it without fail. Thank you. Wow, the strategy. <laughs> All you have to do is ask nicely. Von Carnivine? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not doing that. We need a break from Von Karma. Gotta get away from him. Can't hurt us here in Pokemon. Why'd you throw mud at it? Apparently it means makes it more likely for him to not run away. He gets angry instead. I don't think there's anything else I'm looking for Pokemon wise here. I'm I'm just trying to see if there's any items to pick up. There was one. Encounter rate feels so high. I'm so used to the later games where like you have to walk into Pokemon. Oh, I didn't want those items anyway. <laughs> All right, let's get going. I'll get them later. And yeah, you can only fly to towns again. No flying the roots anymore. Flying the roots. That was only Sun and Moon, I think. That. Yeah, you know, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I think they did that too. 
Uh, okay, we can take on the fifth gym. Let's go. X and Y, you could do it too. I didn't. Could you an X and Y? I don't remember it there. Wait, no, this is the contest hall. This is this isn't the gym. <laughs> Wrong build. There we go. Kinda spooky. How's it going, trainer? You be in here tells me you're going to challenge the gym leader. Oh, she's... Alright. You gave me that, like, cinematic intro to it, and she's just not in. I guess we, I guess we gotta go to, uh... Elastic Town. So let's go on our merry way. Yeah, apparently with that gym, I'm already aware of it, and I was planning to fight all the trainers anyway. Apparently, if you skip one of the trainers, then you can't get Drifloon for like a week because you have to encounter it in the wild. Or you can't document it. But I, I, I fight all the trainers anyway. So, like, we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, I'll just use good old Jeff. Now get out of here. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> oh good, you used the secret medicine I gave you. Vladek are known to suffer from chronic headaches. No one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. So yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. There are some very rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. Hang on, Cynthia. I don't remember there being very rare Pokemon in this route. Let me see what Cerebi.net says. No, it's not looking good. Meditite, Psyduck, Machop, Eye Barrel, Machoke. Not looking good. What if I don't help her? <laughs> it's just. Yo, know, Zinni, I'm good. Uh, you gotta, you know, take accountability for your own problems in life. You can't just rely on me. I, I, I got, I gotta go beat the gyms. <laughs> All right. Counting on you. See you later, Cynthia. Instant rare Pokemon. It's okay. I think I'm actually looking at the wrong root directory. I don't think I got it right at all, because Ponytail wasn't even on that list. <laughs> That's fine. Let's see what rare Pokemon we encounter. Fire is rare here. True, maybe that's what she meant. <laughs> A mythical Pokemon type. There's only one of these in the wild. Seriously, this is the only wild fire type you can catch in this game. Oh, there's ninjas here. I forgot about this. That's right, there's ninja boys. Piplup evolved so ugly, why? And Polion is a beautiful boy. Who take that back? No dapper this lad is.
Napoleon's incredible. Ban him. <laughs> no, your opinion happens to be incorrect. I'm so sorry. You can't stay on this Twitch channel. You made your choice. Gonna have to get rid of you. Not sorry at all. <laughs> oh, they're doubling down. Napoleon is a wonderful Pokemon. One of my favorite starters. He just pipped up. Anti-Flosion is my actual all-time favorite just because that was the first one I had. You always got a soft spot for your first one. Like, Empoleon's one of the favorite water ones. Either Empoleon or Greninja. Those two are so cool. Swampert is best. Swampert's really good too, yeah. It's been like consistently cool water type starters like, through the years. I feel. I feel like fire and grass have always been a little hit or miss. Like some generations are just like, I don't really want this guy. Oh, is this just a wild Pokemon? Why am I killing this? This poor Geodude. I was looking for the Ninja Boys. Jefferson looks sleepy. Where are the Ninja Boys? I can't see them. Does anyone know whereabouts I should be looking? <laughs> so many encounters here. Oh, there they are. You can see them. Okay, there's like a lump. Thank you. What's this? What? What was that about? I thought I encountered myself for a moment. That's so dramatic. You're the rare Pokemon, RT. Oh my god. God, I feel like sometime what we should do for like a stream. It's just like Pokemon style tier list or something like that. Because I feel we could have some very heated discussion over which starters are better than others. Like, that that would be an anarchy stream. Even, like, writing Pokemon games and that. Because, like, I know if I was writing Pokemon games, like, my F tier immediately would be Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> Immediate F. Uh, we could get the uh, yeah, it would be heated. Black and white S tier. Well, black and white two will be S tier. Yeah, we should do that sometime. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. <laughs> Have a real angry heated tier list stream sometime. I'll find some for us. We'll do that next week. What do you think for alligator? I hate him. Can't stand him. Probably the worst water starter they've ever made. So it's so easy to upset people when it comes to Pokemon. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> How dare you? What do you think of Sceptile? Sceptile is cool. I think, yeah. So Gen Three, I think, has like some of the best starters of any generation. They're all just really cool. Especially when they came out, they were like just so interesting. Because like Sceptile was actually kind of like a fast grass type. Which you didn't really have many of back then. 
Okay, yeah. Before we, like, tear each other apart here, we're gonna save that for a stream next week. We will do that then. There's the last ninja kid. Oh, Chansey! I caught one of these actually off camera last night. So we, we, we can kill this one quite easily. Does it still get bonus XP? Or is that just Odino? Oh, I probably should have killed it because they can have lucky eggs sometimes, can't they? Should have killed that. Well, let's say I caught it. I want Sun and Moon on Switch. I'm actually surprised Sun and Moon hasn't come to Switch. Uh, just because it's like the pretty much the same engine uh, as Sword and Shield. I feel like it'd be quite easy to do just because of that. Like, it, it's pretty much the same, isn't it? You just have to, like, update it, like, mechanically and a bit graphically so it's more in line. Not that old. Yeah, true. Like, they really aren't. Have to wait a while. Small indie company. Lest we forget. Jefferson is cleaning up. Let him go. I like Gen 5, but I hate the starters. Me too. I really don't like the Gen 5 starters. Like, for Legends Arceus, I know that I'll... It'll either be Decidueye or Typhlosion. Because I Decidueye is really cool. I think he's like my favorite grass type starter that they've ever done. But Typhlosion as well is like dear to my heart just because he was my first Pokemon. Samurai, not really into. It's not for me. Are you looking forward to the Nintendo Butcher at a Gen 5 remake? No, no, not really. <laughs> the problem with remaking Gen 5 is it's two games. Because, like, Black and White 2 just fundamentally doesn't really make sense without Black and White. But Black and White 2 is the better game by far. Uh, in terms of all the content and stuff they have. So, uh, I don't know how you do a Gen 5 remaster. Like, you actually need to kind of incorporate them. I would say. And it's hard to do because it's like time that passes between them. My dream game, if they ever did it, would be like Gen 5 but in the style of like Octopath Traveler graphics. Like, like that's just what- Jesus! <laughs> that's just what I'd like to see. Heavy fog sets in real quick. Uh, let's use, let's use Defog here. A wild star after is gonna help us again. I feel like every TM's gonna be, well, HM's gonna be used by Bidoof and St star after. Bidoof can learn Surf, I think. It becomes a water type when it evolves. Yeah, let's clear that up. Can't use fly. Well, yeah, of course Bidoof's not going to use fly. That would be a bit much. That's what Staraptor's for. Oh, he just tells you about defog in case you're missing it, right? I'm not a ninja. He said God can't fly. Oh, he's not a flying type in this world. Might have trouble. Doesn't matter. <laughs> he just levitates. Be quite menacing.
Do we have to go? Hate that we have to go back to our main six. Uh, having hate gems. Uh, but that's not the case. The only ones you need here is Flash. You get the app otherwise. They didn't go back. It was honestly one of the better changes that they did, is just kind of removing HMs like that. It does just open up the team comp possibilities. Because before you always had to have like a water type of flying and like a normal or fighting. And there was no way about it. It was like you just can't access half the world otherwise. No flash in the app. Yeah, it is not. Yeah, you have to teach flash still to a Pokemon, which is weird. Seems to be the only one, though. It's a nice quality of life change they did, and I'm glad even going back to this, they kept it so you don't need HMs. Just a friendly neighborhood Bidoof is going to help you through everything instead. Quite funny. Getting Flash of Pokemon black and white was so shady. I don't remember how you get it there. The phone has a radar that can scan for items, can summon Bidoof's do moves, but doesn't have a flashlight. It does seem like the most implausible one, doesn't it? <laughs> they couldn't install a basic torch functionality, but summoning like a herd of wild animals is no problem for your watch. Makes you think. God, our Pokemon are so strong. <laughs> we'll have two back-to-back -back gyms after all this as well, so we'll make some like very speedy progress then. <laughs> Jefferson's. He's okay. Having a bit of trouble. He got crushed. Oh, he's all right. They actually have stronger Pokemon all of a sudden. Like we're starting to fight like fully evolved stuff on wild trainers. Wild trainers, so the <laughs> random trainers. A wild Pokemon trainer appeared. It's like catch him. Not quite right. But not on Lad. Yeah, I don't know why his team was so under evolved. Like, I I'm a, a level 26 Starly. Like, you'd have to prevent evolution to make that to make that possible. But for like 10 levels. <laughs> that one doesn't make any sense. Dazzling Glam. Hey Daniel, I want to know your opinion on the Gen 7 starters. Uh, they're pretty cool. They're like all new types. The starters, which is always appreciated. I think Decidueye is the best one. Gen 6 starters were really cool too. That's not in Delphox, I thought were actually like real nice ones. God wants to learn Sword Stance. Uh, we'll get rid of Rollout. Gen 6 games were so good. I didn't really like X and Y so much, but the Gen 3 remakes there were wonderful. 26 grand for winning that one as well, Jesus. I didn't like the original Gen 3 games, but like the remakes of them, really good. Absolutely love playing through those.
which is weird, but they, they, I don't know. I just enjoyed it more. I'm not sure how to explain it. Gen 7 was grand, just sad they made you pay full price for a tech demo. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, do you mean it because like Gen 7 is kind of like a demo for Sword and Shield in a way? What's your single favorite Pokemon game overall? Black and White 2. It's the best one. Just like hands down for me, like there's no contest. It just has so much to do. Yeah, we'll do a Pokemon game tier list too. You can really agitate people with that if we did a tier list of that, but it's like it's by separate games. So it's like, yeah, Pokemon Heart Gold, that's pretty good. Pokemon Soul Silver, Lugia sucks. F tier. You could wa you can wind people up real easy like that. <laughs> Pokemon Ruby, what a game. Pokemon Sapphire, that one sucks. <laughs> You're not wrong. I Actually, I played Sapphire before Kyogre. <laughs> God, all the trainers here are starting to have like fully formed teams. There's like different types that they're using. There's a few of them, they're actually evolved. Game's ramped up. You have an abundance of talent, it's pretty amazing. This would be like, this is the saddest thing you could do at this moment. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna frame that. Okay, first gym guy. Damn it, and what I say is invalidated again. Too easy. Oh Remember the first gym. It's like we gotta remind him. We haven't done it in a while. I came here honestly expecting Danny to be on Route 1, Shiny Hood, and a Bidoof. No, I opted against it because like, I, I kind of just want to play it through. I, I want to play the new one that comes out in January too. <laughs> I don't want it to be a case where it's like, well, everyone out over there is having fun now. I'm still here. <laughs> Especially because I don't think there's any way to increase the odds at all in this one. Like, outside of getting the Shiny Charm and having Poker Radar. I don't think like encounter rates are a thing here outside of Poker Radar. Assuming Poker Radar is even still in it. Uh, cause that's how it was back in Gen 4. Post game, okay. Yeah, it was post game before. Kind of expecting it to be here, honestly, just because. Fateful remake and all that. Shiny charms only for eggs? I don't think that's true.
The more overall encounters you have, the higher the shiny rate. That, I don't think that's true for this game. I don't think it tracks that. I think that's just sword and shield. We had this before. It is in this one. Is it? Did Cerebi say it? I, I always check that Cerebi and just go off what it says. There's loads of misinformation every time a new game comes out for Shinies. I remember even when I was doing the Wooloo one, people were telling me you cannot find it this way. Uh, the odds weren't affected. We still got it. Adrian's been talking about it for being only for eggs. I'm not sure if that's intended or not. I, I don't know who that is, but I just go off what Serapy says myself. I trust them as like being quite reliable for it. And again, I, I remember, I remember for Sword and Shield. Some people were saying you cannot find it this way. Caught it anyway. Did Jefferson just spawn on the tightrope? Oh god, did anyone see that? I'll give it a look and see what it says. I'm not really- I'm, I am don't know if I'll be shiny hunting in this game. Shiny Charm does still work on breeding Pokemon. Does not work- okay, Shiny Charm doesn't work on wild encounters this time. Report confirmed on Cerebi. Mystery Gift Pokemon are shiny locked. I don't think that Dialga and that are even shiny lock. That's kind of wild. It's back to one type of shiny, too. Square shinies don't exist anymore. That's a shame. Yeah, so for Poker Radar, for Poker Radar, you can still get it to 1 in 99 if you have a chain of 40 Pokemon in a row. That's kind of wild. And then the Grand Underground is a Diglett bonus. Collect 40 points in one session. You get a small bonus for four minutes. You have a slightly increased chance of encountering a shiny Pokemon in the underground. One in 2048 compared to one in 4096. So it's doubled the, the shiny odds, but it doesn't stack with the shiny charm at all. That's actually still not that good at odds in the underground. That's a shame. I think you're back to like just using poker radar for shinies or um, just breeding for them. That's a shame. I feel like there's like cooler ways to get them, even in Sword and Shield. Like, the one that I love is just doing the the dents, because like you have a one in a hundred every time for every encounter. Uh, how do I get on those paths? A ninja up there. There we go. Jefferson is struggling. Oh god, he can walk on this. He just has a hard time of it. When are you going to get all the shiny unknowns? That is not something I plan to do. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Here's my shiny alphabet. <laughs> god, someone must have tried that and that must have been hell on earth. Oh my god, I can't imagine that. Shiny on every unknown in the game. You'd be there forever. Shiny Alphabet Hunt. Shiny Alphabet Soup. Diecaster, thank you for another 500 bits. All the best. Take care. Royal, thanks for 200 bits as well. I named my cat Lugia for a reason. I love your streams, Dad. <laughs> Jefferson. 
Ah, uh, Luke, Luke is actually pretty cool. I'm just winding people up earlier. This is poor, poor Jefferson. He's seen some things. Stop running Jeff over. He just keeps standing in the way. I don't mean to run him over like this. Mostly. It's so hard to cycle your bike anywhere in this. <laughs> the walls have magnets. Right, we made it to the next town. Pick up Surf. I think you got it here. You sound like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I've never seen Seinfeld. Like, I saw a little bit of Frasier. I, I like, I've not devoted much time to much other sitcoms other than Friends. I've heard, I've heard like, like every time I hear Seinfeld mentioned though, it's just like, it's fucking amazing apparently. Oh, it's Team Galactic guy over there. We'll, we'll, we'll get to him in a mo. You know what they say? Hey, Pokemon create the Sinnoh region. It's good, don't watch it. <laughs> Fantastic show. You don't want it. Oh, analog watch Pokemon one. An alternative to displaying the time. Because it's not possible to press the home button. Pokemon for the town. Frasier is the best. I really like what I saw of Frasier. I do want to watch more of that sometime. Here to buy. Nothing I really want. Oh, he's got timer balls here too. Give me 30 of those. Thank you. Oh, there's the ruins. We'll see this all done up in 3D. Have you watched this Always Sunny? I haven't. Seen ve oh, I've seen very little. This just doing research. Where are you from? Greenleaf, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Faraday? Like I said, to be home to Mesper, the being of emotion. It must be looking over you. When that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. When that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, burn us into action. <laughs> among us? Those words are not safe on the internet anymore. Like, any time someone says, Oh, we've been disgusted among us. Everyone in chat is like, Get to the keyboard! It's just... Send message. No, we're looking forward to Christmas. We're gonna have a great time among us. <laughs> Vent it! <laughs> like... All logic and reason in people's brains just leaves them. In that moment. Completely consumed by some reference to sus. Someone's just gotta say it. Madman. Giant etching of a Pokemon like creature covers the wall. Fading text etched in as well. Lower time never stops the past, future, and present. Another one? 
Faces ever expand in dimensions, our spirits too are a space. Town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here, it doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. We should probably stop this. Rated E. <laughs> This guy's just threatening terrorism, yeah, it's, it's not... I'm surprised the age rating's still intact. Well, let's stop him. <laughs> He's... This guy's seeming pretty sus! <laughs> like, the problem is not so much even if Among Us has said, it's the fact that it's gonna take like a... It takes a solid 10 minutes for it to get out of everyone's systems. It's like sugar levels in your blood, but it's sus levels, or like Among Us. And, uh, it doesn't immediately leave everyone's body. Like, it possesses them. Joe Biden. <laughs> Not Joe Biden, just Joe Biden. <laughs> God, please! <laughs> oh my god. Too much to handle. Whatever, I've out of this wood or this town, there's nothing to do here anyways. We saved a small village. Why aren't you the, quite the trainer? That was magnificent. The elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, the old charm, may I see that, dear? I thought you say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me. Cynthia, she's my granddaughter. Here you go. Old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. Made in honor of, the, of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. If you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Got a carbon. Examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them is a shining sphere. What is this all about? The cave painting reminds me of an old story. There existed a being, a being so powerful, it was considered a deity at the time. Opposing this being were three Pokemon. Three kept balance with the one, as if they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told to this day in Celestic Town. I guess I found something useful, we should take these. Belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. I actually do find it cool in the context um, of the games because there's two trees there's two trios. Uh there's the trio of Dialga, uh, Palkia, and Giratina, and then there's the Lake Trio, which is uh Azelf, Uxi, and Mesper. I remember when I was a kid, you don't actually know which one this is referring to. I think it's more likely that it's referring to uh, Arceus. Uh, creating the world. But you kind of think that it's in relation to like the box legendary creating the lake trio because you don't encounter Arceus normally. It's cool. I guess you can use surf from your poke edge to cross water such as seas and rivers. Gotta get the heart home gym badge. His name is Arse. Yeah, I, I, so I learned that through Pokemon Battle Revolution on Nintendo Wii. That's how they pronounce it. Arceus! That's how they say it. And, and so I, I've always said it that way ever since. It is unfortunate. Oh. The evil Funko Pop. Appears to have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I take the power to create a new world. A world without strife. Why are you telling me this? I'm just 12. However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We met before. Yes, it was at Mount Coronet. If you discover any power derived from the Legend of Sinnoh, inform me. That power is why I need to create my new world. 
Like, I'm 12. I got a penguin Pokemon. <laughs> Bit out of my depth here. Can I get your number then? <laughs> yeah, it's not like... You can find me on Twitter. At Galactic Cyrus. <laughs> Here's my business card. Like, just find me. It's like... But this is like Hokkaido, Japan. This is like a pretty big region. Oh, I, I wouldn't want to have to have like appointments with that man. Go oh, follow my Twitter. What are we gonna get the um, the evil team in a Pokemon game that are just like influencers? <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> they're all just like they're like a social media evil team. We already have like um, Gen Eight. We have like toxic fan base that is uh, Team Yell. We have like, like lovable hoodlums. That's uh, Team Skull. Team Skull is like such a fun team. We have Peta in the form of uh, Team Plasma. I guess we have Flare, but now Flare, Flare is like just not really that fun. They're just dress in red. Their motive is like fashion. Not that interesting. But, like social media specifically, where it's like they're trying to gain followers by committing heinous crimes. I would love that. Team Rocket's just the original one. Team Magma and Team Aqua are like the real stupid ones. As far as evil villains go, like Team Magma is like, we don't need oceans anymore. Whereas Team Aqua is, we don't need land anymore. And it's like, guys, what, like, what are both of you doing? Those, those are just the stupid teams. They don't really have a goal. <laughs> Team Aqua just want the rest of the fish. Basically what it came down to, yeah. Apparently, Aqua and Magma make more sense in Japan since they don't have a lot of buildable land. Well, no, if that's the case, Magma makes a bit more sense. Aqua's really stupid, then. Because <laughs> they're eating up even more of the land. Like, it's, it still doesn't make any sense. Oh, I was another ninja. Team Aqua wants everyone to have an unlocked submarine. I said they just try living in the submarine, is like when the world floods. Like, alright, Noah, calm down. You know? <laughs> Are we forgetting the Aether Foundation? What did the Aether Foundation want to do again? What was their goal? Yeah, this is like Ultra Beats and like Ultra Dimensions. They wanted to like unlock the multiverse. That was kind of their goal. Oh, and then there's also, um, <laughs> the kind of utter evil team in, um, Sword and Shield, of course, that is Chairman Rose. Um, their evil plan is they literally can't wait a day to solve an energy crisis. That's it. There's a thousand years to deal with this problem. Can't wait one day. And so he just tries to, like, kill the region or something, I don't know.
Team Rainbow Rocket. Also, I, I never played Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. I didn't get them. It's the one Pokemon, like, mainline Pokemon game I've skipped, I think. Since, like, I think Pokemon Yellow. I, I, I know that they did like an evil team compilation thing in that game, which is kind of cool, but I I just never bothered. Oh, I can't get past him. Jefferson, ask that trainer to a battle. Oh, we can go around this way. Ultra Sun and Moon's... Uh, Ultra Sun and Moon's good points are just the post game stuff, everything else isn't the best. That's a shame. I remember just not being too interested in like what it had. Like in comparison to just regular Sun and Moon. There's some there's some uh, really good music and some like weird uh, ultra brief stuff that I, I know they go into. They explore the idea of a multiverse a bit more. Which is always kinda cool, but it just didn't feel like playing it through again. I think at the time, like, I just, like... Oh, God, when would it have been? It came out, like, 2017, wasn't it? I think I was just playing different games. I just wasn't down for it. Uh, oh, I already got everything over here. It's this fellow. I'm strong, 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 I'm strong. Am I, though? <laughs> no, I'm strong. I'm strong. Okay, I'm all good to go. Started me good. I think you understand what I was doing. You see the move containing these TMs. What's this? The your opponent raises its defense using Harden. Pokemon can use Psych Up to get the same defense boost as its opponent. Oh, okay, yeah. Forget about that move. Go over here. Is there anything I can do in here without strength? Might be able to get an item or two. Good cave. We'll come back later. Oh, we'll get to unlock all of Mount Coronet soon, and then we'll like properly get to have an adventure in it. It's actually quite cool. This is diamond or pearl. This is diamond. Okay, uh, Heart Home next, I guess. We, we've done the box. We explored like a huge chunk of the region through all these routes. Uh, once we get Surf, we can go down here too. When you get Surf in this one, you unlock like so many zones. The Iron Works, we can go to Canalave, we can go to Iron Island. Go get it. Next gym. You have surf. Yeah, but I, I need to beat the gym first. Okay. Question, what is three plus five plus seven? Two, 16 or 15? Okay, well, I mean, the answer is 15, but we need to get the wrong answers so that we get all the trainer battles here. So let's get cracking. He's just asking, didn't you use a calculator? Why do you need to follow the trainers? Um, well, it's like for experience. 
Uh, but specifically for this, you need to also document all the Pokemon with the Pokedex. And this gym is has the only trainer in the game with a Drifloon. So, it, unless you want to wait until, like, next week Friday, uh, this is actually the only way to unlock the National Dex. So that's why we're making sure we encounter every trainer. It's also just good practice to do all the battles, you know? Like, it's a Pokemon game, you gotta beat all the trainers. You're already overleveled. Still, you gotta fight them. It's more so the experience share's fault. Okay, next door. If only we could get rewarded for answering wrongly in a test. Yeah, you actually kind of do here. If only life was that easy. Congratulations, you failed the exam. You're going to college. If only. If you get a question wrong IRL, you fight the other kids who also got it wrong. <laughs> Whoever wins among you... Uh, like, gets... ...to pass, like, the test. If you got the correct answer. Oh, come on, I just said among. Come on! <laughs> Sussy! God damn it, guys. What is 12 plus 28? Well, it's 40, so we'll do the other two doors. Why is the theme of this gym just, can you do maths? What does that have to do with ghosts? The odd. Smash is the ultimate enemy. <laughs> It's because Max is scary? <laughs> uh... Yeah, but the theme of whole Pokemon gym after the idea that Max is scary. It seems like a lot. This Benary does not want to evolve as well. Benary's still here. Level 32 now. Platinum puzzle for this gym was much more in theme with ghosts. What was the platinum one again? It just feels weird to be doing maths. And the game's even references like, why aren't you using your calculator? Isn't Benary supposed to evolve through high friendship? Yeah, it's, it's getting friendship though, because like, it's been leveling up. Earning XP raises friendship. And it's also got a suit bell. Okay, next door. Also the wrong one. I'm not afraid of picnicking anywhere, so I've learned all sorts of things. Oh. Benary has the lowest friendship when caught and fucking hates you. Like, what? Really? Here's the drift loon. Let's document it. Yes, it's true. That's kind of funny. Oh, yeah, this is Aftermath's ability, too, so it's always gonna hurt you. It's the lowest out of non-legendaries. That that's very funny. Just hates you the moment you catch it. We need more Pokemon that just like despise you. It'd be hilarious if they made a Pokemon where it's like it only evolves if it really hates you. <laughs> 
Oh, that's the Pokemon I want to see. Just like gets stressed out of its mind. But it's three times thirteen. Ninety-three, obviously. Just never feed it or heal it. God, I know, oh, just give it like bitter medicine all of the time. It spies you. Because it's actually a legendary but with thousands of bodies, so everyone thinks it's a common Pokemon. Oh no. Just made it big in the wild. I wonder if they ever go into that. It's like, my god, there's like a local Dialga population. In this region. God, please stop evolving. <laughs> uh, what was the other doors? Okay, so this one next. So Baneri is an NFT, there's only one of it, but everyone owns part of it. No, stop that. What if we make Pokemon NFTs? Everyone can own the Pokemon that way. Please, God, no. <laughs> Trading cards too. As some people are actually trying to do that. Oh no. Yeah, they're gonna get hit by a court case. That's not ending well. There's no way. This is Neopets NFTs? Of all things. Nothing is sacred anymore. Okay, did we make it to the end? What was the first room's answer? I can't remember. Oh no, it was 15. Yeah, because I want to make sure I still get it wrong. We have a level 40 team. The fifth gym. Crazy. RT is so good at being bad at math. I used to study being back at bad at maths back in the day. Worked real hard. Oh, okay, English major. <laughs> Uh, Lettuce wants Toxic. Toxic's actually less useful than Stun Spore. Stun Spore helps us with catching stuff. Don't learn that one. Reset wants to learn Scary Face. I think we're good. The background for this gym is so pretty. I love how you can see, like, a set piece. And there's, like, spotlights on you. It's actually really cool. Looks like we're gonna see like a Halloween pantomime or something. I think this is the first Gengar we've encountered too. It actually might be a bit tougher. It lived a hit! There we go. This is why I thought the camera never moved half the time I was playing this game as well. I felt like I was going mad when I realized the camera moves more. It's definitely less dynamic than it was. 
It's just because if you're actually using moves, and for most of the move animations, it stays very static. I'm not crazy. He was speed running. <laughs> The first time, like, uh, people pointed out that it's actually moving, uh, I didn't believe you. Honestly. <laughs> like, this is the most the camera's moving right now. It's like, let's pan slightly to the right. It's doing it a bit more now. But it didn't before. It didn't. Camera actually moving doesn't mean you're not crazy. <laughs> oh, we get the documented drift blim as well. That's both of them down then. Drift blim's quite cool. I I used one of them for a while back in the day. Oh, it's just using fly. Okay. Uh Charm has failed. You plan to have more Pokemon teammates? I want to get like a Lucario and a Garchomp. We just don't have access to them yet. We have four of them. Here at least. Counting God himself. Oh, here we are! Uh, Burby might need a little heal. Oh, uh, knock yourself out, Burby. Earned it. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go with Jefferson for for, for this one. I done a manual save in forever. I don't think so. Ninety six Pokemon now. Oh ho ho! Finally, you have arrived. As I came to this region, I always tried to learn new things. The whole contest shows in this city. I say to myself, uh, on Finn, I will excel. That is why I dress this way. Say un performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me. But I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, no? Here we go. French gym leader. And Tina. Go on, Jefferson. Turn towards me, nodding and understanding. He knows. Pretty good start. Strength sack. Pack fell. That heals it. I forget that Drift Bloom has some weird moves. Drift Bloom is like has like a stockpile build you can do. There we go. Does this one not have aftermath? No, it doesn't. Okay. Just straight into Gengar. Uh, Brian. Just hit through it and it's an easy fight. If not, we'll switch and then kill it anyway. Come on, Jeff. Jeff, no! I believe in you. God, it doesn't even- it's not even using Shadow Ball, it's using like a physical hit and move. Poor Gengar. Hey, Brian. Oh my god. Come on, Jeff. Jeff, I believe. 
Look at her twirl for every single attack she does. Having fun. Okay, Gengar is dead. Kirby is level 45 now. Oh heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Miss Magius. Oh, she's using stickers on her ball. That's cute. And we're confused again. <laughs> like, do we hit him or do we not? Let's find out. Every single turn. We must play this game. Phantom Force. I'm surprised it has that move. I thought that was Giratina's special move. Oh. It was Shadow Force. Oh, okay. Different brand. Well, let's just uh, sit tight. Does it not have anything better to hit me with? No, it's dead. <laughs> Anyone tell me how often RT streams? Uh, type exclamation point schedule. That's what the, uh, it's all there. There's also a clock in the about tab on, on Twitch. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> it's also in the description of every video on YouTube. God, please. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Okay, fifth badge. Uh, now we can use Surf. Oh, we get some more stickers. We get Shadow Claw. It's a shame she's using Shadow Claw, because almost all of her team would benefit from Shadow Ball instead. It's way better. The Gengar has, like, piss-poor physical attack. You need to polish the badges. I can't. Uh, you can only do that in handheld mode. Like, the stream would have to go offline for me to polish my badges. <laughs> Do it. No, you gotta keep going. Dad, you've beaten the gym leader. You know how tough you're getting. At least that's how I see it. You realize I said that to everyone, right? No confidence boost for you. Oh, here's Cynthia. So glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about what took place in Celestic Town. Thanks for what you did by the runes. That Team Galactic. I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics. You know, talking about how they're gonna make a new universe and all. In that weird way they dress too. I thought they were harmless. It appears they're a lot more trouble than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon, that's just plain wrong. By the way, did you find all the runes interesting and all? You did you may want to visit the library in Canalave City. They have some ancient books you might find interesting. They may also be of help to the completion of your Pokedex. You ought to go there. Okay, bye. Here he goes. Ew, books? <laughs> books are cool. None of that. Uh, we have a bunch of new regions that I've just unlocked. Well, let's go down here. This is, this is quite a cool little region. And I think they've changed this building at the end, at least the trailers are to be believed. Okay, English Major. Can I go do anything on the lake yet? I don't think I can surf out there yet. 
You gotta wait. Go to Sand Gem. Books! How many gigabytes of RAM do those have? That feels like a... Like an old news comic. They're like trying to make fun of like they use of today. Oh, book! How do I install one of those? How do I get that app on my phone? We can surf on it. A wild by barrel helped out by using surf. God's evolution is here. <laughs> oh, this looks kind of funny. Just being propelled. Now we're just walking on water as well. There's not even like a bit of ground for us to stand on. Yeah, we have not found a wingle yet. Let's get one. We're Jesus. God has given us his blessing. The water's only a centimeter deep. <laughs> yeah, you think that the bi barrel we're on is just like walking along the bottom? Like, it's not that big a deal. I'm happy to help, but like, you. kind of unnecessary. Let's get Burby back out. Let's annihilate him with the old tried and tested. Jefferson, please. I want to fight them both. Jefferson. Jefferson, please move. I don't believe this. <laughs> okay, we're good. Tried his best. He's just like standing there. He seemed confused. Okay, what well, we're probably gonna do since we have Surf now, we're gonna go to Canale, we're gonna clear that place out and do Iron Island. Uh, but then we're going to go through every other route. And we're gonna do a thorough exploration and just try grab everything we can. Because there's some other zones that are kind of like tucked away in certain routes. Uh, we'll give it a look, but we'll basically make sure that we get it all. Oh, I should use um, steel on Meryl. Like, we're exploring the region, like, proper. I don't want to miss anything. Bring some low-level mons uh, to level while exploring to avoid over-leveling too much. I, I could do that, honestly. Yeah, if we want to get, like, some Pokedex completion. I could just bring, like, Burby and Empoleon, and then, like, box the rest of it. What do you guys think? Yeah, we'll get a bit of a different squad while we're, like, kind of trekking through. When we go back to the new stuff, then we'll get the the old reliable together. Don't forget God. Well, God's up. God is taking up a space, but okay, I'll, I'll keep God. I'll keep God in the party. I want to see if I can get God to like level 100 by the end of the game. We'll just forever keep him there. Okay, let's see. So, we need to work out what needs to evolve then. Uh, I'm going to need a Pelipper. Ah, let me do that for some reason. Uh, 
Um, I need a Thunderstorm for Pikachu. What level does Wooper evolve? Twenty. People are saying twenty-one. Thirty. Didn't you get a Quagsire? I don't think I caught the Quagsire. He got away. Okay, well, we need to evolve a Wooper still. So, we'll get one of them in the party, too. See you later, Jefferson. We'll let Burby lead the, lead the way for a while. Burby should be able to take on most of it. Put Lettuce away, too. It's at 20. Thank you. Uh, Meryl? When did that, did that become a zoom reel? Pop that in, too. Burby and God will lead the way. I think Meryl is quite early as well. I can give God some moves if I want. Can I teach him a thing or two? What DMs can God learn? That's a powerful sentence right there. Psychic. Double team. Shockwave. <laughs> Not flamethrower, though. Learn dig. Shadow ball. <laughs> Cannot learn surf. Learn attract. Thief. It already knows sword stance. Can learn stealth rock. Sleep talk. Grass knot. Substitute cut. Can learn strength. I'm actually surprised by that. Okay, and we'll let God. Actually, no, we gotta let Benary, I think, walk with us, because, uh. Gotta make this more friendly. Come with us, Benary. We walk on like God's evolution. To like get places. Just like fully sitting down in this poor by barrel. <laughs> is it always by barrel that you surf on? That is quite funny. Yeah, it is. I love that. I love that like, they did just kind of acknowledge that Bidoof was a HM slave back in the day. That was his role. He was like normal water, so he'd just be perfect for the job. Learn every type that you need. Like, I think I gave mine like Surf, Waterfall, Strength, and Rock Climb. That was his moveset. Part-time ranger using wild Pokemon. True, actually, yeah. But Nair, you need to evolve soon. Need to clear the team space. You're a turnip boy. Got DLC. I did. Yeah. Haven't checked it out yet. Should be like a, a character like the Amalgadon from Hearthstone Pokemon. We call we can call it Abomination. What? Well, like a Pokemon is just every type at once. It'd be scary. <laughs> Benary despises you. Apparently. Benary does not love us. Rock with Benary. Well, I, I've got I've got it set to that. It's gonna take a while. Doesn't give him a massage increases friendliness. Yeah, we used that on God today though. 
That is the problem there. We could have been smart. We weren't. The rabbit wants you to die. We're working on it. Yeah, we'll just keep it in the team along a while. It's fine. needs to be smart when you can massage God. It's true. Uh, he needed that. And God's got a lot of stress, you know? He's got a big job. It's not easy creating the universe and all the creation. He only gets one day of the week off. The seventh day. The six day working week. Benary, please, I need the item. Thank you. <laughs> How do you know? It might be super easy, actually. Yeah, he just spent like an hour each day. He like clocked off early. <laughs> Flash plate. Hexed engraved. Who make matter and three make spirit, shaping the world. And it's Giratina who's antimatter. Can't go that way. It's gonna look like I get stuck on everything when I surf. Swimmer Adrian, look at this guy. Oh, he's so full of himself. Giratina is an antimatter, it's gravity? I thought it was antimatter. Distortion in that is like it's. I thought that's what it was. I don't know. I feel like there's like a Pokemon trivia video out there somewhere that like there's a full length essay on it. Fanny Matter, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, we're like documenting a bunch for the Pokedex here as well. I don't think we've met a tentacle yet. Gravity distorts time and space. Okay. They say it's antimatter, but it acts more closely to gravity. Okay. Potato, potato, gravity, antimatter? Whoopers evolved. <laughs> that apply here? What's any matter with you? <laughs> there we go, he's a big blue boy now. Oh, Marrow's evolving too. Okay, we're gonna get the raise a lot more very quickly. I think Kranidos is gonna take to level 40, so I'll put one of them in the team next. Get the Azumarill. God's gonna be like, is it my turn too? No, it's not God. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, pop you back in. Uh, where is Kranidos? There we go. Um, what else would be a good one to level right now? Like, what, what are you still missing? I don't have a Graveler. I guess I can get Geodude up. I need Evolution Stones for some of them. Like, I need a Dusk Stone for Murkrow. Silcoon we can evolve, too. Okay, we'll, we'll just stick with those ones for now. Should be good. Oh god, that's how they indicate shallow water. That's kind of hard to spot. I'm 
the jealous in water. Didn't RT turn into Paul from the anime? What? Underground grinding time. Ah, we're getting most of them. Like, we're just clearing out the route anyway. Burby can take on the world. We do have God in the wings if we get into trouble. He'll give us his blessing. Find a dust stone in the Grand Underground near Pastoria City. Is the Grand Underground fixed up? Like, items? And places? I didn't actually realize that. I thought it would be like... Random or something. Going into the question mark room. Or is, is it all just static? Is Burby the mascot now? Bur look. Burb walked so Burby can run. This is what people wanted back in the day with the heart gold run. Second coming. Birds fly, Dad, not run. <laughs> Look, it's just a saying. You know what I mean. I don't really care about Wingolt, so it's fine. Why'd he hurt himself with his goggles? Well, we got Pelipper. Burb died so Burby could kill all. Burby is like ungodly strong. It's actually incredible. Okay, there we go. Another one. Uh, let's switch Pelipper out. Uh, we don't have a Haunter, do we? Cool. Level up all them. Burb flew so Birdie could soar. Nah, it's, Burb never really flew. Burb kind of died like immediately. Oh god, it's a double battle. Alright, god. This is your time to shine. We have to use him. Burby and God. <laughs> Gonna smite him. Oh god, the intimidate's going up. Okay, uh, Gyarados is kind of scary. God is awaiting your directions. Take down that weasel. Smite him. God hurt himself and recoil. <laughs> He'll get him next time. Holy shit, God is powerful though. But he's, he's got so much XP. We've had him all this time. God is awaiting directions. Take him down. Everything is leveling up. God wants to forget a move to learn amnesia. That's okay, that's kind of ironic. Uh, keep old moves. Forget to forget. You need to learn it. Just too all knowing. Doesn't want to know what's happening in the world anymore.
God never forgets. Like, why do they hurt themselves? And he said, ow, my leg cramped up. <laughs> Stop it, God. Ow, my leg. Okay, God's work is done. You can rest now. God evolving thing is the same as your mom trying to buy stuff for you at Heart Gold Soul Silver. <laughs> oh god, I remember that. Didn't matter how far you progress in the game, it's just like I found something at the store again. It's like, Mom, I'm like fighting the Elite Four. Kirby is awaiting. Aerial Ace. Oh! That might hurt a bit. Now we're fine. Need to heal Burby a bit. He's been carrying this team. Uh, Ghastly and Geodude is, I think it's level 22? Not far off. Why was Mom always shopping? I don't know. Just didn't, she didn't do anything else. Like the entire game. Okay, let's heal God as well. There go. Bottle of protein. Uh, did I miss a trainer over here? Oh. Retail therapy. <laughs> he was addicted. Just don't know what to do. My son's been gone so long. I think there was one more trainer over here. Yeah, there you are. Clearing out the route. Mom, no, this is to pay for the house mortgage. <laughs> you think she's just selling stuff? But you know, she's just stealing your money. She's not, she doesn't have to sell anything. She's just living, like, off you. By the way, I bought some of your money again. Mom, what the fuck? You can't do that. That was my college fund. I was putting that money away. Why do you think all of all these parents all send their kids out? It's for the money. You think it's just... Like, everyone's just dirt poor. It's like, we can't afford to feed you. Please go out into the world and have a Pokemon adventure. We can't provide for you. No one has any jobs in this like, world. All, like, all, uh, all everyone does is just stand in the same spot for like 24 hours a day. They don't even sleep. Just send you out into the world as like the one person with agency. Please bring something home. The economy is based on battling. Pokemon is like a gambling society in that sense, ain't it? Because I mean, Pokemon battles themselves are just legalized cockfighting. That's all it is. And everyone hands over money after battles. Like, there must be a lot, like, what happens to the trainers who just constantly lose their battles? They must be dirt poor. They must be, like, massively in debt. How do I get this one? How do I get you? I 
gotta go all the way around for this one. I haven't got a tentacle. They just go into debt and join Team Rocket. Maybe that's how they get started. It must be evil to rally together an evil team if you think about the circumstances like that. Like, the evil teams, like, at least promise pay. Oh, here's some labor for you to do. Go and escape from all the gambling debt. Yeah, we gotta go down here and around. Benary, what are you doing? Well, see, this is why it, this is why it hates me. See you later. Help! I'm drowning. <laughs> Get on, Burby. The only actual jobs that are available are Team Rocket. Probably! They'll be one of the biggest employers in the country. If you think about it, whenever you undermine like the evil team in these Pokemon games, there must be like an actual cri- like a work crisis afterwards. So many people will lose their jobs. They literally are the biggest employer in every single Pokemon game. Team Rocket has been dissolved, leaving Half the Kanto region unemployed. <laughs> Geodude wants self-destruct. Oh, you're good, Geodude. Seen as being a Pokemon trader is an actual job recognized by the government. There is no job tax. How do taxes work in the Pokemon world? We're making a lot of, like, kind of earnings here. Thousands of Poké Dollars. Who pays for the ropes? The tax collector comes and challenges you to a battle and takes your taxes. <laughs> Oh, I love that idea. If I beat you, I don't pay. But if I beat you, you pay 50%. Tax fraud is just a winning. The champion is just the biggest tax evader of them all. Like, Cynthia wins more battles than anyone. Strongest trainer in the land. And you're just a plucky young kid from the IRS, trying to set the record straight. Time for everyone to pay up. Pokemon Accountancy Edition. Osbo, thanks for 1100 bits. I want to say I appreciate all you do, Dan. You've been keeping my mind straight for the past few years, and I'm glad to tune into your streams when possible. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Thank you very much. I'm having a go. I've literally just been playing Pokemon. I haven't done much else. Uh, another Magic Carp trainer. I demand RT to have fun. Oh, some days are tougher than others. I'm I'm having a lot of fun. Like, if I wasn't streaming this, I'd still be playing it. It's been ages since we did a marathon like this, too. Like, the last one probably would have been, like, some of the Odyssey streams and that. You know, I think even with Odyssey streams, they were more paced. Last ones would have been, like, Mario Galaxy, the Mario Galaxy ones, I think. Because those ones we just, like, set aside, like, two 12-hour days and played them. Oh!
Besides Big Top. Actually, yeah, I guess Phoenix Wright kind of takes that spot whenever we do that. I'll be taking a bit of a break before we do the next case, I reckon. I don't know if I'll be able for it come next weekend. Might be a bit much. But we will do it. Uh, just close combat it. I've actually done a lot of long streams. Yeah, what am I talking about? It's been a while since we did a marathon stream. We, we, we seem to do a stream like this every other week. We've played a lot of games. I have fun with them, though. I hope you guys have fun watching them. Okay, uh, Burby's running a little bit low on power points. Uh, we're actually gonna be okay for this little section. Are there many more trainers? Inconspicuous house here. Hey Julie, how you doing? I saw today's number is 53. Show me a Pokemon that's level 53. If you can, I'll reward you. Uh, okay, someone remind me when Burby levels up a bit. We might be able to hit that today. When I was with me, a black belt powers up fighting type moves. Expert belt, focus sash. Jar of pure incense. That. Oh, yeah, we get to catch some new things there. We don't actually have a scum tank, I think. Pick him up. Yeah, please do remind me when it's 53 and not when I just, like, hit 54. Because I will forget. We've been playing the GTA remasters. I've heard their shit. <laughs> Why do you want me to play them? I've never really played much of GTA. Like, the most I play is that one time we streamed GTA 5 here. I think that's it. That's the ball. I'm assuming it'd be along the lines of Minecraft story mode. Well, we just played, like, uh, Big Top in Phoenix Wright, so I think we're doing good there. I think we're doing good. Play him, everyone laddered themselves in olive oil. What, what does that mean? God, please! <laughs> hey, Gia, dude, you're okay. Are you planning on playing the Skyrim Remastered Remaster? I've already played Skyrim so many times, I, I don't think I have it in me. Good fun, but I I've started so many playthroughs in that game through the years. Scun tank is at it. Uh, send Graveler back. Uh, who is next? What level does Psyduck evolve? We don't have a gold duck. 30. That's convenient. Okay, we'll get that next. I really need the heal Burby sometime soon, too. Running low on gas.
but every level God gains, the world gains more and more fear. <laughs> oh no. Sturdy tree? Okay, close enough. We'll get it soon. Claim your mystery gifts for a free baby? I already done it. Hear about the Bug Snacks DLC? I did. It means they have no detail in the smoothest list. Looking up the remaster to see one model and you'll know exactly what I mean. I, mean, I think I've already seen what they look like. I just, I just don't really understand the olive oil. <laughs> it does look kind of funky. I, I saw it they just like said that you can buy the original ones again. Because they were so poorly received. That's kind of funny. Please, Baneri. Need to evolve. It's been so long. Still nothing. Grab all the berries. We're almost at the park. End is in sight. An area is based on friendship, right? Yep. But like, the best way to get friendship is to just level up in battle, really. You can use items and stuff, too, to kind of boost it. I don't think I have anything that I really want to use, though, on it. I have, like... What do I have I got? Like a protein and a carabas. I probably want to just use them on Burby. I won't have any effect. Oh god, so I probably already max the effort values, yeah. I've used it for so many battles now. <laughs> There's a friendship berry, is there? Oh, okay, these ones. I don't have too many of any of these. I'll give it one. Become less healthy, but more friendly. Okay, I want to just float a little in the wild here. I haven't got one of these yet, I think. Might as well just try catch it. Save some train. There we go. Less healthy, but more friendly, so McDonald's. <laughs> oh no. How many badges are we at? Uh, I've got five at the mo. I reckon we'll be able to get six tonight. Don't kill it. Maybe seven. Maybe. We do gotta do like a tour of the region. Uh, now that we have Surf. Oh, you know, I need to go back and do the tour when I get strength. So yeah, so I'll definitely be getting six tonight. And we go explore in a while. Come on. What's your opinion on the game so far? I'm on the fence about buying it. I need a proper opinion. I'm not good for proper opinions. I just always say, watch people play it. If you like what you see, try it. Uh, I'm having fun playing it. I probably wouldn't be streaming it this long if I wasn't. There are some parts where I'm like, it's sad that this isn't in it from before. But I'm having fun overall because the region's very fun. There's like a lot to see and do in Sinnoh. Why are so many people playing Brilliant Diamond right now? Well, it just came out. That's probably why.
like me who's eating McDonald's right now. You're okay, Burby. I don't want God to have to take the helm on this one. <laughs> I could help it. Just send out a normal type next so I can use close combat on it. It'll be lovely. Uh, oh, that actually, that is a normal type, isn't it? Or is it psychic? Normal psychic. Oh, uh, not quite. God might have to finish this one off. Did you? No! Oh! Burby's still okay, surprisingly, even after the defense drop. Drapery must be really weak. Okay, we'll heal Burby before they, they cry. Gastly's evolving. Guy that Burby is your main. Burby's the main one I've been using, yeah. It's like strongest Pokemon. We're just trying to level up some other stuff for like Pokedex completion at the moment. It was so over leveled anyway. Like even if by doing this the game gets a little harder, I'm honestly okay with that. Put Haunter away so we can get something else out. Here we go. Uh, what are we leveling up next? Did I get a Machoke in the end? I don't think I did. Machoke is. Uh, Romanus Park isn't open yet. We're still setting up. Getting Romanus Park ready, I wonder what you can do there. Place for new beginnings. So Pal Park is gone. They've they replaced that completely. Which is a change that probably makes sense, because Pal Park was the whole point of Pal Park was transferring Pokemon. Uh back in the originals. It'll be cool to see what they've done there. Come on, Burby. All my Pokemon are a lower level than Burby, but I'm almost at Gym 8. I don't know how we've gotten our team so high then. I've just been like fighting every trainer. I haven't really been doing much grinding outside of that. I went into the underground for a little bit. But like at most would have been like about two levels worth of XP. You're all right, Burby. It's got a bunch of these. Yeah, we don't have Aerial Ace anymore. Avoided the move in time. Okay. Are there any Gen 5 8 Pokemons in the game? Uh, as far as I know, no. Which is a bit of a shame. Okay, stronger Hippo. Riven in team composition from the nerd here. <laughs> the first two don't work, I'll send out a third even stronger one. That'll get him. Lawless strategy. I can't say much as I'm just using a bird. My strategy. Lector Ivan.
Uh, that is the root. You can't fly there yet, so I'm gonna have to surf back there at some point. Bit unfortunate. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense though, because it, yeah, it's not actually open just yet. Okay, there's nothing really on that route for surf spots. Uh, we go to Jubilife, and we're gonna go to Canalife. And when we go here, we're finally gonna be able to get our final Pokemon, like, team members. Because we'll get Lucario soon after this. And then we can go and get Gibble. Yeah, we got- we'll go to the Ironworks still, don't worry. Uh, we're going just to Canale first, just so we get Strength. Because Strength and Surf as a combination will unlock pretty much everything. Or like a few Waterfall Zones. Okay, so because we're switching... I'm gonna go back to here. We're gonna make sure we have all of the team members that we need. We'll leave Psyduck behind for now. Well, actually, you know, I'm probably still over level for that gym, aren't I? I, I think I can afford to maybe just go with the, this gang, can't I? I think I'll probably be good. Okay, Burby's just gonna take on the world a while longer. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I need to even worry about popping them back in yet, because I think we're still quite a bit ahead in terms of levels. Like, we did just one shot, like, I think the last three gyms. Yeah, we, we can do this. Great fishing hole. Come on, Benary. You need to evolve. Please. Please be my friend. Kara, honey. We gotta fight all the fishermen here. I don't think there's too many. Your final team is gonna be basic as fuck. Well, it's the team, the team I used 15 years ago. If you don't like it, take it up with 11 year old me. I forget, I was 11 when this game came out. Oh my god, that's kind of scary. I was 11. Eleven-year-old RT based. God, I. Uh, Burby's actually taking a lot of attack reductions here. We should still be okay. I don't think they can hurt us too much. Yeah, we can just like chip it away. Moved in time. Okay, use a quick attack and then another aerial ace. As much somehow. Master, thanks for the gifts up. That was Ted. Oh my god, I hate that. Dread session in. The year this came out, I would have got like my Nintendo Wii as well. Oh god, that was the same year. A long time ago. Another magic carp guy. Grandpa Dan. <laughs> Julie, please. Are 
you're going to catch all 28 forms of unknowns so that you can write words with the ball caps with stickers. That's no longer in the game. From what I understand. We traded in E and we didn't get anything for it. Pokemon Midlife Crisis Diamond and Existential Dread Pearl. Pokemon Crisis and Pokemon Dread. Those are the ones we want to see. Jeez, these ones are a bit more grim. <laughs> Pokemon Wrinkly Platinum? <laughs> Why? <laughs> See, that, that sounds so unnecessary. Adds flavor. <laughs> oh no. Pokemon Soul Silver Hair. You're just getting on in years. Pokemon Old and Dread. You want? A, oh no! You want like a grim one? Oh sweet! The new Pokemon games are out. Anxiety and depression. Which one are you taking? Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to get both editions so I can trade between them. That way I can catch all the Pokemon. They've run out of colors. <laughs> God, please. There's a lot of trainers just waiting here, I think. Heal up, Burby. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. Hang on. Just one second. I'll be right. I'll be right back, guys. Hello, I'm back. Uh, we are actually sorting food because I've been streaming a while. It might not be pizza, but there is a possibility it may be. The Streaming weekend. We're going overtime so that we can we can get all these hours in and bring you guys more Pokemon. So we're getting food. Pizza stream too. <laughs> Possible. Yeah. So we're just sorting that. I'm gonna keep going till midnight. I reckon. I've still got it in me. 
We're doing as much Pokemon as we can today. I'm having fun. That's the thing. I guess that's like the part of it that I would say because people always ask me, "What do you think of these games? What do you like? What do you think? Should I buy it? Should I not?" I spent nine hours playing this game yesterday, and I had a lot of fun. And I'm spending another nine hours today, and I'm having a lot of fun again. It's like it's not everything it could have been potential wise but I'm still having a good time and I think if I wasn't having a good time I wouldn't have played it this much I'm definitely enjoying it a lot more than playing true like even sword and shield I would say uh, just cuz like, like those games playing it true like everything frustrated me <laughs> just in terms of, like the plot and that and like all the handhold and this one's more classic, where it's just like, here's the world, go explore. There's still handholdy bits, there's like plateaus you get to where it's like, well, you direct it this certain way because of the gym badges. Uh, but it feels, it's a lot less in your face. I think people can even get a sense for that, comparing the two. You ever play, did you ever play Pokemon Battle Revolution? I did. I got the Surf and Pikachu from that game and used it in my Heart Gold team. Oh, this is the guy looking for his girlfriend. Battle Revolution is okay. It's kind of just like a Battle Frontier of the game. Thanks 100 bits there, too. But yeah, I guess that's what I should just say. And like, people ask me, like, what's your opinion on the games? I wouldn't be streaming this, like, close to 18 hours now. <laughs> Over two days, if I wasn't having fun. I, I would have just said, no, I'm good. I'm frustrated in parts of it, but I'm still having a good time, and I'm having fun because it's Pokemon. Seems like the big thing about uh, Diamond and Pearl. Very faithful remake of Diamond and Pearl. Khan's very faithful remake of Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Pretty much. And I think most of the disappointment comes from looking at what Heart Gold and Soul Silver was, what Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was, what Fire Red and Leaf Green was. This doesn't, this isn't on the same level as those games. There's just no way. It's more on the level of Pokemon Let's Go, which is a weird thing to say. But at least expand it more than those games were. Yeah, I'm still having fun with it though. I wouldn't be playing it this long if I wasn't. We did ask for Diamond and Pearl remakes, not Platinum remakes. We got exactly what we asked for. Do you think someone in Game Freak, like, saw all the attention? They keep asking for Diamond and Pearl remakes. I guess they don't care about Platinum. Could you imagine? Well, all right, we'll just ignore that content then. No one cares about that. That'd be that'd be kind of funny. Oh god. Platinum sales are less than half of Diamond and Pearl. True. That's probably why they have just cut a lot of the Platinum story. More people probably remember Diamond and Pearl, and they're kind of like banking on that. Still seems a shame though. Get all these. But Neri, please. You say you're a little shy. Get out of the way. Platinum DLC, maybe. I I'm not holding out for it, because I think they've only ever done DLC with Sword and Shield. That was kind of wild. They didn't do DLC with Let's Go. I'd be surprised if there was DLC for it. Especially because there's, like, there's Legends Arceus coming out in January, you know? 
It'd be more likely that that game receives some kind of support. Oh! Dad, long time no see! I don't know who this is. You look puzzled, you're wondering who I am. I've been away for a long time. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. Oh, okay, it's, it's a fellow dad. We haven't seen him in a while. We get to upgrade our Pokedex. Looks like your Pokedex doesn't need upgrade and already lets you toggle between images of male and female Pokemon. Technology sure has improved lately. Also, keep an eye on Team Galactic. Okay, I guess he's still here because he was here in the old games. So they were like, you still. Well, we have to include that moment. But that's kind of pointless, ain't it? Okay, here's the thing I want to check, right? Harbor in. I live in hope that at some point, the Dark Rye event, which happens in this inn, is brought to the game. There's a special event in the original DS games where you sleep in this inn, you get transported to a different island. I hope to God, if that's not in the game currently, that that is like a downloadable bit of like event or something that they do it. Bring it back. Because I would be absolutely gutted if the cool Pokemon events from the original games are gone. I'd be devastated. It's been data mined. It's currently in the game through an event. That is great to hear. Okay, I hope. I hope then. That that's wonderful. I hope that's just like a free online event. Download Darkrai. Have fun. Because most people did not get to experience that back in the day without the use of an action replay from Nintendo DS. Having it in here is just going to be good. Oh. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an important announcement to make that might be of significant interest to Twitch chat. Dinner for tonight has been confirmed to be pizza. It's happened again. It's happened. The unthinkable. I will keep you updated when the pizza gets here. The strong possibility this time I may have to eat pizza on stream. We won. Ah. <laughs> uh. Stream title is right. God is no longer dead. Okay. Uh, do I need anything from the shop? I think I'm good. Uh, repeat balls. They do have those, which is kind of cute, but like realistically, you're not gonna use them. I think I'm good, you know. I think I have enough items. God of this world is pizza. Did I heal my team? Heal up. Okay, well, we get to do Iron Island. Which means we're finally gonna get a new party member. It's been a long time coming. 
We'll just tough it out with Burby. I, I actually no. We'll 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 switch over to Jefferson here. Held item. Swap it. Okay, Jefferson, you're gonna take point a while. Why did Jefferson have a poison power? Must have got that from trading. Where is it? Oh no, I put it I put it on the crown of us. I'm blind. And now I'll put it in my bag. I've made this as difficult as humanly possible. There we go. Oh no. I forgot he was right here. <laughs> oh hey dad, you're gonna challenge the gym leader up ahead. Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. Uh oh. All right. Jefferson, one on five. We don't have anything else on the team. I know you can do it, Jefferson. Shit, I hope he doesn't have Torterra yet. I think we're gonna be okay. We have like a significant level advantage here. That's one. Jefferson's pulling all the stops. He wants to be praised. Jefferson, we're gonna get pizza tonight if you pull this off. <laughs> Come on. Stop laughing, Julie, from the other room. Come on, Jeff! Oh, he's taking damage. Hang on one sec. I'm back. Pizza confirmed. We had to confirm it. It's happening. Okay, Jefferson. We need you to not die in this fight. Got a weasel as well. Uh, that's actually not so fearsome. I was thinking I might need to get a super potion in somewhere here. This might be the best time. Specifically for Torterra. What pizza that? I don't know. I'll find out. Okay, uh, metal claw it down. I had extra pineapple just for dad. No, stop it! <laughs> stop it! Okay, slice away. Pony tap. Okay, so it's just potentially Torterra. If he doesn't have Torterra, then we're fine. Like, he really can't hurt us. Jefferson was actually fine. Yeah, there was nothing to worry about. We're still so far ahead of the game. This would be like one of the harder rival fights in the game, too. It's still a grotto. 
It's level 37 though. That could be a Torterra. Why isn't it? It evolves at 36. He dodged his only attack. We're not done yet. Neither me or my Pokemon has given up. This battle isn't lost just yet. I can still make a comeback. Good battle. It evolves at 32 and his Weasel evolves at 26. Why doesn't he want to evolve his Pokemon? <laughs> He could have had a Star Raptor as well. Star Ravio is 32, wasn't it? Why don't you... Lad, what's going on? Also, where is he going? This is like the end of the route. Where could he have gone? He, sh he should be here. A brilliant instinct tells me that there's a secret path somewhere in the city and there's treasure beyond that path. Oh. Uh. How do I get that? Oh, I can surf down here, can I? There we go. We get U turn. Oh, you can buy that one from the department store. That's a, like an odd one to pick up. Game might have preset Pokemon for fights, but the enemy levels up if you're over level. I don't think so. They do. Well, actually, no, they do scale the underground. I don't think they've been operating that way, though. We've still been kind of over leveled. Sailor Eldritch's Eldritch's house. Sailor Eldritch. I didn't. God, I must not have paid attention to that name back when I was like eleven years old. <laughs> it's a very on the nose reference. Considering what happens to his sunlighter, that was just empty. Go out to Iron Island. Okay, we're going to Iron Island too. Come on, Benary. Get the boat. Benary's been with us a while now. I feel like an honorary party member at least. Just while trying to like get this thing to evolve. Let's leave. What happens to his son? Uh, there's like a post-game thing. Relating to it. We'll see it later on. Iron Island. This is like one of the cooler optional areas that you get to go to. I, I like how there's just so many like optional places in this one. Like, you don't have to go to any of them, but if you do, there's, like, stuff to see and do. <laughs> yeah, I like the camp, so what? I wasn't, I wasn't questioning your hobby, Lawrence. Steelix is a wild Pokemon here. I probably want to catch that then. It'll save me from having to trade. Uh, Pokemon Home functionality is not available for this game. So, like, complete the Pokedex or, like, even, like, complete the regional decks. I can't rely on it, as far as I understand. I am going to need to trade some of my Pokemon at some point. Like, do, like, the like, Graveler for Graveler style trades. So we both get a Golem.
Why does home not work? I, I don't think it's live yet. It typically takes a while before it's like brought on. I still don't think it's possible to get the full Pokedex in any Pokemon game now at the moment. Like, unless, like, Gen 7 was the last time you could do it. Just because of the way they've worked out, like, Sword, Sword and Shield, you can't. Which is kind of a shame. The only place you can have a full Pokedex now is Pokemon Home. The... Doesn't sound right, does it? There's an Onyx. I remember completing the full uh, Soul Silver Pokedex. It was extremely tedious back in the day. I remember I did a Living Dex for Heart Gold back in the day. Over time, I actually reset that copy, but I remember I remember completing it. it took so long. Oh, there's Gravelers here. We don't we don't even need to level up here, dude. Do I already have them? I already have one. Yeah, I, I did reset it. Like, I, I wasn't that smart. I want to play Heart Gold again. And then that time I played Heart Gold was also eventually reset because we did the Nuzlocke, didn't we? Except I transferred the Pokemon over that time, I think. They're all like chilling in black and white now. I have a Gen 1 to 7 Live Index in my Pokemon Home. That's really cool. I might try do it again sometime. I do love Pokemon. Hey, where is he? He's down here? God, I thought you encountered by now. You must be further in. You have a battle, please. I want to play my old Pokemon games again, but I just can't bring myself to delete my childhood save files. Yeah, I get that feeling. I did actually buy, like, because I, I, I know that someday I'm going to stream, like, Black and White and Black and White 2 on this channel. Like, my favorite Pokemon game still. Um, but I I know I knew that I, I would never be able to bring myself to delete those saves. So I actually bought, like, I had, like, White and White 2. So I got Black and Black 2. And I have those here now. Don't know when that will be. I know the next while we have, we're pretty stacked for Pokemon because we have this and Arceus. Down the road, I reckon we'll do it. I think it's inevitable. But yeah, I can never bring myself to get rid of my saves in those ones. Kranidos, you're trying your hardest. Are you screen cap a DS game? I have a capture card for a DS. Anything here? Super Repel. Steelix is the wild Pokemon here that we're kind of keeping an eye out for, is that right? Is there anything else that should be wary of? What's your favorite Pokemon from Black and White, Dan? Uh, I mean Whimsicott. I say it's Whimsicott. I love him. I love Whimsicott more since Gen 6, though, I'll be honest, because they add Fairy type to him. He's way cooler then. But, like, OG Black and White, like, excluding Fairy type, it's probably actually Victini. It is the one time I ever used a Legendary on my playthrough of a Pokemon game. Like, kind of going through it. Because I got the Victini, like, event thing. I was just like, I love this Pokemon. I want to use him. Which starter in Gen 5? I ditched the starter. <laughs> I don't like the Gen 5 starters. Uh, my team was... I had a Victini, a Zorak, an Electros, uh, both of the fossil Pokemon, and... 
What was the last one? Oh, and a Haxorus. I had a shiny Haxorus. That was it. Very happy one. Axorus has since been made as one of like the most common shinies though, because you can actually get them for free in black and white too. <laughs> they give quite a few shinies in black and white too. There's like a shiny Haxorus and there's also like a shiny Dratini and a shiny Gibble. They're very generous with them there. Do require some effort though, not totally meaningless. It's true, yeah, you do have to complete the Pokedex for him. So like like there's a fair bit of work. Or at least like the regional one, I think it is. And like for Dratini and Gibble, you have to complete like a really hard battle tower that ends in like level 80 Pokemon fights and stuff. I think one of the trainers, some of the trainers there even have legendaries. They're cool rewards, though, for seeing it all the way through. Okay. Down we go. Draco, thanks for 200 bits. Iron Island and Steelix hurts me. In hindsight, the original Diamond was our first game, and I used the Master Ball on the Steelix. Oh, God, love you. I'm so sorry. Pokemon do you hate? What Pokemon reminds me of Princess Daisy the most? Probably that one. Mr. Mime. <laughs> Uncalled for. <laughs> I gotta get the Daisy hate in, okay? Why well, you be from a Princess Daisy? She knows what she did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> People watching the stream that don't know the context of that should be like, what, what's it? What's his problem? Why does he hate her? Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, there, it's probably there. I hate Charizard. <laughs> I can't stand them, and that's solely because of Leon at this point. I never want to see a Charizard again. It sags, like, Mega Charizard, like, X and Y, so cool. I now hate them. <laughs> All thanks to Leon. The unbeatable champion! Oh, God, please. <laughs> I don't- I don't mind Pikachu nearly as much. Pikachu I'm kind of okay with because, like... I've used Pikachus before. I really like Raichu. And, like, Alolan Raichu is a really fun one. Electric Psychon is cool typing. Like, I love how, like, he stands on, like, his tail and uses it as a surfboard. Like, you're always going to see Pikachu in every Pokemon game. But it's like... Charizard... I, I feel like Charizard's just so in your face. Can't stand him anymore. I think it's mostly because of Sword and Shield. Like, they announced, like, a new battle mechanic for Gen 9, and it's like, Charizard has a new form! It's like, oh, God, please. Like... Please. 
We've suffered enough. Found a bottle of iron, nice. Pikachu gets a new form, it's like, okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go. Why doesn't Twitch accept payment in RT game swag bucks? Uh, well, ever since the economy crash, well, crash, uh, RT game swag bucks have about the same monetary value as I think, like, the Zimbabwe dollar. Not looking too good. Kind of use swag bucks like napkins now. I hope you get a shiny Bidoof and, like, like me and call it Cooler Ka. <laughs> If I do, if I somehow, like, against the odds find a shiny Bidoof, like, I'll, it'll be God 2 or something to level him up. I'll keep it all 131,000 of my swag bucks with pride. Oh, you say that now, but a gambling stream's gonna get you. Next WW me. Just see how you feel about that. You're gonna get the itch. Your Veneri must hate you. Yeah, it really does. It doesn't want to evolve. So much has come and gone. What is your self worth in RT swag bucks? It's probably like mathematical notation with swag bucks, like to some absurd power. Um, but that will equate to, like, a low self-worth. <laughs> ah, well, kind of okay with, like, my, my flesh capsule that I live in. It's like, literally more atoms! Well, more than atoms in the universe. In swag bucks. <laughs> Probably how it works out. Uh, Jefferson's good. Uh, I think this trainer here is gonna heal us. You are? Okay, you're dad. <laughs> You've accepted this quite readily. I'm Riley. Oh shit, his name's Riley, it's not Aaron. Aaron's from the movie, I think. I'm a trainer, and yes, it's a bit odd that I would be training here. If you like, we could team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal him up. Got... Very cool hat. I believe the hat is the same one that the guy wears in the movie, yeah. And he's also got a Lucario himself. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, this is gonna be a bit mean to poor old O'Reilly here. I'm gonna use one of the Surf TMs. And we're gonna use it over Brine. Should I do that? Should I just get rid of Charm at this point? I feel like Charm still has some fringe applications, but... Yeah. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Not using it nearly as much. This is mean the poor O'Reilly, but it's okay. He'll heal his Lucario. You're up in the mountains, a battle do for proper greeting. Every good hiker gets a boost of energy when surrounded by boulders. Coming at ya, let me blow off some steam. These men are towering over me. Lower, thanks for 500 bits. Would you say this game is worth the money? Because I love the original so much and was so excited. I've been careful, especially because of Sword and Shield. I have spent, like, about 16 hours playing this game over the last two days. I've been having fun. It's got parts that don't live up to the originals, but it's still a good time and it's still fun. 
I'm so sorry, Lucario. Man just said fighting is how you greet someone in the mountains. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. <laughs> gonna push you off. Be careful. Oh, I need to ex uh, put Golduck away. Uh, F.A., thank you for a thousand bits. My first Pokemon game was OG Silver on 8, and I still remember to this day the first time I beat the Elite Four. My final Pokemon was a severely underleveled Noctowl that used Quick Attack, and was enough to beat Lance's last Pokemon at very little health. Enjoying the nostalgia, thank you for the streams. No problem. Thank you very much. Go, Lucario! Trying his best. Has Lucario got in a single move? I don't think he has. He's gonna be well hydrated after this. Alright, we got him. I think I've calmed down now. Hey, we got another one down for the evolutions, too. Okay, I'll exchange- I'll trade the two of them. Swap them out. I'm gonna need to get the trade evolutions at some point. I think we're gonna encounter the base forms somewhere in the region, still? I think the Elite Four have most of them. Oh yeah, we don't need the heal, too. That's nice. Hey, Golduck, pop you away. Oh, I need to get a Crobat by getting Friendship as well. I'm gonna see what else I can get, like, other than Friendship for now. What level does Skorupi evolve? What level does Ponyta evolve? I think I can find Rapidash in the wild, can't I? Those are 40. Okay, I was down for a while. I'm trying to see what might be sooner. I'm trying to get the ones that, like, you cannot catch this in the wild. Silcoon. That's an easy one. Rapidash, I think you can find in the wild. In post-game. Magnemite would be a good one. Yep. Drapion, I think you can get them in the wild, too. Lopunny, I don't think you can, so we have to level up that one. Kranidos, I don't think you can. Oh, there's the Steelix. Oh no, Riley, you don't want to kill this. Oh, I can't. It's no good, it's impossible to aim unless there's only one Pokemon. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be a dangerous setup. Steelix has sturdy, doesn't it? Okay, he can't kill it. Just kill Lucario first. I'm sorry, Riley. It's the only way. Okay, we gotta catch it. That- okay! That- that improves the odds. That's quite lucky. Let's go. This will save us a metal coat and a trade. Thank you. That worked out surprisingly well. I think that's the rarest Pokemon in this zone. And we get a Beautifly now, too. How to defeat Lucario. You're next, Riley. <laughs> Let's finish the job.
Still Coon evolved into Beautifly. And we get Steelix as well. Okay, uh, what is next for me evolving? Is there anything in this box I want to evolve? Can I find Toxicroak in the wild? What level would Toxicroak be? Can I find Rhydon in the wild? What level would that be? Let's check these two next. Smooch we don't need to worry about. That's not this regional Pokedex. Oh, Rhyhorn isn't either. Okay, never mind. Ignore Rhyhorn. 37 for Toxicroak? Okay, let's get that then. You know, because uh, the battles are going to take longer, we should do a friendship one. As much as it pains me to start in another friendship Pokemon, I feel like we've got to walk a long time with them. I feel like we got to put Golbat in. Chansey is high friendship as well, isn't it? Friendship ones are going to be the death of us. It's actually a lot of friendship ones. Oh. Okay. Don't forget the suit belt. Uh, Baneri currently has it, just Baneri hates us. Is that... That Golbat's injured. That was in the PC. Alrighty then. How long has that been injured? I can't remember when I caught that. You don't heal in the PC anymore. Okay. So make sure you heal your team, I guess, before you send them out. Just put all the friendship evos in your party and bike in circles for an hour. Will that do it for friendship if I just go or like round and round? Would that be the easier way? Like, Benary, I'm not putting away at this point, because Benary's been here so long. It would be more effective. Okay, we're gonna do the level ones then for now. So that we can capitalize on the XP more. I'll put Golbat back. We'll get Krogunk out. Get Toxicroak next. Where are you? Here, God's got to stay here because God's like an experience sink. No matter the circumstances, God is with us. <laughs> we need to see how like ungodly powerful he can become. Magnet. The folks who train here have a bit too much time in their hands. Weren't you training here? Iron Plate? The original one breeded alone before the universe came. I love those like tidbits of lore you get for Arceus as you go. Don't worry, it took my Eevee and Gold to level 70 to evolve into Umbreon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna be waiting a while. <laughs> Ultra Ball? What's the story behind the name of Dad? Oh, we always do like a joke name if we can. And that's the one that won out. It was either that or Fortnite Jonesy. So I think it went pretty well. Anything here? Nope. Here's another two. 
That is honestly a good one. I just love, like, who are you? Dad? What are you doing here? It's pretty good. Let's see, because we've had Article 13. We had Boris Johnson uh, for Sword and Shield, lest we forget. And uh, now we've got Dad. <laughs> We'll probably need another one come Legends Arceus again. Let's see what we're feeling then. Older Dad. <laughs> Granddad. It's perfect. No, we're not we're not taking suggestions for names now. We're gonna wait till then. I'm gonna wait till then. Um, but we'll revisit that in January. I love how Empoleon's getting all this praise. Like, that's it, I knew you could do it, as Lucario is like within an inch of its life now. It's so much pain. Oh, I don't wanna learn Mist. One of these days you get an attack off Lucario, don't worry. Yeah, we won't we won't We won't kill him outright. There we go. Can't wait for Legends Arceus to come out. That one's gonna be really fun. Oh shit, Kranidos is level 30! That's way sooner than I thought. That's another one done. I thought that was 40 as well, yeah. Apparently not. Headbutt Pokemon. Yeah, it has like ridiculously high attack. I also guess the wonderful, wonderfully named move called Head Crash. Oh, is it, is it Head Crash or Skull Bash? They're quite menacing either way. Okay, well, there's around Paralos. Uh, what's next? Am I right in assuming that if I level up Wormpool now, it evolves into Cascoon, and then I'll get a Dustox? That's how it works. It's a time of day. Because that's an easy one to That's an easy two to check off. It's random. Okay, well, we'll see what we get. We got 67 out of 112. We will see. Head smash is the rock type move. Such a menacing one. Yeah, it's kind of stupid on Rimparalus stuff because it has like already such crazy high attack. Oh, you have Team Galactic's down here too. Completely random. Okay. Well, here let's uh let's just kill these wild Pokemon. And it should evolve? I think they're high enough level. Quick guard? That, that didn't guard much. I, okay, that works differently than I thought. Is it wide guard that's the one that actually protects you? Must be. Okay, Wormpool will evolve now. Thanks, Riley. God is also- God wants to learn superpower. <laughs> oh god, so take down, super fang, sword stance. I feel superpower over crunch. It's perfect.
God and that now has superpowers. Uh, Quan, thanks for the 150 bits. Are you doing Jack's Thankmas th charity thing? I will be. Okay, stop, God. Okay, Wormpole, give us a Cascoon. I don't know if there's a way we can really tell by the silhouette, because it's like the same for both of them. There we go. It learned hardened. I think that's his only move. Did I fight those two trainers there? Do I need to go back? I think I need to go back, yeah, I didn't. If God is Badoof, then what is ba uh by Barrel? Well, you know how in like Final Fantasy games often end in you fighting God? But there's a super secret boss that's like God Prime. That's basically by Barrel. Oh, one second. Be right back. We will be just one moment, but I may have something special to share with you. One moment, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, pizza is here. Pizza is here. It is a pepperoni pizza. Oh, it said Hawaiian on the receipt and I was scared for a moment. No, it's pepperoni. Pepperoni. <laughs> oh, moment of panic. We're okay. We're okay. Cascoon's leveled up too. Everything's working out. Okay, well, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to work out how I'm supposed to actually have some of this while I go. It's actually thin enough that I might be able to bite into it, fine. Braces have been a pain, like kind of restrict a lot of biting. Let me try. It worked! I can do it! Okay, one-handed gamer. Playing with the controller and then pizza in the other hand. Don't eat in game, Dad. Show us. <laughs> uh, I forget that this is like incredibly important for chat. Okay, I'm gonna share this in the Discord. I'll pop it in the live stream chat for you. Hang on. <laughs> this is an important update. Surrounding the stream. There you go, it's in the Discord. <laughs> Got dust stocks. There you go. Pizza cam. <laughs> I'm not pointing a camera at the pizza while I eat. No. <laughs> you don't need that. Like, what, what does that accomplish? That's good.
Keep going. Do it. I don't have a camera set up. I can't. Okay, I need to go back and get those trainers. I hate eating on stream. But I have no choice here because I'm so hungry. It's gonna eat enough to like sustain me. <laughs> Why? Cause, cause, like, if I'm streaming that, I don't want to be like, "Hey guys, rah, rah, rah. Sorry, just give me, give me, just give me two minutes here." Huh? <laughs> you know? I want to be, be like talking to you guys. That's all we want. <laughs> Pizza ASMRT. You guys are being spoiled now. You get the you get to listen to me eat pizza on stream. There's no camera. There's only a picture in the Discord to confirm it. It's like my God, the content I wanted all this time. <laughs> like I hate it because I. I pause and it's like I'm not saying anything because I'm chewing. Like sorry for the eerie silence. Pepperoni though, you know, I just so good. Feel unloved. <laughs> Don't use a knife and fork to eat pizza. Um, usually I do. Just because the braces this past year. Normally I don't. But this one's actually thin enough where I don't need them. Uh, which is nice. I didn't expect that. Oh, I need to switch out Dust Tox again. Got to do that. Krogan did not learn Sucker Punch. Probably not going to use it anyway, so it's fine. for everyone tonight. Let's go. Thank you, Julie. Ah. Oh. I want to watch you eat pizza. No, you don't. No, you don't. When does Chack get pizza? You can get your own. You have that power. You know we would watch. I d I <laughs> Look, I don't. I'm already like the guy who ordered a pizza on a stream. I don't want to be the guy who eats a pizza on stream. All right. I don't need this on my record. I'm just gonna kill the Lucario. Get Rick. Just get down to Sudowoodo. It's fine. Logical progression. <laughs> this is the second time a pizza has been involved in the stream. It happens again. I'm gonna be upset with myself. You're already the guy who lost the first gym. We have ASMRT next is RT Mukbang. No, please God. <laughs> hey guys, my new channel. Oh. <laughs> what happened to ASMRT? I can't find it. Channel's still there. Uh, I'm just, it's on hiatus at the moment. Revamp it at some point when I'm ready for it. And you're playing Pokemon again. It was Pokemon last time this happened, wasn't it? <laughs> oh no. Stars have aligned.
Pokemon makes chat hungry, apparently. You're financially responsible for 4,000 people. <laughs> So, like, how much would it cost to order everyone in chat a pizza right now? Th that's gotta be a le like, that's gonna be so much. Assuming it's like 20 bucks a pizza, like, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... $80,000. That's a lot! <laughs> Worse is. You're an influencer. Stingy with your money, I see. <laughs> My accountant's just gonna be like looking at the numbers and it's like, so, so, so why couldn't you pay tax this year? It's like, we made a massive loss after the pizza stream. Everything was gone. God. Uh, what do I level up next? Get on the party. Chime Echo, can I find those in the wild later? Because that's another friendship one, I think. What Pokemon should I do? Swablu? Swablu isn't part of the national Poke- well, the regional Pokedex. So we're not interested in that one. Mime Jr., is that friendship? Trying to look for ones that aren't friendship if we can. Ooh. Oh, it's just mimic. Okay. It learns at level 15, does it? That means I need to go back to the move relearner. Glyph score, we need a Razor Fang. We can't do that. Bronzor, what level is Bronzor? I think you can find Bronzong in the wild. I think they're in Mount Coronet. Mime Juniors isn't friendship. Oh, okay. It learns at level 32. Cool. Perfect. Bronzong is 33. Okay, we'll do Bronzong next then. It's fine. Oh, I missed that item. I thought that was the path that one I was on. Oh, I'm so stupid. Where'd Riley go? Hello? Where'd he go? What happens now if I go to the grunts? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's try it. Hang on. Wait one sec. I'm gonna use one of these. Didn't invite him to pizza. Is it because I killed his Lucario too many times? Or he just gets sick of my shit. I don't know what to do. Like, should I reload the game? Is that going to be an issue that he's not here? Not that way. Riley, I get it now, you're responsible for agitating this Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into mine. He's not here! What? 
It's just me! No, he's back. <laughs> oh god, I've glitched it out somehow. Kind of unsettling. Whoa. How bad must it be for these Team Galactic employees? Not only beaten by a kid, but like a kid in a battle who's also just like distracted by eating pizza at the same time. Oh, it's a real embarrassing day. Cyrus is gonna be pissed. They're just doing their job, RT. I'm gonna get them. I'm so sorry again, Riley. It's just easier to use, sir. Please understand. Let's team up to fight the train in the mine. Partner repeatedly just kills you. My Torterra knows Earthquake, Riley Zucari is about to have a very bad time. Oh Jesus. I can kill him faster. Excuse me. Hamilton Von Karma gives 100 bits and says, Fool, I cannot change my name again for another two months. Oh no, you're stuck. I'm stuck being a Von Karma over a one-time joke. Be careful in elevators. <laughs> God love you. I'll see you in January. Von Karma is now your true identity. Once you go Von Karma, you can't go back. He's still not here. The egg has been sent to a box. Spend time with you was very enjoyable. I intend to test my skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Take care on the way out. He's gone. Did we get the egg? Thank god, we got the egg. I was worried that was gonna affect it. And I would have been devastated. He was already gone. Oh, there's a bronze over there. Uh, okay, I need to... I need to get this one out. Short Pokemon. Uh, what are we gonna stop leveling? Probably Magnemite for now. Is Magnemite even the right dex? Let's just see. No, he's not! You're a freeloader. Okay, well thank you, ghost. It was nice teaming up with you. Oh, that's the repel. <laughs> game's just being spooky now. He was dead the whole time. Riley's been dead for 13 years. Guess we're just gonna find out.
Von Karma 2 also gives 200 bits and says, You see, I too am stuck. One might call it karma. <laughs> oh, we got the shiny stone. Uh, I can... That means I can evolve... Uh, where are, Where is she? In the boxes. We can finally evolve lettuce. Where is it? Under other items, isn't it? Shiny stone. Finally get our rose right. You're taking your meds today. No, stop this! <laughs> I can't question my sanity every stream, it's not fair. We already had like the crisis yesterday. So, Rose Raids data added to the Pokedex. That's really good. We can actually fight with her now. She's gonna actually have stats. Look at that, 123 special attack. That's pretty good. Now we have the mystery egg that a ghost gave us. We just witnessed a real life creepypasta. We kind of did, didn't we? If you, if you were a kid and you had no knowledge of what was going on, you'd be probably pr pretty freaked out as to why that guy disappeared. in here? There's no one there. Well, let's sail back. Yeah, so I was going- I was going through the Iron Island, and there was a guy with me, and he had a Lucario, but then he went invisible, and then he disappeared, and he gave me an egg before he disappeared forever. I think it has something to do with getting Mew. We got the egg. Uh, let's take on the next gym. No, not you, Poketch. Uh, for the gym, we actually do want to get the, the squad together if we can. Uh, Benary, you're gonna be here as honorary member for the time being. <laughs> Uh, Res- Risa, I don't- I don't know if Risa's gonna be too useful here, anyway. We're short on space. I need to get the friendship up for this thing. Risa's been, like, an honorary party member, but, like, I think temporary, because once we get Garchomp, that's gonna be the team filled out. We gotta hatch the egg, too. Dan, that's half your team as honorary members. It's fine. Actually, actually, no, it hasn't been that much. Look at that. Teams coming together. Still love God. It's just Garchomp now that we need. And then we're actually going to have to level those up a bit. Because they're going to be quite weak in comparison. Okay, actually, t here's what I'll do. I'll switch- I'll switch to the main team for the gym fight. Rear in the go. Oh, you can't access the boxes in here. You know what? Jefferson? Just- just take on the world. Should we do that? Can we do that? Should we? I just say like, fuck it. And we keep leveling them up. Jefferson only run. 
No, he shouldn't do it. I would love to use Lettuce here, but it's literally the Steel-type gym, so like, she's not gonna be able to do much. Okay, God and Jefferson. <laughs> I'm gonna keep leveling the rest of the team. Let's do it. The ultimate fighting team for this gym. I hope no one in here is Lucario's, because they are a steel type. Eric, thanks for 500 bits. Mary clearly is a cousin of Cupcake. She heard about the extended family. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe that's why she hates me. There's no way you can lose with God and Jefferson on your team. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna be okay. Yeah, I think we just keep just training up everything else. I, it might make the game a bit more challenging again. If we just completely ignore level in our party. For like, how many gyms now? <laughs> Veneri, please evolve. Just don't want to do it. Sitter and Jefferson does the narrative run, he literally has the power of God and anime on his side. Okay, ah, uh, 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 okay, all right, all right. You don't want me to box Jefferson, do you? That's how you'll get me the box. <laughs> We've access to the friendship checker. I, I believe we do. I, I can check it. It's so slow to use this thing. <laughs> Is this it? Does it still hate me? I don't think I have it. Is that not the friendship checker? Yeah, it is the friendship checker. It still hates me. Like these two are just following. Mary doesn't care. Oh, you know what, Benary? <laughs> I can't box him. We got we gotta leave it for now. No hearts means the friendship is still below 150. Okay, I'm gonna just like. I'm gonna see if I can set up my Switch controller so there's like an elastic band on the thumbstick and just cycle in a circle for f 15 hours or something. What's my project when I end the stream tonight? I keep an airy here for now. It's taken so much experience. Okay, uh, Ponyta is level 40, right? So we probably don't want to bother with that one. That one's gonna take, like, ages to get. That's friendship. Magnemite's not even from this region. 
Uh, Skaroopy. What's Skaroopy? Thirty-six or forty. Okay, we can get that one up. That's not too far off. Graveler. That's that entire box done, then I believe. Fire like a crowbat. So here, let's uh, let's let's move them around a bit. Here's the friendship gang. That's gonna take forever to. Finally get done. Friendship gang. Uh, here's the just needs a stone gang. Didn't mean to go box view. Here's needs a special. Well, is this the. This isn't the. Yeah, that, that's a different deck, so we don't need to worry about that one. Focus on the regional decks first. Here's just needs to be traded. Uh, we need a combi of the. of. the other gender. Uh, this one also needs to be traded just with an item. Okay. Oh, that's also friendship gang. <laughs> I believe. Uh... This one's just a really high level. What, what level does Rhyhorn evolve? Bronzor is also experience. 42. Can I catch Rhyhorns in the wild? I think those are available in like the later game. Am I right with that? Graveler needs to be traded too. I'll get Graveler in a moment. You can catch Ry Rhydon in the post game. Cool. We don't- we don't need to fuss about that. Okay, so this is like the main gang that I need to work out. And then there's also a bronze ore that just needs to be leveled. Everything else I think is done for the time being. Can you catch Rapidash later? That'll be the other one. I think you can. The Altaria, it's not in the original decks. Okay. I think we're good with that. Altaria is 35. We, we, we don't need to worry about Altaria. It's a- it's a different Pokedex. Okay. Cool. So, that box, as far as I'm concerned, is done. For the time being. Blisco's in the regional. No, it's not. Magnemite is regional. <laughs> No, it's not. The evolution is. No, it's not. If, if that one's not there, then it's not. We're good. It's not in this one. You're in the regional. Yeah, I, I think you're thinking of like the Platinum Pokedex. Uh, it's actually a different one to this. The Platinum Pokedex includes everything that has a Gen 4 evolution. Diamond and Pearl one does not include most of those. Like, Magmar is not in this one. Like, Electabuzz isn't in this one. Togepi and all of them aren't in it. Platinum actually adds all of them, though. 
Cool. There we go. Let's go on Magnezone. Yep, they're not in the Diamond and Pearl Pokedex. They are in the National Pokedex. They're not in the regional one. Despite being added with this game. There's a, there's a bunch of them like that. What do you mean Diamond and Pearl decks doesn't have Gen 4 Pokemon? That's stupid. You unlock them later. They're in the National decks. I mean, other Pokemon games have done that, kinda. I know Gen original Gen 2, you can't catch Houndoom until, like, post-game. It's just not available. Kinda like similar effects to that. What's the difference between the two dexes? One is the regional dex, one is everything. Uh, the regional one you want to, you need to complete so you get the everything one. Because once you get the national decks, it unlocks a bit more of the game, I believe. Uh, but you can't do that if you don't fill out the regional one. I don't think you have to catch everything, but it's like the start and goal for getting stuff. I think you just need to see everything in the regional to unlock national. But in case you miss one. That's why you might want to fill it out more. Do I need to get Palkia in the decks, actually? That's an interesting question. How do I get that in this? I can't remember. Oh, th God, please. <laughs> Don't have the answer for this one. Yeah, I, I think you, I, I think there's like a book or something. You can like see a picture of it. Probably what I'm looking for. No, it sounds good. Can't you just give God an Everstone? I haven't found one. God is forever trying to evolve. We gotta keep him leveling. Important. Also, the Steel type gym, they have a lot of not steel Pokemon. They like their Onyxes. I know Steelix is steel, but this one's not quite there. I'm not too fussed about getting an Everstone. I, I, I don't mind. I think it's kind of funny that he keeps trying to evolve. Like, I'll survive. Yeah, you probably find it in the underground. You can get all the stones there. Don't, please don't have a fighting type. He likes his judo, don't do it. Thank god, it's another onyx. How does that do judo? He doesn't have scissor and pearl, does he? Someone has Scissor in this. There's a Bug Gym Leader. Well, Elite Four, isn't there? Pretty sure they have it. There's the Steelix. Practices Judo on the Onyx. Oh, okay. That's handy. Scissor is in Platinum. Oh wait, is Scyther not one of them in the... Regional? Oh, we don't have to worry about that one then. I've been stuck shiny starter farm for 18 hours now. God love you. That's, uh, that seems intense. Good luck. With the shiny, if you're sh shiny starter st starter hunting, can you see like if I any of them are shiny before you choose? Does it work like that? 
If I missed a bunch of this as well, I might have. No, it's a minute and a half reset. That's grim. I know, I think it was like Heart Gold and Soul Silver they actually show in the preview if it's shiny. It's really unfortunate, yeah. It takes so much longer. Why is there an Azumarill in this gym? This isn't a steel type. Yeah, this person's probably just trying to fight the other, like, all the Onyxes off. That's why they've got this. My favorite steel type. Like, actually weak to steel too because of the fairy type and, well, neutral because water. Jim is unique in that. Crow Gunk, you're good. We just need you to be Toxic Croak. It's an Azumarill nicknamed Steel Type. Ah, oh, yeah, that counts. There's a red boy. Okay, so we, we've definitely missed some. Excuse me. Just need to take your other elevator. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Massive gym. Way bigger on the inside compared to most. Like four stories. I think Azumarill is there because of Iron Tail because there aren't enough Steel types. Oh, that's, that's actually kind of tragic. <laughs> like pulling at straws there. Aren't you over level enough? Well, it's the fact that there's trainers. We gotta battle every trainer. Level doesn't matter there. You have to beat the region. Don't tell me. Don't tell me we've got skippers in this chat. Where you just like waltz through a, re uh, a route. You don't explore it. every trainer as you should you've caught me not too late to get help can forgive you I don't skip I run to PC we are not the same God battle him. if you don't do the gym too when you beat the leader you can't fight him. You'd never learn this man's story about how he can't keep up and he's gonna work on the elevators. Can you really live with yourself knowing that? His story was not part of yours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Did I get them all? I think I got them all now. I think it was just that guy. Back we go. Uh, sorry about that. I know you're like the final challenge here. Okay, let's fight him for realsies. Sweeping cinematic camera angle. I really like that one. That's Orbis' gym badge. I see you've defeated my son. 
That's no surprise. He still has much to learn. Bless my son, Rourke. I, Byron, will accept your challenge. It's dad v dad. I don't know why his beard looks like it's painted on. Let's go. You lost to his son. This is hopeless. I'm not. No. None of that. Jefferson's ready this time. We will not have a repeat. A trick room. That's fine. This team is actually very slow. Oh no. Come on, Jefferson. Out of boy. Okay, he's got a Steelix next. That's fine. I think it's just the last one I'm scared of. Steelix is going to use Sandstorm. That doesn't even affect me. Come on, Jeff. He's doing so good. Okay, he's probably gonna use a full restore, so yeah, we just hit him with this. Come on, Jeff. Getting three times through it. Getting good use out of Sturdy. Use Metal Claw this time. Uses... Oh! Oh, I didn't know he had that! How long is this confusion? Jefferson. Thanking it like a champ. <laughs> That's four turns of confusion now. Mime Jr. wants to invest in recycling. Now's not the time. Trick room wore off, at least. That was a lot of damage. It's level 39, this thing. I've got a plan. You have to trust me. You finally snapped out of confusion. Bastion is injured. Oh my god. It's got Thunderbolt! <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, I do have a plan. You have to trust me. You have to trust me. I'm not going to heal. Oh, I'm just going to win. Okay, I was going to switch into God and use superpower for the finish. But, uh, <laughs> I guess the tyrant damage kicked in and we win. Cool. Not today. Defeated a dad. He's lost because he didn't eat enough pizza. I haven't finished the pizza yet. I'm gonna gonna finish it after the stream. <laughs> I just had enough to keep me going. All Pokemon up to level 70 obey you without question. We're almost at that level. Get flash cannons. Okay, see you later. How do you prove yourself to be the better dad? Can we go to McDonald's? We just got pizza. Just got pizza. Oh, he's right here. 
That's the mine badge. Good go. What are you doing? Glad, what are you doing standing out here? You're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon champion. Of course, I'm tougher. So that's not actually going to happen. Anyways, Dad, come with me to the library. Just a minute. <laughs> Team's doing good. Is Lad just Twitch chat? I don't think so. Okay, let's head on over. Hey, this is a cool build. We didn't explore it yet. There's actually quite a bit going on in this one. Analyf Library, please keep quiet while you're on the premises. The shelves are lined with books. Deal and high bookshelves. Deal and high. Next floor. Deal and high. There should be some of the books you can actually read. I think it's these ones. Here's one. This book is titled The Sea's Legend. It's a text that was only recently discovered, and its ancient letters would decode it. Would you like to read it? Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked Pokemon living in the sea to let him, them see the Prince. Mantike, Buizel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes acknowledged the human's bravery. Join them. Together they set off in a boat over the Sunset Street Sea, sailing through the ocean gate stretched over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince, who went to meet the brave little party at the Seaside Hollow. Seaside Hollow? There should be more books! Uh... Oh, we're going over here now. Are there more books to read? Have I just missed them? We'll, we'll have a look in a moment. We gotta talk to Professor Rowan. Okay, Gramps, I brought Dad like I said. Now I'm out of here. Okay, I get it. Everyone's finally here. Listen up. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Some Pokemon that evolve and others that don't. It makes them different from each other. The mature ones evolve into ones that are more mature. If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? We assume that the legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh are complete as creatures. This is where you three come in. It's said to be a mysterious Pokemon in each of the three lakes of Sinnoh. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. Need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these mysterious Pokemon. What are you saying? I didn't get a Pokedex. It wasn't that bolted from the lab before I had a chance to give them one. That's water under the bridge. Being Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you and becoming a better trainer too. Don's gonna help. You can count on me, he'll help with the Pokedex. Dad, you'll go too, won't you? I would have made all, all you go regardless. I have no say in the matter. Three lakes. Fortunately, there are three of you. You should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Don, you go to Lake Verity. Lad, I want you to investigate Lake Acu Acuity. That would take you to almost to Snow Point City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Of course, Gramps, you know how they call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. Please stop talking, lad. That uh, leaves Dad with Lake Fowler. Lake between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Oh. Has it stopped? That was quite abrupt. <laughs> Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside. Be careful. I'm concerned about the city. That was a very slight rattle. Beware of aftershocks. Okay. I think they still have the books. I think they're all just up here.
Perfect. Let's read these before we go. Sinomis. Sinomis. Betray not your anger. Last question will come. Weep not with sorrow or question will draw near. Enjoy and enjoyment come as natural as the very air that is happiness. Let such be blessed by the hand of master question. Custom to speak those words. Region mythology. Long ago when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. That is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It asked the Pokemon be ready to appear before humans, always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into the tall grass. It sounds quite grand. Sometimes they're just trying to attack you. <laughs> then I was missed. Three Pokemon there were. Into the lakes they dove. Deep, deep, draw no breath. Deeper, deeper, deeper they dove. Suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than deepest they alight, from the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make fast lands, they rise again. Veilstone's Mitt. A young man, callow and foolish and innocent, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded it with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Lardis grew bare. A young man seeking the missing Pokemon journeyed to far. Long did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, you bear your sword to bring harm upon us, with claws and fangs we will exact a toll. From your kind we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to guard ourselves, and for it I apologize. Disguised, the young man shouted his dismay. Having found the sword, I have lost so much. Forged with power, I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again. This sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. The original story. In the beginning, there was only a churn and turmoil of chaos. The heart of chaos, where all things became one, appeared an egg. Having tumbled from the vortex, the egg gave rise to the original one. From itself, two beings the original one did make. Time started to spin, space began to expand. From itself again, three living things the original one did make. Two beings wished, and from them, matter came to be. Three living things wished, and from them, spirit came to be. World created, the original one took to unyielding sleep. Is that the same one? That's the same one, both sides. The egg was before the chicken! <laughs> Confirmed. The egg came first. A horrific myth. Look not into the Pokemon's eyes, in but an instant you'll have no recollection of who you are. Turn home but how, when there is nothing to remember. Dare not touch the Pokemon's body. In but three short days all emotions will drain away. Above all, above all, harm not the Pokemon. In a scant seven days, the offender will grow immobile in entirety. And send off folk stories. It's three of these. Story one. Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in the Seer Stream. Thank them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. The bones are as clean as can be, set them free in the water from which they came. The Pokemon will return fully flesh and it begins anew. So it's okay! They eat them. They come back. Live the Pokemon in the forest. In, a far in the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Awaken, the human dons the Pokemon hide to their own villages. Wait, what is it? Human dance the Pokemon. Hides their own villages. I'm wondering if that's a Zorak or something like that. Yeah. The Zorak actually disguises as a person. That's kind of neat if that's what it is. This obviously came before that. There once was a poke. There once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. There once were humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. It was a time when there existed no differences to distinguish the two. It's a bit of pretext and like kind of interesting for Legends Arceus because I hope that you're going to be able to experience some of these stories. 
Like, maybe you'll beat the guy from Veilstone who actually kills him with a sword. You know? The marriage book. I don't know if the marriage book is here. There, there was one... ...that did say people used to marry Pokémon. <laughs> I I don't know if they've maintained that though. I think it's been cut. Wait, no, it was the last one. It was censored. Was it? Uh, okay, alright. Let's see how it is. Probably for the best, honestly. <laughs> Gonna bother her real quick. Let's hop outside. Sorry, gang. I was doing some light reading. A tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude, old dude and kids. Something big just happened. The same there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. Perhaps we're going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. That lad can't st sit still. Dad, I'm worried about... <laughs> no, that's Rowan talking to me. Dad, I'm worried about Lake Valor. All right, I have no idea what has taken place. You must find out. Before you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. Try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You'll be okay, won't you, Dad? You're just going into the impact site. I'll be fine. Okay, town map. Gotta go to the lake. Dad is a grown man, he can take care of himself. It's true. Don't tell me what to do! Head on down. I think we can pass by most of this without any encounters. Thank you, friendly Badoof. Hey, you can just like kind of waltz around. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Instantly. Get used to the chibi art style. Uh, I have. I prefer the other art style. <laughs> but it is what it is. I, I wouldn't be like, I want the next Pokemon game like this. There's a fence there. God, what? Why is so many? <laughs> How many more encounters will I get before I leave this patch of grass? Place your bets now. I think there's gonna be at least one more. One more. We escape. We're good. Okay, Lake Valor. God, you can actually see like the smoke. Oh, the magic harp. Is that bigger than like most of my Pokemon? Uh, hang on. Can't walk with Jefferson here. Apparently, this counts as, like an interior. All right. I feel like that's bigger than Jefferson. The big fish. Next stop, Lake Verity. Closest thing to civilization out there is that hick town, Twinleaf. You can roll in there completely unopposed. Patrick Carp is weakly flopping about. They're all dead. They're all gone. There's a mod that scales Pokemon up to their actual size. That's cool. I don't I don't mod stuff on my Switch though. 
we can get like banned for doing stuff like that if you modify it. On Karma, thank you for 300 bits. Thank you. Supporting the stream again. Fried fish, anyone? Well, I mean, as long as we pick pick their bones clean, then it's okay to eat them. Be ashamed to let the good fish go to waste. Hope everyone's hungry. I don't like fish. Well, you don't have to eat. No, it's like vegetarian option in our cooking place. Don't eat the meat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> opinion on the new game. I, I feel like I've been asked my opinion on the new game like every 30 minutes of playing it. <laughs> I'm having fun. Um, if people are, like, want, want, like, critiques of it and that, like, I'd rack up, just watch a review at this point. Or just watch a while and see what, see what you think. Update stream title to I'm having fun. Maybe I should. <laughs> I feel like I've been, like, consistently asked that, though. Has your opinion changed yet? I think it sucks now. But I'm having fun at the top of the screen. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm having fun. Oh, he's just sitting there. After your latest trainer battle, what's your revised opinion on the game? <laughs> I don't know. That last fight wasn't didn't impress me. That's at least a point off score. I don't know. If you watched Arcane, I haven't. Tempted to though. Probably get around to it at some point. Would you like to restate your testimony? I've been stuck in the part where you need to get past the idiot blocking the path to that one city for like a month. How do you get past it? Like, what? <laughs> Arcane makes you forget how awful League is. I'm honestly surprised they didn't do something like Arcane sooner. Because like, they were always building up to do like a universe kind of thing for League. Like, there was so much lore behind the characters, but it's like, you just fight each other in like a small little arena. Makes sense, they're kind of expanding on it now. <laughs> I thought something else was evolving. What? No, God. Let's stop evolving. I think I was supposed to go through here, the base, but you can kind of just wander about the lake. This poor magic carp. There is grass up there. I think we can surf over that later. And the rake, la lake is like refilled. Oh, is that guy not gonna battle us? Oh, hang on. What do you want? Doing those nitwits we fooled in the garden, the entrance. Poor scientists. Steel legendary Pokemon.
Hello there. Mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything's for everyone for the good of Team Galactic. How'd you not notice me? They recognize your face? Did a child array at the Team Galactic building in Eternus City? Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child like that. Anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. And the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Here we go. Commander Saturn. My own pizza just arrived. That's wonderful to hear. <laughs> Let's go. I think Jeff can take him. Uh, thank you. That's very considerate of you. Raining in space. Toxicroak. I think this can have the ability to avoid water type attacks. But not always. Oh no. Okay, at least we use it now. Uh, metal claw. Oh, come on. Oh, we're gonna be in trouble here if Jeff dies. You can take one more. Come on, hit him. That was a crit. Uh oh. Okay, it's time for the big boys. Go for it, God! Can he do it? Okay, he's gonna need a power buff. God, you sword stance. Don't do it. Don't kill him. Ooh! Do we believe in God? Take him down. For the love of God! Oh! It's not over yet. It's gonna be even harder. We're really gonna need to believe. He did it. Our words are heard. <laughs> Go on, God! In the last line of the fence. Okay, Bronzor. God is awaiting direction. Okay, God, you're not dying today. Have some milk. God is thrilled to bits. Okay. Super Fang, get him down to half. Oh no, God's gonna be confused. Come on, God. You gotta hit to work through it. Oh no. Oh, he's hurt himself real bad. <laughs> Come on, God! Snapped out of confusion. God has... God has beaten his first battle. He's actually done it. Team Galactic cannot withstand him. Even I, as a commander, only managed to buy us time. 
That's fine, a child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokémon of the lakes. Their power will create an entirely new universe. And now Mario should have captured the Pokémon of Lake Verity. Anna, thank you for 1500 bits. God realized he liked pineapple and pizza. No, he didn't. <laughs> You're wrong. God pulled true for us when we needed him most. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we gotta go, uh, Twin Leaf Lake. Can you go catch Gibble now? Oh shit, you're right. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that in a moto. Wait, did I did I heal the team? <laughs> Probably need to get Jefferson back. Just go talk to mom real quick. Very badly injured, mom. Thank you. And walk together with Jefferson. Y you know, God's kind of earned it. You walk together with God. He's so slow. He can barely keep up. There we go. Dad, what timing? Team Galactic Scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Don. Our mission to stall you. <laughs> All right, uh, job's a job. Six Pokemon. God's still gonna get the fight. Team now. God's awaiting direction. Uh, superpower the cat. Oh, his attack's gonna drop by a lot after this one. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Cat has been slain. God, God. Harshly fallen. I didn't realize that was harshly fell. I thought that was like uh, just regular fall. Did they change that? But we can sword stance back up. Yeah, you're right. We need to become powerful again. Oh, he was anticipating the attack from God. Played around it. We're powering him up. But God is simple? What do you mean? Is that his ability? The stat changes the Pokemon receives are doubled. Oh, God, that's terrible! <laughs> we taught it superpower! That's awful! Oh, wait, but that means Sword Stance is times four! Oh, my God. I didn't realize that. Oh. That means he's incredibly powerful even after one Sword Stance. This is gonna be plus six after two. Considering we had like a minus already. Oh! God's in a bit of a pinch. Okay, uh, if we get rid of Stunky. And then we give God a heal. Here's more milk. Can 
God is thrilled. <laughs> Stunky was like anticipating God to attack it the entire time. Well, there's Aftermath. Don't hurt him so bad. Okay. That's a very anime attack. <laughs> Excessively so. Wanna use Surf, but that's gonna hurt God. Can't do that. Take down. It should be enough. Like, it's time six attack. Like, he's actually very powerful. I didn't realize he had simple this entire time. God is a simple man. He is one of us, apparently. Oh! He's dead. Oh, that's gonna hurt him, though. We need to teach him headbutt or something. Because, yeah, with the amount of damage he's gonna do, he's really gonna die fast. Ice beam. God's awaiting direction. <laughs> it's times four resist, but it means we won't kill ourselves if the attack needs to go through. Early game, God would bulk up as a sweeper. <laughs> oh my god, you're right! That actually be so powerful! Have we been sleeping on him this entire time? Could he be, like, the strongest Pokemon? I think we have. His name is God, so, you know, it's kind of our fault. We missed this. Uh, what TMs can I teach him? Okay. Alright, we're gonna see if we can improve him in any way. Work up. Attack and special attack stats increase. So that would increase times two. Sword Dance is times four. Oh, well, plus four. Aunt. God can learn Iron Tail. Alright. Learn Dig. Shadow Ball. I think we want to make it physical attack. Drain punch. It's not gonna get a lot of moves, is it? It's not gonna get a lot of moves. Oh my god, it, it, it can't really learn anything. It can learn pluck. The flying type attack. Oh, accidentally hit the mouse. Give me one sec. windows. Uh, pluck an iron tail. You can learn cut. It cannot learn strength. Oh no. That'd be perfect because I said, God give me strength. This is a perfect move. If you give him double team, he'd be unstoppable. Would that raise evasiveness? <laughs> How many times? It's double evasion instantly. He'll learn more if he evolves. No, he can't evolve. He can't evolve. Okay, we no longer need Super Fang because we're gonna be killing in one shot. Half damage, amateur. So I, I think I need to teach headbutt again. 
I, I know Don's in trouble, but I kind of want to just go to Pastoria City real quick. <laughs> okay, she'll hang in a few minutes. Be right back. <laughs> it's like, what? Dad, why are you leaving? <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to get help. Yeah, there's headbutt. I think headbutt's probably gonna be better than takedown. Do we want the combination of superpower might not be good on God. Because superpower, although thematically appropriate. The downside is appallingly bad. Get return. I don't have access to return right now. I think crunch is going to be a bit better. God's got a little bit of darkness about him, you know? A little bit of edge. Be vengeful. Now let's teach him headbutt for now. Get rid of takedown, cause yeah, like, we're just gonna take so much recoil damage. It's an old, it's Old Testament God. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, let's just see if there's anything in the water here we can get. Just while we're here, might as well. Boats over there. Did Benary evolve yet? Nope. No, we just boxed Benary for the time being. I'm gonna tackle the friendship squad like another time. And just cycle for hours. Those boats are just parked there to prevent you from leaving. Get the mystic water. Oh god, yeah, I, okay, yeah, because I keep forgetting. I'm gonna go get Gibble. Don, Don can hold on a while. We have to get that done. We actually need to level up Gibble, too. Check your your trees. Uh, I will check them probably tomorrow. Might even check some of them off stream. I planted honey and a good few of them. We gotta get Gibble, and we actually have to go help Don. Can we call Gibble Gibby. That great of a name. <laughs> we can do better than that. We'll get a nickname for it when we catch it. Gotta find it first. Oh god, I I need to actually bring hang on one sec. Lettuce, we need you very briefly. Thank you. A wild by barrel's gonna help us out here too. Perfect. You know, maybe Lattice can take point. Let's try it. Can we walk to get around? No, you can't because when you're in the cave. I don't know, are there any trainers in this? I feel like there must be one or two. Yeah, we'll get her quick. Oh wow, you don't really need much momentum to actually go full speed in it. It just propels you. Here's Gibble. Okay, st 
done for. Gibble's gonna be the only party member in a different baller than God, I guess. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna catch it in. What are we gonna? What are we thinking? I don't. I don't want it in dust. I think I want it in ultra. That yeah, looks better. I gotta just try catch it from here. I think. Uh, maybe I should have kept super fang a moment longer. Catch right. Oh, so this is gonna be quite hard to catch then, isn't it? I'm wondering if God, without any power under his belt, would be able to weaken it. I don't think so. I think God's too powerful now. Well, we can just tank it a while. We'll get it. Lucky crit catcher. Thank you. Getting quite lucky with the catches. <laughs> I'd like to give Gibble a nickname. What are we gonna call Gibble? Not calling it Gilbert, nope. No other characters. This is an original. Gibby? Nope. Don't like that one. What are we thinking? Seamus. <laughs> that one's winning. False God. No. Not really good. Uh, Cornelius. I like Cornelius. I like to imagine this is quite a sophisticated boy. Cornelius. That's how you spell Cornelius, yeah? I like to imagine he's in like a proper like top hat, like bow tie. Cornelius, he's gonna join the squad. Yeah, and Cornelius now, oh wait, let's see what nature he is. Be a good one. The fucking natures. We're gonna catch another gibble. No, I, I've for once I've had enough. We're catching another one. <laughs> Sorry, Cornelius. Maybe the new one can be named Cornelius, and we can forget this one happened. Go. Wrong, like, like I've, I've had it with like natures that impede the stats. I'm so sick of every Pokemon having like the worst possible nature. I'll get another one. That's good. I'm gonna name that one Cornelius. There we go. Gibble two. Let's catch it. It's Cornelia. Yeah, it'll have to be Cornelia now with this one. <laughs> We'll have to change it slightly. Okay, we'll 
we'll get a uh, sand tomb. Gotcha. Sand tomb's actually gonna rack up quite a bit of damage. It's like percent based damage. This could take a little bit. Stay paralyzed, please. I'm gonna need to heal lettuce while we're down here. Actually, you no, know, God can tank a few hits. He's strong enough. I'm gonna continually press A when the Ultra Ball is moving. What's everyone's catching technique? Mine is I don't press anything. <laughs> I know some people like do like down A and B and stuff like that. I, I just I just let the game work itself out. Lattice is awaiting directions. Come on. It's got Dragon Breath. That does a certain amount of... That did a certain amount of damage. I think I have a different one. That's Rage. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, God, you can tank a few. All this while, Dawn is like fighting off Team Galactic at the lake. We'll be with you momentarily. Okay. Please be a good nature. If it's modest, like I'm just, I'm wrapping up tonight. Cornelia. Docile, I'll take docile. Neutral is better than strictly negative. Here's Cornelia. Sorry, Cornelius. Maybe another day you'll have your chance. This one's faster anyway. Cornelius seems to have better base stats in general. Yeah, we got her. Uh, we'll keep leveling up Crow Gunk. Uh, I'll get rid of Scroopy for now. I think we can. We'll find a Drapion later. I think you can get him by other means. Scyther isn't even this Pokedex. Yep. Send them away. And Cornelius, we can just we can just chill with Manaphy. Lettuce is dead down here, so uh, Jefferson's gonna have to take point again. <laughs> Amber, thanks for another 100 bits. Good to see you. Okay, let's clear out the cave. I think that's the only Pokemon we're looking for down here, isn't it? That's another one. I'm surprised we're finding so many of them. Like, give them supposed to be quite rare. It's only like a 10% chance. Grip Claw. Clearing it out. No, I mean, Pokemon wise, is that all we're looking for? I know about the TM. Pokemon wise, though, I think that's all we need it. Pop a quick repel. 
I'm always anxious every time I use repels. It's like, the moment you pop it, that's when, like, the shiny Pokemon, like, 40 others appear. But we're gonna, we're gonna use it here just because we're a bit short on time. But it's so not smooth. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that was it. Let me, let me go back and get this. I'll have to revive. That up. You don't seem to need to get momentum. Like, if you just go over it, that's enough. It's like, m max speed. Yeah, and it, it takes you all the way. They've changed that. There's our quake. Uh, I think Garchomp learns Earthquake true level up, but I don't I don't think I need to use that on him Each god Earthquake, I don't think he can learn it It doesn't He does. Oh, that's that's two answers there. Well, we got it. Okay, we gotta go back and help Don. Sorry, I kept you waiting. <laughs> Just really needed to go get that Pokemon. Yeah, I know. Sorry, sorry. Times of the utmost concern. I'm here now. That's what matters. Jefferson and God can take it from here. Still paralyzed. We'll heal her later. She's fine. Welcome to the team. Hell cares a little sparse. I just thank you for the 300 bits in the sub. Thank you. God is awaiting directions. Sword stance. Is a violite in this game? I don't think it is. Is that Gen 5? It is in this game, is it? No, it's Gen 5. Yeah, I don't know if it'll, if it'll, if it'll be here. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, God. Time to shine. Smite them. Use a sucker punch. Yeah, if it has been added to this one, then it's post game. But it wasn't in the original. Get him! <laughs> Become so powerful. I'm happy we can actually use him as a member of the team. <laughs> God could actually fight. Sleep a Pokemon all along. We're getting Cornelia ready for battle. Uh, getting an old move, sure. You don't need sign attack. God, you're doing better, but you still don't get to evolve. Stop that.
Team Galactic, oh no, the Pokemon of the lake. That face, it brings back bad memories. Talking about the Valley Windworks. Got a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. That look in your face, you do remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever, I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. How cute, you think you, you can save the day in your little game of hero? Not a chance, not even a teeny one. I think we got this. Uh, might as well thank you for 100 bits. I used to watch Doctor Who, I haven't watched it in a while. Ice Beam! Are you gonna do a Nuzlocke? I mean, I'm six badges into the game at this point. It'd be a bit late to start one all of a sudden. <laughs> Wouldn't really make sense. Real challenge begins now. Oh god, not this again. Come on, Jeff. Can we delete confusion from the game? Oh, that's so annoying. Get a gun. Helia grows in power. Will you do the Elite Four today? Uh, I was... <laughs> I mean, I, I was probably gonna call it for a night soon, I think. We'll just keep going. I don't think we're going to finish it this weekend. Especially if we want to do post-game stuff. But that's okay. We, we might even take our time. I don't, I don't know if we'll go as long tomorrow. But we'll, we'll play more tomorrow. I'll still be streaming this. We can roll into next week if needs be. Fast midnight to level 53 doesn't matter anymore. Good to know. I'll check on him again tomorrow. The rest of it was Valley Windworks, and now it's Lake Verity that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to a Team Galactic Commander. Alright, see you later, Mars. Cavern appeared here was a cavern where Pokemon, the Pokemon mess spirits slept. That spirit appeared to probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us, it was super easy to catch. Now we've got them all. Mesprit, the being of emotion, Azelf, the being of willpower, Uxie, the being of intelligence. Now that we have all three, you can look forward to what Team Galactic has in store for them. You see, this also occurred at Lake Valor, where a legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Well, she went up against fully fled full fledged criminals. In fact, you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. What about Lake Acuity? Is Lad safe? So tomorrow... What we gotta do... The journey up to the lake. The northernmost point of the region. Uh, tomorrow as well, we still have to go to like the ironworks, and we have a few other like little spots to kind of check off. I think just all about the region. We can actually go into Mount Coronet now. Because we have Strength and Surf. We can explore like a reasonable degree of it. Uh, and we are going to start doing that on tomorrow's stream. Lad's already dead, guys. <laughs> Probably. But we can entertain the notion. <laughs> we just get there and it's just a corpse. Why don't Team Galactic just use guns? They seem more effective. Or just Pokemon attack people. 
Why does it always gotta be a battle? Isn't the whole point of being evil that like you're just evil? Oddly fair to give people a chance to like rectify the situation. Buy a Pokemon. I don't know. Oh god. Anyway, thank you so much for coming, folks. I hope you enjoyed the stream again tonight. Hope you had a good one. I'm gonna go get some rest. Uh, tomorrow's more Pokemon. We're, we're still gonna go as much as we can this weekend. This is good fun. And then, like, probably next week I might take a few days off, just the rest a bit more. But for the, for the time being, we're gonna keep going with Pokemon. Cause I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's cool just trying to play it all the way through this time. I guess we did that with Sword and Shield, but Sword and Shield was so much shorter. Like, I think Sword and Shield, like, we finished in, like... Was it... I think it was just three streams after we actually caught Wulu. But those would have been shorter streams. This one would just, like, like we're actually, like, just chipping away at it. There's still so much to do. Yeah, Galar just didn't really have a lot to explore. This one, there's like a lot of nooks and crannies, and like you have to go back to places too. After you get HMs and the like. Please, thanks for your gifts up right at the end. I do hope everyone's enjoying the playthrough. I know I'm having a lot of fun. If you want something more to watch, there's Ace Attorney highlights on YouTube. Uh, there is a special video that went up tonight. Uh, you can find there. Hope everyone enjoys those. Who's going? Let me see. Uh, Bro is doing the. Pokemon evolve in the random ones, although I think he's further in the game, so maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't raid him. <laughs> We've never seen it before, we might be jumping ahead. Okay, so... Riken and Strippin... ...and Arex are doing a thing called Permadeath Soul Lock. I'm not... ...100% certain I understand what that means. Uh, I'll send you over to Strippin. Go say hey. They're all doing a stream together, though. That was interesting. I think they're earlier in the game still, too. Yeah. Go say hey to the gang. No luck, but one Pokemon dies, they all lose one. Ooh, okay, that's actually pretty high stakes. That's cool. That's a cool concept for a joint stream, yeah. Alright, go check those out. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, same time as we started at today. Till then, folks, have a good night. Thanks for watching.